takes place at five o'clock every single weekday. It's a great opportunity for you to get involved, especially if you know if you want to top up your stash this afternoon, it's a great opportunity for you to be getting involved as well. So do make sure you're here for the mega deal after the break. I've got so many more treats coming your way as well. Lots more gemstone strands to bring you. Another hour of fun before Zena takes you through the late show. So please don't go anywhere and I'll be back with you in a few minutes time. Bye. How are we all? Oh, look, this is your deal of the day, and I love it. Oh, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Simplicity is the key when you have a gemstone as stunning as this turquoise. Oh my goodness me, we've actually got a double deal of the day today because it's all about turquoise in these beautiful tubes which have obviously been put together by our in-house designers but we also have some amazing turquoise cabochons coming your way at 11 o'clock Oh, and you do not want to miss out jewelry makers. They are simply breathtaking in their quality and simply an amazing deal for you. So. Oh, it's going to be an absolute cracker of a Tuesday, jewellery makers, because we have a tea bar of sheer indulgence and beauty, including Grand Did You Write, at a Steve Super Saver price tag. And I mean, amazing. I'm just learning about this, uh, about Steve's, Steve, this is a mouthful, Steve's Super Savers. Sorry, say that fast. Say that one, man. Steve's Super Savers, right? Um, and this aquamarine going to a Steve's Super Saver price tag. And this amazing hematite. Yeah, beautiful multicolour coated hematite. I've never seen a strand of hematite quite like those. Aren't they exquisite? Look at the faceting on those. This beautiful strand of natural peridot, idiochromatic gemstone, amazing intensity of colour. That's happening at, at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock um, and I literally am surrounded by just gorgeousness amazing gemstones in, of all varieties I'm going to be joined by speaking of gorgeousness as well are uh, the queen of jewelry maker we have our lovely Linda Brumwell um, she's just setting up she's setting up and I understand her kits as well are going to this I'm gonna to have to practice this Steve's super saver price Say that fast. It's quite tricky, isn't it? It's quite first, first thing in the morning, especially. So even the kit is including at that. You know that Steve's been here quite a lot recently, obviously, as you can imagine. He's very excited to have acquired Jewelry Maker back, as are we. Um, and he's been very hands-on in terms of lots of the new uh, goodies that we've ar have arrived, parcels that have arrived, and actually determining the best possible price for you. So you will not be disappointed with today's show. We've got lots of sterling silver. We've got lots of displays for you today. So displays that you haven't actually seen th since last year, I believe actually the latter part of last year including those um, you know the, 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 the kind of display stands where they almost look like your, your gemstones or your cabochons are actually floating I can pick one up these ones these, these ones there you go yeah we've got those included in today um, we've got sea beads included oh gosh it's just going to be an absolute corker it really is we want a thoroughly interactive show though so do message in and do come and say hi because we are live here in the studio so 60777 start your text with JM Studio um, and say good morning tell us what you're up to what you're making right now have you got any questions that you want to put to our lovely Linda because genuinely she is your girl she is your girl she'll be the one that can if you've got any sort of Achilles heels at the moment that you're struggling with, be it a wrap blue, be it, I don't know, opening and closing certain findings, then, then definitely Linda can help you. But we won't take a symbol, I can't talk. A single step further before I say hello to our lovely crew. So we have gorgeous Claire on camera. Hello. Hello, lovely. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Did you have a nice weekend? It was lovely, thank you. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, back to work today. Yeah. Yes, good one though. It's going to be an amazing show. In the gallery, we have got the boys. We've got Paul directing. Hello, Paul. Here's a nice treat. Adam Tyser's on holiday, so we get the... We, we, 
pe <laughs> he's having a break. Pff, didn't authorise that, did we? Pff, fancy. Fancy having a week off. And Wondrous Wayne. Wondrous Wayne. Oh, Wayne. I feel like I've not worked with you for ages. Well, it has been, actually. It has been. And don't forget, keeping it all together, bring us, uh, bring us all your goodies. We've got the lovely Lucy on floor as well. Hi, Lucy. Hello, darling. Right then, so I need to give you a little bit of a heads up because you might not have heard that tomorrow, um, here at Jewelry Maker for four hours, joining the lovely Carol, you have Steve. Steve is coming here. Um, it's his birthday show. So I know it is absolutely laced with an incredible goodies, but, but... Um, for the first time, to my knowledge anyway, we're actually doing a double giveaway on your wall of fame. So there won't just be one winner, there'll be two. There won't be one runner-up, there'll be two. So that means, you know that you know we use, use the old style tombola? Yeah, big announcement. So two lucky winners will be getting £100 of JM credits to their account and two lucky winners will be getting £50. So definitely, definitely worthwhile tuning in, Jury Maker. So that's going to be amazing. We have got training this afternoon, which I'm looking forward to. So um, I'm going to be asking lots of questions about sort of certain gemstones that, it's, you know, big question marks above um, on top of their heads if you like 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 chrome dioxide what's the current situation of chrome dioxide um, the Mozambique garnet I'm going to be asking those kind of questions to see if I can bring you any more up-to-date information on that because it's quite difficult to find um, that there's a status of many gemstones actually sort of even on the world wide web but should we get cracking I think we should are we gonna are we gonna start the show with a Steve super saver Steve, I did it. I'm getting better, aren't I? Of course it has to be an alarm clock deal. I'm talking about the beautiful aquamarine. This is an incredible strand. And I'm just looking at the one that takes centre stage of this parcel, because it's because it's opportunities like this where I don't believe it's a strand, it's a parcel, with clarity, with that beautiful hint of iron which gives that azure blue. The member of the Beryl family, of course, this is going to a Steve Super Saver price tag. So he's gone through an almost, of course, limited in quantity, items where like this, we've got 10, but they're absolutely exceptional grade. He's putting his name to it. You know that you are going to be getting truly one of, the, um, one of our finest strands. But then taking it to a saver price tag. I don't know, we might have new aquamarine on the horizon. There'll be a very uh, logical reason, I'm sure, for these crazy low deals. And also to thank our wonderful viewers. So aquamarine, one of the most tranquil and summer-like of gemstones. Um, what you're looking for is clarity if possible team that with of course a beautiful saturation and most importantly actually the tone so with with, with colored gemstones you look at saturation tone and hue tone is the most important that's the level of lightness and darkness of the actual color itself really really important I mean this is kind of what you expect to see within the you know the gemological magazines and um, the photographs of this very gemstone it's undeniably aquamarine and it's a beautiful quality already being snapped up by our jewelry maker viewers um, named after the water of the seas but some of the most beautiful seas they would be most definitely already being snapped up not a hundred pounds now that's the price tag that jewelry makers um, we have brought this to air at previously we're going to take it under 50 pounds because it is a Steve super saver I'm getting better 10 by 7 millimeters in these they're described as faceted barrels but for me they're more hexagonal shapes which is quite exciting um, did you know the crystal structure actually or the crystal itself aquamarine actually grew rows in kind of hexagonal um, prisms for want of a better description so this is really lending itself or leaning towards how aquamarine actually forms within mother nature itself the actual pattern and the direction of the growth of the crystal itself eight of these remaining I've, I've said it you know where it's going it's going under 50 pounds purely because um, Steve has actually allocated this amazing price tag for you well done jewelry makers 45 carats you're getting of natural beauty not a single ounce of treatment has gone into this gemstone not even just a penny 
or five pennies under 50 pounds we're talking about 44.95 jewelry makers i mean look at the beauty we are on the cusp of spring aren't we it's not too far away i can see the nights are drawing out drawing in i always get it wrong um yeah so i'm walking the dogs and it's not it's not pitch black anymore it's it's it's, it's almost spring like this is the kind of gemstone that i love to wear during those spring and summer months because it has that i don't know that freshness it has that sort of re rejuvenating appearance to it it's cheerful it's uplifting and of course it's very expensive price per carat ordinarily the only reason it's under 50 pounds today is as explained so make the most of it because i only have 10 of these available hello to you glenda hello to you briny glenda i hope you got my message by the way um i did reply afterwards so um and then i prom promptly went to went to bed so but i hope you got my message darling and yes definitely please 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 just let me know let me know where um where i have to send things to four of these remain check out though everyone what would you do with this would you do something similar to the turquoise necklace that i'm wearing would you pop maybe a few of your spaces in between gold silver or rose aquamarine lends itself to all of those uh, precious metal colors yeah loving the idea alongside a slider bracelet yeah would you just use one or would you use a selection of them i think three i'm seeing three this one would have to go in the in in a, in a, ne in a pendant i think front of a necklace possibly that one as well because they're two very large uh very large aquamarine gems and then maybe these ones here three in a slider one in a solitaire some black diamonds either side oh yes please yes please um start as we mean to go on moving on to oh now we did a crazy, crazy deal on Tanzanite yesterday, Wayne. Yeah. He, he won't be outdone. I'm sure of that. I'm certain of that. Did you get all of these? It's just like... So, there's a parcel of, of, of Tanzanite here, sorry. 20 carrots. I've got pear cuts, rounds, which we've never, never say never, rarely see, rarely ever see tanzanite in rounds, and that's because it's, it's again, it's crystal structure, it lends itself to having longer C axes. This one here, I mean, this alone for 79.95, a gemstone that is one locational, almost impossible to actually get hold of at these kind of prices. And then we do this, 20 carats that you're getting for 49.95, 20 carats, an assortment of your shapes and sizes. Now, you know, with the introduction of so many wonderful and very exciting mediums like Argentium, um, soldering, oh my goodness me, yeah, you have lived up to that, that price tag yesterday. It, my jaw literally hit the floor yesterday when I saw Tanzanite, a, a deals like this. It's not a gemstone that we see, at, you know, under, under 100 pounds to be truthful, especially for 20 carats. It's not lacking in color. You have that vanadium rich blue within each of these. Um, yeah, okay, some of these actually have a few inclusions, but I like that. I actually enjoy that about your colored gemstones because they're telling their own story. Good morning, Angela. Morning, Elle, Wayne, Lucy, Paul, and Claire. Claire, loving the nails, Elle. Thank you. Yeah, do you know, I used to have them done like this all the time, Angela, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go back to old school. Old school. Thank you very much. Hello to you, Sharon in Yorkshire. Morning, team. Lovely to see you back. Uh, Elle, you look very well rested. Thank you. Uh, well, Miss Steve, tomorrow I'm working. Oh, <sighs> see, that's rubbish, isn't it? You can take us on the app, mind, or watch us on the repeat. You can do that. That's, and, and listen, I know that there is going to be just so many deals, so many deals, but don't you worry, we've got deals today as well. Hello, Annette, morning, lovely Al, Linda and team, uh, you're looking gorgeous, thank you very much, looking forward to another brilliant show and to Linda's jewellery, I mean, that's always a treat, isn't it? It's always a treat to have our gorgeous Linda. Um, I mean, I can see already, peripheral, peripheral beautiful jewelry and also kits included at steve savers price tag um yes i mean i'd like to say i was so busy on my day off <laughs> on the week off sorry i because the guys are like that oh you're nice have a nice rest i didn't stop but but doing what i you know little things that you need to do and you want to do yourselves like having to sort out it was it was very cleansing number what sorry 
<gasps> now, I love this. I have this strand. I actually made, I think, three bracelets in total out of this one strand. So simple stretchies. Got hold of some gold-plated spacers um, because that's my colour of preference. But you could use any of those. I adore four mil rounds. It's very Astley Clark. You know, this is the kind of thing I was talking to... Um, Caroline yesterday after the show in our buying team um, and we were looking at collections like um, I always say this wrong Misoma, Ashley Clark, Monica Veneda, lots of big 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 designer brands um, and it is all about around sort of three four millimeters so this is the kind of thing that I would definitely grab hold of. Genuine USA turquoise I and mean, you can tell that by that uh, by the actual robin egg blue the intensity and the evenness of color under 20 pounds only Wow. If the, how many do you have of these? Because genu six. Oh. Because I, I, w I would like to get another one of these, especially with that zircon strand that you had yesterday. Imagine those two together. It was simply incredible. So those of you that got hold of that, um, and that's what I was talking to Glenda about then as well. Um, it was just amazing. Under £20. See, I would probably multi-buy. I'm a fan of 4mm because you can actually stack them up. It's very on trend. Again, you could do something like the necklace I'm actually wearing right now. Use it with the deal of the day, actually. Um, so, Or something like maybe Peridot. Look at that. It's a real contrast of your colour, um, and it is all about big, bold colours at the moment. Check out those baskets, though, because it's quite low in stock, everybody. Quite low in stock items today. Moving on. Two. Two. The Yin Yang Cut. This is genius, and the first time I actually saw it, I think, was last year. Don't you find it fascinating that Lapidus can actually take a gemstone facet it into whatever shape and form but incorporate curves as well I think I find that absolutely amazing so the yin yang cut basically um, it's got uh, if you know if you've seen the yin yang it's kind of got the black and the white and an and inverted s I think it is across the ta uh, across the surface so we've done that across the table of this gemstone so do you see that so beautiful incorporating facets and curves within a gemstone seven and a half carats of your champagne quartz um, so you can see that very almost like a um, Canary diamond, sorry I had to think for that word then, it's almost like a canary diamond like colour, you still get fire, you still get dispersion, even with quartz, I mean this is a shining example of, you know, textbook gem quality, Twenty four ninety five. imagine this prong set jewellery makers, imagine this with some amazing sterling silver wire, um, or even set um, within one of our mounts, because we actually do those as well, um, you could incorporate it into things like metal clay, silver clay, copper clay, all of the above really, um, but definitely one for the collectors. I buy a lot of our faceted stones, not necessarily to actually set into jewellery, but just to enjoy, just to look at, um, you know, just to marvel at the quality and the skill um, of Mother Nature, but also of, 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 of our, our lapidrists as well, that we, we do work with some very skilled lapidrists um, here at Jewellery Maker, and that's an indication. Moving on. Now, recent. It's a recent parcel. I'm, I'm not saying we've never had it before, because we probably have. Um, but certainly one of the, um, our recent purchases of 2019 was a parcel of Bloodstone. Now, whilst it's not going to win awards for the most beautiful name, let's be honest, it's not. It's certainly one of the most fascinating of stones, and certainly one of the most striking. Um, yeah, you get a mixture of reds, obvious, um, greys, mottled green like textures within, no two will be the same, genius cutting, an amazing strategic placing of your drill hole as well, because you can almost create like a floating uh, design with these. 9 95 for your rhombus, see those greeny colours that I was just talking about? So it's not just red and black, you actually get like a, a almost like an emerald green uh, coming through with your bloodstone and it is completely and utterly natural. Under £10, they'd be fabulous in little, uh, little rings, wouldn't they? Little wirework rings. 
because it's that rhombus like shape beautiful amazing but again um, I think I've seen one strand of bloodstone I think I had one yesterday um, and that's the first strand I've seen in quite a long time yeah it was a parcel quite recent beautiful it's lovely speckles uh, a little bit Monet like in sort of dappled paintbrush effects across the surface of the gem well done I'm moving quickly so I can bring you as many they're all last of stock so they'll all be quite limited I'll tell you if they're bigger quantities I have one left of the turquoise three left of the aquamarine two of the quartz the champagne quartz so they're all very 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 limited this is beautiful it's my kind of strand how about purples lavenders reds colorless I'm talking about beautiful spinel. Spinel does not just come in in that black um, beautiful stone. It comes in a selection, a rainbow of colours actually. And some of the rarest colours are actually included on this strand. Purple tourmal, uh, purple spinel, sorry. Red spinel. It's you've got an ombre effect of your beautiful colours. Again, if you pop this onto a gold plated nine two five or silver nine two five slider class, you have a very high end piece of jewellery that I think in the big sort of uh, gem specialist shops you'd be you'd be seeing a far greater price tag than what's on your screens right now. Thirty carats, um, a door spinel. It's one of my favourite of gemstones. Um, very striking when it it has colours like this. So when it comes down to sort of your red your cobalt blues, your purples, your mauves, um, your peachy light colours. It also has clarity, so um, yeah, you can really enjoy many of the things that we really see in very, very, very high-end pieces and bespoke pieces of jewellery. It, it is a gemstone that the big designers work with quite a lot because look, I mean, look how beautiful that palette is. $24.95, last in stock quantities though. Um, Cambodian spinel. Oh, final one. I've got to move on. Well done. Well done. Uh, oh, Shah right, my boutique gemstone. It always will be. But this strand, so memorable. Oh. Because Shah right is a one locational gemstone coming from Russia, and it has what I love this description a chaotic chatoyancy. I know. So, do you know when you just read something and it sticks in your mind? But this, the purple in this strand, is beyond any other colour that I've ever seen in Charite. Do you see where I'm coming from? When have, you, when, when have we ever had Charite, which is almost, has, a, has, a, has an element of uh, fuchsia? Do you see that chaotic chatoyancy? It's, it literally has got one of the most juicy saturations. It's completely and utterly natural. Um, swirls, feather, silver-like feather-like patterns across the surface of Charite, um, because it actually was uh, is found under a frozen lake. It's almost like you can see those frozen beauties within the actual gemstone itself. Fourteen ninety-five. I wasn't kidding when I said Charite is my boutique gemstone. It's one of those that you're not going to see on every single high street. You're not going to see it in every single jeweler's establishment. It's a very rare one locational gemstone. Um, the deeper the colour, the more intense the colour, the more beautiful and spectacular the patterning, the more desirable the Charite. This is one of the most memorable Charite strands I think I've actually seen. Um, so um, now we're down to the final few. I categorically cannot guarantee that we'll be able to get this intensity of Charite again. Never say never, of course. The wonderful world of gemstones is always a, a little bit of an unknown uh, uh, entity. But um, with such a beautiful, beautiful, almost, I don't know, almost, you've got blackberry, but you've also got a little bit of lavender in there absolutely you've got the, the 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 strength and the dynamic black which almost accentuates it well done well done well done moving on aquamarine beautiful strand there so i have to hold up to the neckline actually aquamarine is colored by iron it's a member of the beryl family but i really love aquamarine when it has a hint of green
sorry about that jewelry makers sorry 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 we're back in, and we're back in the room look at that beautiful semi-transparency i mean it is it, with, with aquaphrase you've got this wonderful if very ethereal uh beautiful ethereal like color um which kind of retains light but also lets that kind of uh, it's a gem so we don't get that often to be truthful um and i made a comparison then to to, to your aquamarine because aquamarine can be quite cloudy it can be quite uh, uh, um, opaque almost with aquaphrase it's not it's not a clarity it's actually a semi-transparency think about smoky quartz and then adapt the sort of the, the, the soup son of green 1995 everybody up to nine by six millimeters gorgeous strand isn't it very fresh very cheerful and very uplifting i'm gonna leave it there moving on oh beautiful barrel so this is what I was actually looking at when I started describing aquamarine. So coloured by iron, but you actually get, um, aquamarine can be very pure azure blue, but it can also be like a, have a little hint of the green colours. It's always in the eye of the beholders, you know, it's, it, and that should be the number one thing. The beauty should always drive your interest. Rarity, value, all of those things are an additional bonus. I love a strand like this, which actually has those, the multitude of offerings that aquamarine can actually offer you. 90 carrots that you're getting here what sorry I'm, I mean I'm I'm sorry what there are six of these within the vault jewelry what I was expecting this to be about 30 35 40 pounds start dialing through I tell you what six mil such a versatile size you could literally turn these into stretchy bracelets which is exactly what I would be doing if I get the chance to get hold of this beryl so I was describing aquamarine just so I don't confuse anybody aquamarine is, is a part of the beryl family um, you have got you know if I actually contradict myself now yeah you have actually got a golden beryl there a few golden barrels um, but it's 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 predominantly aquamarine do you think this would actually be a 7.95 price tag if it was that very gemstone I, I yeah of course it wouldn't be of course it's sold out you're not daft well done well done well done our oh, lapis lazuli steeped in history for thousands of years now the more intense the more pantone actually the color is that classic blue the more desirable your lapis now sometimes lapis lazuli will be dyed um, to intensify the electric blues this hasn't um, in any way shape or form the quality was already there adore these cuts so it's described as a, a faceted slab which I, th I don't think is the most poetic way of describing this cut statement faceted statement stones I don't know whichever um, but they are they're, they're, you know they're, they're big bold pieces which is all the rage at the moment for those of you that have been watching all the big red carpet events I genuinely lose track of which one's on and which one isn't um, but they have have you noticed lots of the celebrities have been wearing sort of big gemstone uh, designs you know uh, labyrinth has been quite heavily featured lapis lazuli most definitely they they caress the decolletage and look amazing with those big gorgeous gowns that they're wearing natural lapis lazuli from the uh, from the original location of source at sixteen ninety five. Check it out, check it out. Moving on. Oh, beautiful. Now, just to give you a little bit of a heads up, we've got the most amazing earring findings coming up um, in the nine o'clock hour. Yeah? <sighs> Alongside this parcel of genuine sapphire, imagine cascades. They're, they're, they're the really lovely earring findings where they're not quite, they're quite contemporary when literally it's making a, um, a feature of the part that goes through your ear. So they kind of suspend down the back of the earlobe as well. So these genuine sapphires would be beautiful. I mean, imagine saying that you can own sapphire earrings. 60 carats, velvety Madagascan blue, wow, 25 pounds or 24.95 to be precise. Lots of silks within this strand. So I really love it when sapphire has those 
sort of silky sheens. I don't want to say an adolescence because it's not the same thing as Moonstone, but it almost has that, um, you know, that lovely s silvery sheen that migrates across the surface. Twenty-four ninety-five, totally and utterly natural. We do know that uh, that that your sapphire is ordinarily treated. So ninety percent, it's believed that ninety percent of the world's sapphire is at actually undergoes some form of treatment. That's fine. Don't turn your nose up to any treated gemstones for that matter, in my opinion. This though, the beauty was already there. Um, I have the final six. These deals are amazing. This alongside the Beryl Strand that you've just had, alongside the Aquamarine that you've just had. Team it with the Grand Digi right, or maybe the 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 um on the Peridot, um sorry, on the Peridot that we've got coming up at twelve o'clock. Twenty-four 24.95 only it's a free phone telephone number well done well done uh, these have been catching my attention from the moment I sat down the final eight this is Mexican crazy lace agate do you know you've got chocolatey tones you've got a little bit of lime You've got beautiful patternings, crazy. You can see where the word crazy, description crazy agate comes from. Because it is, um, you know, it's, it's random, it's fun. It's almost like, you know, you can, you, you can almost visualize. Um, do you remember those ink blot things that you used to see that they fold over and you kind of, you, 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 you tell, is it a doctor or whatever, what you can actually see within those? I can't remember what they're called. What are they? Oh, there we go, one of those. Um, you can almost see that within the actual gemstone. So beautiful though, the colours of these. The final few of them, 400 carats of your lovely Mexican crazy agates. Rice beads, but um, multiply that by 100. I mean, look at the size of them, 40 by 14 millimetres. Nice large drill holes. I know that's some, a question that you'll all be asking, jewellery makers. So um, even some of your thickest cords or even thickest wires will go through the centre of that drill hole. I mean, one of those for me is like a big statement so um, you can actually have that as a uh, as a pendant it'd be really lovely on a lariat style necklace or maybe with something like your Marla designs as well 14.95 and it's completely natural well done the final few love that really love that moving on a bit of hematite oh no I'm just we're teasing you now aren't we ahead of the hematite star by that we've got coming up I might, I might as well just show you the two together. Look at those. I love hematite. It's such a cool gemstone, isn't it? It's got a very, uh, almost like a cosmic, intergalactical appearance about it with its high luster. This is your star bite. It's coming up right now. Lasting stock quantities of these gorgeous uh, fancy bicones. Um, so it can be a masculine gemstone. It can be a feminine gemstone. I've only got 10 of these left. They were launched not that long ago. So actually these have not been within your vault that long. Um, they're always popular because it is a, it is a gemstone that um, it goes with everything, doesn't it? And I'm not just talking about other gemstones. It goes with all mediums, all sort of textures, wires, colors, whichever it is, down to the final few, physically cool to the touch. Hematite, there are many imitations out there, so do be careful where you source yours from. Um, I've been caught out with it myself. I think I, I bought, going back a few years, a, a hematite necklace. Like it, was, it was long before I actually started working here at Jewelry Maker. Um, I bought a hematite necklace from... Um, it was when I was travelling, it was when I was on holiday, um, thinking it was hematite. It wasn't. It wasn't hematite. So, yeah, do be careful. $9.95, you know that you're buying with complete trust um, and, uh, and peace of mind. Five of them left within the vault. Good morning to you all. I hope you're well. Lovely to have your company. Margaret, hello to you. Brenda, hello to West Midlands. Uh, Deborah, you're there as well. Come and say hello. Tell us what you're up to this morning. Are you making? Are you making to, uh, of course you are. Of course, are you jury makers? What, are you, what, what projects have you got going on? What, well, I'm sorry? Oh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. This is the kind of thing that I would definitely wear to something like a summer barbecue or... They'll be here before we know it. Honestly, do you know we haven't even put our barbecue... We didn't put it away. Like, ours, has been, ours has been out all winter. It's just ready waiting. That's ready waiting to be fired up. This is the kind of thing I can imagine wearing to that summer barbecue, you know, with a maxi dress, your sandals on, glass of wine in hand. 
sausages sizzling on the barbecue. A lot of fun. They're genuine gemstones, of course, um, which have been patterned with these multitude of colours. Um, I love them. They're almost like kind of like a uh, like a football like design, but a genuine gemstone. Um, so yeah, really simple, easy jewellery wear. You know that you could not you could knot these. You could turn them into things like marla necklaces. Um, so if you want to have the history and the tradition behind your jewellery making. £5.95 of course these have been very popular um, a wonderful 8 uh, so 8 millimetres that's meant to say sorry it said 8 centimetres these are 8 millimetres not 8 centimetres they would be massive <laughs> to get your head up off the desk moving on um, we'll get that changed for you Wayne's on it um, have, have I made everybody want a barbecue? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I do love a barbecue. It's good, isn't it? Tibetan turquoise. Look at the size. This is the largest Tibetan turquoise I think I've ever actually seen in a cabochon. Oh, look at these. Beautiful, curvaceous depth in a cabochon. So using this on something like your beading foundation, your wire work, because they've got the nice flat backs, you get a, you're guaranteed 140 carats. Um, Tibetan turquoise, turquoise from all around the world. Oh my goodness me! Um, a, they they all carry high price tags because it's turquoise. It's it's very rare. It's very shallow forming, but they'll all differ. So with USA, it tends to be more dominantly the blues. You can get green turquoise. Don't get me wrong. Actually, in the Kingman mine, um, if you go up one side of the mountain, it's blue turquoise. If you go down the other side of the mountain, it's your green. Um, but Tibetan turquoise tends to be more of this greenish like color. It's beautiful. You get the same uh, sort of patterns and characteristics that you find with turquoise all around the world. Lovely uh, matrix or webbing patterns across the surface. Um, so ST, let me just explain. It says it just here on your graphics. Can you see ST? Um, that basically stands for stabilized. When you have a gemstone like turquoise, which is a little bit softer than maybe that of your, your sapphires and your diamonds, you want to hold on to that beauty. This is a gemstone that's been formed under the ground for literally thousands of years. So what we do is we protect it if you like. We also almost wrap it in bubble wrap and that is in a form of like a clear resin. It protects and it's responsible treatment of the actual gemstone. £12.95 for the final few. Well done. I've never seen those before. First time I've seen those. Um, or oh, lovely. Amethyst in its multitude of colours. This strand is wow. Was this a deal of the day? It's certainly deal of the day worthy. Look at the quality. It was. Yeah, you, I can just tell. I could just tell. So amethyst is not just purple. You can get pink amethyst. You can get green, also known as praiserlite. These are the pinky light colours and you can get Rose de France. So it really has got a beautiful palette. Um, still to this day, one of the most popular and recognised of all your coloured gemstone. Um, the purple in particular has, uh, has got sort of regality, uh, certainly history of regality um, with that gemstone. The, the, for, in my opinion, the Rose de France, which is a little bit more modern, or the description is more modern, very poetic. It looks beautiful alongside the praise light green. Fourteen ninety five. You could just spot, couldn't you? You could just see straight away that that was um, that was a deal of the day strand. It's breathtaking. Um, and again, I would keep this very simple. The graduation is all there for you. So pop this onto some of your flex right beading thread wire. I think. It definitely deserve, deserves the, the sterling silver, don't you? Um, and of course, your precious metal. Don't forget, I've got these earrings coming up in the uh, nine o'clock hour with Linda's kit. Um, so with a Steve Super Saver price tag. So we've got them in all three colors. Um, so we have them in the gold, the rose, and the silver. Silver's in the kit. And when are we doing the gold and the rose? We'll do it after the kit. So, I mean, you could literally just, let's turn it around. So it goes that way. So can you see the little loop there at the bottom? That's what you attach your gemstones to and then you have this cascade of sterling silver that comes down the back. They are so, so designer. Um, if everyone checks out, that's already sold out. Well done. Well done. Now, my, I think, should we have favourites? I think we naturally do, don't we? Okay, I'm going to say it then. Amazonite's my favourite of all the feldspars. 
is. I love it. I adore Amazonite. It has the most tropical of shades. It's a fusion of blues and greens. You almost have patterns which look like driving rain in my opinion. Uh, faceted cubes which is actually one of your most popular cuts of 2019. Uh, 20 centimeter strand. 14.95 of course this is limited. It's in the eight o'clock hour and look at how stunning it is. How many left? Five, five of them, totally and utterly natural. Um, very big in in lots of big designers. Again, um, you, I've, I've actually brought in my Amazonite bracelet that my husband bought to me bought for me a couple of years ago, and I can tell you, um, the Amazonite doesn't is, is no way near any of these sizes. Much, much, much smaller, um, and it definitely had a higher price tag than what's on your screen. So, real, real opportunity for you to get to make very high end designer inspired jewelry at a fraction of the cost, and it, it can be so simple so simple to actually achieve. Moving on to, let's bring you another strand of beautiful aquamarine shall we? This actually would be lovely with your, the first aquamarine strand that you saw or maybe your grand did you right? I've been just saying that casually. Oh would you like to team aquamarine with grand did you right? That's I mean it's, it really put jewellery maker, I don't, maybe I shouldn't say that, did it put jewellery maker on the map? <coughs> In many ways, I think so, yes, because, you know, that is one of the rarest of gemstones. Um, very exciting cut. Look at these. Faceted nuggets. For me, there's nothing nugget-like about these. These have been faceted for their own individual beauty. They're striking, they're contemporary, they're edgy, um, they're on trend, they're 12 95 um, But that is a breakfast club price tag. We've got the final seven of them. The very definition of aquamarine blue, uh, blue is on your screens right now. Adore the combination that you're getting, your mixture of your semi-transparent to also some really lovely eye clean as well. You can literally use these, you know, as individual solitaires and customise your jewellery making around around that individual gemstone. Of course, for all of you March babies, next month, see, like I said, spring, spring is only around the corner. I actually hear the birdies in the morning now when I'm coming into work. Did you, Linda, this morning? Did you hear the birdies tweeting? I heard the birdies tweeting. Mm. <laughs> doesn't it make you so doesn't it make you smile linda's here she's not sat down yet so I, I, I'll, I'll when she's when she's ready then we'll introduce moving on. Ah. Oh. Oh, amazing bumblebee. Oh, this is beautiful. Never seen this cut. See, where have all these... Wayne, where have all these been? You've been playing them with, with, with Carol. You've been cheating. These are amazing. I'm only joking, of course. <gasps> oh, they're beautiful. Those with some seed beads just literally... Just to separate them. <gasps> How about alongside your turquoise? The turquoise tubes you deal in the day, or oh, somebody needs to make that happen. If you do, can you send it into the Wall of Fame? Because I would love to see that finished design. So yeah, use the oh, the necklace that I'm actually wearing. These are your, what part of your deal of the day. So pop a few of those in between these beautiful uh, Marquise cabochons and just, well, the, for me, the design is already done for you. Bumblebee Jasper comes from the very shallow waters of Indonesia. It's a beautiful a variety of colors, a very on-trend variety of colors. Look at that. You can see where it gets its name from, can't you? Um, beautiful patterning. Um, it's almost marigold and sunflower colours within a gemstone itself. How many did I have? Seven. Two left. So you do need to check them out. Now I can see lots of new customers who are shopping with me. Welcome to the wonderful world of Jewellery Maker. Um, now just to give you, let you know that you do need to check out your baskets. It's not guaranteed to you until you actually do that. You still only pay the one postage and packaging all day irrespective of how many checkouts you actually do. So well done, well done. Moving on. Oh, what's that, what's that? Uh, I, I think I launched this strand. It, it's like, I think nostalgia, you know, I think back to when you were a child and, you know, dolly mixture and, I don't know, carnivals and fairs. That's what I see when I look at this strand. It, they're genuine gemstones and you've got a mixture of your amethyst, your green fluorite, which is actually one of the rarest colours to get in fluorite. Um, <clears throat> you've got lemon quartz, so that really beautiful, delicate lemon 
rose quartz in there and I've even got um, oh no I mentioned the amethyst there as well so you've got a real selection of just really pretty pastels I think in the bridal world have you noticed lots of the sort of bridesmaids are wearing sort of a lot of chiffon and a lot of uh, uh, sort of pastel like shades so this would be perfect if you do your bridal um, events $9.95 I love it I think it's just romantic I think it's it's feminine I think it's quite gentle almost in its appearance these are big stones don't get me wrong they go up to 15 by 9 millimeters but yet they still maintain that femininity at the same time full 38 centimeter strand for under 10 pounds folks under 10 pounds you can macrame you can stretchy you could knot these and again in a marla style necklace um you could wire work these you could use them with linda's amazing kits of course you could you could do a multitude because this is classic jewelry maker strand but i think one of the most very 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 like i said nostalgic is the word that first came into my head you know what to do it's a free phone telephone number but you have to be quite quick off the mark because these are quite limited within this hour how many do i have uh, less than 50 of these so slightly more than the previous quantities but less than 50 of these remaining within the vault um, and they're coming your way at a breakfast club price tag no curfew on this hour so we are actually going to uh, sort of maintain them until stocks last basically so no curfew normally what we used to do was give you like a 60 minute at that price tag and then they'd go under lock and key under what we call the dreaded embargo embargo yeah we're not doing that today not doing that today. Right then. Gosh, it's that time already. Um, I get to see all of your beautiful talents. What have you been up to, jewellery makers? It's your wall of fame. And I also get to go and give Queen Bee herself, the lovely Linda Brumwell, a squeeze. It's your wall of fame up next. You turned yourself on now. I've turned myself on. The ventriloquist button was Mwah. off. Mwah. I do that to Willow. You know, when you're talking to a three year old and they're completely ignoring you, so I just go up and go boop. Oh, most of the time boop. I turn my granddaughters off. <laughs> Uh, no, Willow's like they're going through a phase of just ignoring me, so I have to go and turn her ears oh, on. They only listen to what they want to listen. Yeah, not true. Um, take it away with the right. Royal Fame, and we, we shall chat some more after. A beautiful, beautiful That's necklace here. This is three nine seven, and it's in. Uh, it's from Molly in Belfast. Molly says. Uh, Please find attached my Wall of Fame entry. It's my version of Gemma, Gemma Crow's necklace from a recent demonstration. I was delighted to win the original piece that Gemma awarded, though I didn't hear the results and was shocked when it arrived. Wow. My response is on Instagram, but many thanks again to Gemma. Also, many thanks, JM, for all the inspiration, wonderful demos and the laughs. All ingredients from JM, as always. Keep up the good work. We will. Um, that's Molly in Belfast. Oh, Molly's beautiful stop. Molly. Love that. Um, this is stunning as well. Amazing photography. 399. Amazing design. Sweet of jewelry from Suzanne. Good morning all. This is my entry this week. It's made with 8mm blue tiger's eye and silver plated spacer beads that I bought many years ago from Jewelry Maker. Just a simple design. Simple but perfect. Uh, good luck to all on Wednesday and that's Suzanne. Good luck to you Suzanne. Love that. Well done. 399. 398. Uh, a lovely suite here and it's from Susan in Staffordshire. That's Susan S. In Staffordshire, Susan says, Morning all at JM. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Everything is from JM. It's a lapis, donut, beads, goldstone, sunstone, sterling silver feathers and studs. Thanks to everyone at JM for the excellent deals and the inspiration. Good luck to everybody in the draw. And that's Susan S. in Staffordshire. Beautiful, Your three, nine, Susan. Eight, Susan. I've got the most... Pretty of sweets. Look oh, at that. 400. So feminine. And it's coming from... An obsessive jewellery maker, uh, Lorraine, that's her words. 
Uh, good afternoon, or good morning, sorry. Hope all um, of you are all settled and enjoying working back with Steve as much as we are enjoying watching you all. We certainly are. Uh, so this week, my entry to the Wall of Fame is a necklace with rose gold copper, coloured wire with rose quartz triangles. I've had, had the rose quartz for some time and used them before, uh, but changed the design. This is one of the reasons I love jewellery making and JM. All the components are so good that you can change your jewellery several times over. Bit out of my comfort zone with the asymmetric design. <laughs> Hope it makes the wall of fame. Good luck to one and all, um, but I'm desperately in desperate need of a win. And happy birthday to Steve on Wednesday. Lorraine, that's absolutely stunning. I love that. Yeah, absolutely. Upcycling. That's, it's, it's a way forward. 400. Good luck. It's a useful hobby making jewelry. It is. Uh, this is 394, beautiful photograph, and it's Wendy, Wendy Wallace. Uh, morning all, here's a photo of a pair of earrings I've made for a friend. They're pearl labradorite lapis and peacock pearl with sterling silver findings. They are shown on a chunk, I think that, that must be celestial, yes. it? celestial quartz. Um, which is absolutely stunning. Uh, good luck to all and to me too, and have a wonderful day, everybody. And that's from Wendy, Wendy Wallace, Wendy. Amazing. I love, that. I love the earrings, but I love that jungle celeste. I know, it's beautiful. I've got some wonderful silver work here. 401 is coming from Carrie. Dear JM, please find it attached to my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a very, my very first attempt at silver clay, and I'm really pleased how it turned out. It's a copy of my gold wedding ring. Um, I got the sizing a bit wrong, but still, not bad. And I'll know for next time. All the tools and materials we use, uh, use were from Jewelry Maker. Thanks to Tracy and Haley for giving me the knowledge to try this. And thanks to JM for great products and great prices. Good luck to everybody. I hope this is good enough to show. Carrie is absolutely amazing. It well done. Amazing, Beautiful Celtic it? design. Good it luck is. to you. 401. Gorgeous. Another lovely suite here. This is 395 and it's from um, Kimberley in Aberdeenshire. Uh, hi everyone, crew included. Uh, this is a necklace and bracelet I made for a friend to go to a wedding. It has Swarovski for spacers and Tanzanite that I bought ages ago, and I do mean ages ago. Um, it is all in sterling silver, which I purchased. Everything from JM. Thanks for all the great bargains over the years, and that's Kimberley in Aberdeenshire. Look at the quality of that, of that yeah. tanzanite. Exactly. And your jewellery making, just stunning. Kimberly, it's beautiful. Kimberly, it is it's really the, it's beautiful. It's exactly the design I would go yeah. for with that strand. Amazing. Yeah. 402 is from Lorraine in Salford. Hello, Lorraine. Uh, this week's entry is a garnet necklace uh, as I have slowly been building my stash to do a long graduated piece used, uh, used your seed beads as spacers. It's with a macrame knot so it can be adjusted. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. Thanks for always, the, uh, for always the fun fab shows that brighten our days and provide tons of inspiration. Good luck to all but a win would be cool and that's Lorraine in Salford. Oh, Lorraine loved that. It's beautiful. Very clever actually putting the slide is not there mm. so you can adjust it 402 this is just simply wow. beautiful i love the sort of the shots mm. of it so it gives the detail 396 and it's from anita in london and anita says hello to all at jewelry maker for this piece i've used a labradorite cabochon bezel set with super duos and embellished, embellished with spear beads. I also use the spear beads to make the necklace element and think the colour of them really complements the cabochon. Thanks, Patty, that's Patty McCord, I presume, for one of my favourite shaped beads. That's all the best from Anita. Anita, that is absolutely beautiful. Love it. Beautiful. Love that, yeah. Um, really pretty. <coughs> 403 is from Jane in Devon. Um, hello all at JM and fellow jewellery makers and welcome back Steve Bennett. Um, I've not made much in a while so made a simple stretchy bracelet. The beadsmith elastic is super, thank you JM. Best of luck to everybody in the draw and that's from Jane. Jane, that's gorgeous. Sometimes, you know, yeah, I, I'm like that. You know, when you haven't bought, when you haven't created for a while, just start with the basics, the absolute yeah, basics. Yeah, but I mean, I think that stretches, I think it's a shame to put them under the basic title because they it's, are... They are fundamentally an incredibly useful piece of jewellery. Oh, they're the they? piece I make the most, yeah, without doubt. Yeah, and probably absolutely. wear the most as well. Yeah. They are, uh, uh, never underestimate or undermine a stretching. No, I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. Oh, jewellery makers, we've got so much to bring you. Um, your kits coming up I know. include tourmaline yeah. and sterling silver, yeah. and yeah. it's going and to and it's ombre tourmaline too. Yeah. 
a Steve's Super mm. Saver price tag as well. Yeah, he's uh, he's put his mark on, hasn't he? Yeah, he, he already, <laughs> already. Well, I'm excited to bring you that. That's happening in the nine o'clock hour. Um, I think we've got time. Have we got time to? Yeah, we can squeeze in a couple more. Twenty-three. See if I can reach that. Oh, look. It's the wolf head. So this comes from Alex, our mineral man. These have been so, so, so popular. Um, oh, it's so sweet, isn't it? They are amazing it's got a creatures, aren't they? Of its own, hasn't they have, because they're like, all hand carved. It's like a, a baby wolf, that one. Isn't yeah, it? it's yeah, it's too cute. Expression, yeah. It's very cute. And if I just turn him on the side for a second, you can actually see the drill hole there. Um, so he can almost be suspended. I mean, they are, of course, pack animals. There's lots of meaning behind the actual wolf as well mm. um, as a symbol. Very, very, very popular. Very majestic creature aren't they 14.95 i remember the launch of the wolf heads we had them in three different gemstones i can't remember exactly which ones they were um rose de france uh, sorry rose quartz rather has been uh, certainly one of the most popular because it is that gemstone of friendship of unconditional love um which again i think is very apt mm, that they, they choose are, it very, alongside they are the wolf heads sort of, actually saying a pack and, and a family. family yeah very family orientated well done Oh, I, I need to just... Ah, thank you, Claire. Thank you, thank you. So it's just done. Now, I've got time just to quickly recap. I've got three of these left, and they're too beautiful to go back into our vault. Um, so this is always sold previously at 99.95. Well, I can see why I've not seen that strand before. It absolutely blows my mind. It's Look at the size beautiful. of each of these. The quality is exceptional, but what blows my mind is the actual faceting and the shape. I've yeah. never seen anything like it in aquamarine. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I'm glad you said that because I said they're not dr they're not barrels. These, yeah. for me, these have got you know the the, the, the actual original crystal structure yeah. in mind almost because an aquamarine does grow in these wonderful hexagonal like shapes look at the color look at the clarity yeah. always sold previously at 99.95 wow. um but steve has agreed agreed a super saver price tag wow. 44.95 we've got the final three of these within the vault i mean you could literally just take i mean the yeah. this one here is humongous it's absolutely this massive. one again gigantic yeah. Yeah. these are standalone solitaires aren't absolutely. they absolutely i would say if I, um if you put one of the sort of medium say this one mm -hmm. onto a fine sterling silver chain and um sort of split the silver chain in the centre and so you've got a continuation, you've got your aquamarine and the continuation of the chain rather than a drop. Beautiful. That, to me, is a £65. Pound and that's using what, what, that's well, absolutely, what, and yeah. that's one of your aquamarines. Um, yeah, final few of these available. Gosh, we've got a show planned for you. So, including in the kits, we have ombre tourmaline, sterling silver, one of the most cutting-edge designs of earring findings that I think we launched here at Jewelry Maker. In all all three colours and they're going to a, su uh, a super saver Steve super saver price tag we've got displays we've got turquoise I mean have you seen this necklace that I'm wearing sorry 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 oh wow look at that those. turquoise it's actually sparkling it's beautiful I've isn't it I've never seen that before I love the this design love 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 this design so that's happening at uh, 11 o'clock today plus so much more um, jewelry makers yeah any knowledge inspiration mm -hmm. guidance mm -hmm. She's your girl. Um, but do not go anywhere, folks, because there is so much to see. You'll love this next kit. We'll be back after this. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, 
but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Join me on the 5th of February from 10 o'clock onwards. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have loads and loads of great jewel making products, in particularly a lot of one of my favourites, which is Amethyst. And from my point of view, I couldn't think of a better way to spend my birthday. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. How are we all? Oh, I've just seen lovely head of head of TV, Chloe. Yes. She's amazing, isn't she? She is completely and utterly amazing. Uh, she, absolutely. She's yeah. like literally dedicated to the very core and works so hard. Yeah, you cut her in half and she's like a sticker rocking jewellery maker. Jewellery maker. Colours. Literally stamped through the centre. Um, welcome, lovely Linda. Well, thank you, darling. Oh, what a nice. So like, there I was last night. So, ooh, who have I got ooh. tomorrow? Who have I got? <gasps> And then, of course, did I smile when yeah, I saw your lovely I, face? Um, I'm, I apologise in advance. I'm Why? Today, this morning. Yeah. Tomorrow morning I'm coming on with Steve. Yeah, lovely. Okay. That's going to be mega. I'm That's, sorry. Why are you apologising? It's, it's, it's one, of those, one of those weird months. So I've got all come together and then... I, they, then they realise what they've done, and then a massive gap. <laughs> you get a nice rest, though. A deserved, a deserved rest. Um, you don't need to apologise, though, Linda. We love, we love you. Um, oh, we love this kit. Yeah. So, imagine for a second, right? We, we will bring you kits of all different varieties. We will bring you sort of your more readily available gemstones, like your quartzites, your agates, your jaspers, those kind of things. Um, but we will also bring you... We will also bring you high-end gemstones like tourmaline. Now, as you said, this isn't just any tourmaline. Tourmaline comes in a complete rainbow of colours. Um, and within this strand, you've got sort of your pinks to your deeper tones, your almost ruby-like -like colours. Um, now, this is interesting, actually, because I've researched um, pink tourmaline. What's the, what's the very definition? Is there such a thing as a definition between dark pink um, tourmaline and 
the rubelite, what deciphers the two. So uh, like the debate of dark pink sapphire becoming a ruby, tourmaline is only renamed rubelite if it is a deep pink red colour as seen in both daylight and also artificial lighting. Now in my opinion there are definitely some of those in, in that strand. Without a doubt. Now, um, I, I absolutely adore this kit, but it's limited, unfortunately, because I think we have one of the most high-end designer earring findings that we've ever launched here at Jewelry Maker. Now, so you almost post these through. I'll show you actually on the T-bar. This is how they will actually sit in your earlobe. You have this really beautiful cascade of sterling silver um, with almost like, if, if you imagine that, that solid mm. bar of 925, that's what helps you position it through the ear. It literally glides through with the uh, beautiful arc of precious metal. That's mm. what sits in the earlobe. And then you have this... Um, it's like a Figaro chain. It is a Figaro, yeah. Mm. Uh, Figaro chain that comes at the front here. You've got that per perfect balance. I'll turn it slightly so you can see. So the perfect elegant. balance. They really are Incredibly and amazing. I have them in the other colors to bring you as well um, but this the silver you want the silver it's in the kit now Steve has promised that this is going to go to a super saver price That's tag for the for the luxury um, we've only got 48 of them for the luxury of pink stroke red tourmaline so you've got the strand of your tourmaline and you also have your featherweight head pins which you're going to need if you want to be uh, sort of follow uh, Linda's wonderful inspiration we're going to get um, a clock onto your screen just because we've only got a limited quantity of them now and I can tell you I can tell you the price that this entire kit's going to I'd happily pay for the findings um, or the featherweight head pins maybe those together and maybe the you know the tourmaline on its own so incredible deal let's get the clock rocking shall we 60 seconds to that's now. So I don't know if you're aware about this. I don't know if you're aware of how low we're taking it to. No, I've no idea. Well, I've no idea. I'm a bit sort of, yeah, it's a bit sort of we long keep, word, trepidatious. We keep you in the dark <laughs> and surprise you. Yeah, but I you, like that though. You, you know your gemstones, Linda, and mm. you know that tourmaline is a considered stone. Tourmaline is a considered stone and it's very much backed up by its, its chemical formula, which is like pages i think it's the longest chemical formula isn't it it's the most gemstone. complicated yeah <clears throat> so it's, it's mother nature has really put together the most complex gemstone and when you look at that that whatever it is that equation and then when you see what it actually equals mm -hmm. you think how well it's, a, it's like for a diamond <clears throat> to form you have to have carbon yeah, that's it. Straightforward. For a for a for a tourmaline to form, just imagine for one second how vast our planet is. Then pin, then literally stick a pin in it. Imagine in that location you had the perfect pressures, heats and intensities, and geological occurrences with the perfect ingredients, which there are multitudes, literally fifty plus. That is the rarity of tourmaline. Mm, you know, it's exactly. it, that, and that is why it commands huge prices. This entire kit. We are taking two with our most designer earring finding that I think we've ever had here at Jewelry Maker. With all of these sterling silver featherweight head pins, we're going to bring the entire kit for the price of your tourmaline strand. Um, this is what we should have gone to. So don't you think that's incredible for, 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 for pink tourmaline and rubelite colours? Can you see those reds? So I'll read that definition again. Tourmaline is only renamed rubelite if its deep pink red colours are seen both by daylight and in artificial lighting. I mean, I think there's definitely sort of strawberry colours uh, within this entire strand. And you have also the, you know, the delicate pinks also. £45.80, incredible. 25 carats of your beautiful tourmaline you're getting here. Um, in our classic rondel strands, very on trend at the moment as well, rondel shapes. Final price is a Steve Sue. Super saver. I'm uh, glad Steve did that and not and not anybody else. Yeah, yeah, none of us can get into trouble. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm quite. What we've got, we've got a training meeting after this, so a training session after this, after You're our show. You're going to train Steve. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you know? Normally, I'd be a little bit anxious about price reductions like this, but actually, we could just say you did it. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. did it, Steve. Welcome back. Yeah, I mean, awesome, isn't it? Well done, but there are just 48 of these. Well done, Annette. Glenda, Debbie, Eleanor, hello to you, Linda. New customer, hello to you, Dorset, Jacqueline, Elizabeth. Talk to me, Linda, about why these three components, I mean, what was the sort of the idea? Can you they, pass those earrings over, actually, the very far ones? They are absolutely 
Um, those three components are the very definition of perfection. Yeah. Um, you've got these beautiful, uh, what I call a thread earring finding in sterling silver, which I think are simply the most elegant wearable. Um, you know, it's an occasion look, I think. You can dress them up or you can simply just put one stone on them. Mm. Or not. You can wear them as they are. But I think that they are simply the most exquisite. I love this sort of little bar that's like a, that finishing touch of that sterling silver. And on the, the 925 stamp is actually on that bar exactly. there as well. It exactly. really, I mean, that, it's so, do you know, you look at these and think, gosh, they're oh so right, because why wouldn't we decorate the reverse of the ear? And oh, that's yeah, effectively absolutely. what these are doing. They've totally. decorated the reverse. Yeah, completely. So if you imagine you've got an updo, say a bride or something like that with an updo, mm. how elegant is that and a then the, the addition of the 925 sterling silver featherweight head pins is phenomenal mm. because they are so tactile these head pins yeah um I mean, I can't infuse enough about them, and they go through these tourmalines. So these, I mean, see. a featherweight, I remember the introduction of a featherweight head pin. So they're, they're narrower, and the idea is that you can work with, you know, your smaller gemstones. Yeah. So if you've got diamonds, if yeah, you've got, absolutely. I, I don't know, micro-faceted sapphires, all of those things, then they'll actually work perfectly. And this is like a little wrap loop. I assume you're going to be demoing yeah. this. Um, but, yeah, I, I totally agree. It's such a cascade. It's a gorgeous cascade. And it, it's weighted perfectly as well, so the actual balance of the 925 sterling silver with the front with that curve they're just beautifully engineered aren't completely they completely beautifully engineered there's such it's not a nod to design it's um it's a design that has sort of is a simple in form and yet you know there's not, not enough superlatives for me to sort of um encourage you to buy this type of earring finding mm. because i think it's 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 been around for a little while, but it's just suddenly um, become a trend. It's been with us a little while, I think. And but, I think you know, now, look yeah, in, in, in the glosses and uh, mm. even in the Sunday mags, you'll see these all, yeah, all, all I agree. the time. I agree. And they literally are. You just kind of post them through. They're very comfortable to wear. Yeah. Now, we're getting limited, so those of you that have it in your baskets, do make sure you check out, folks. I have eight of these left. Eight of the kit left. So, I mean, at that price tag. So, you're buying basically the strand. Well, no, it's to me, 45. Yeah, you're basically buying the strand. You're getting the earring findings and all of that sterling silver featherweight head pins um, to yourself. Do you want me I to mean, hold these up to the ear? Um, how, how many featherweight head pins are, are there? Uh, Have I'll got tell a you now. On them? Is it 100? You're joking. I'm not. Wow, now, normally in our threading, in our uh, findings packs, with our plated findings, we put 15 in of the plated ones. Uh-huh. No, these You've are... You've got 100? Yeah. Wow. Of the featherweight head pins. Look at that. That's Apparently, that... as well, elongates the neckline when yeah. you have a cascade. Yeah. I mean, look at the movement that you've got. You've got the interest. You've got all that gorgeous sparkle. Um in the front and then you've got that detail behind which is so dare i say again but it's the only word i can think of sophisticated so, uh, absolutely and these you know if we ignore for a second this this very cutting edge beautiful design so this part of the back this um this this here that beautiful wrap loop effect i was watching jim poor the other day actually and i saw um presenter kate and she was actually uh, auctioning i think they were they were jadeite if i remember rightly jadeite little wrap loop pairs uh, pairs of earrings so 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 beautiful really beautiful flying out the door i mean jewelry makers you can make these and you can make it with with tourmaline so you can almost have have a little collection if you manage to get hold of those amazing earrings i was very tempted very very I mean, tempted we've, we've to get got them. another another um kit coming up um i'm presuming quite soon yes. after this one and um, that's got labradorite of the highest quality yeah. again and um i have never ever mixed pink tourmaline and labradorite before 
but I will again because it's just stunning. It really works, doesn't it? It's like a it's like a cashmere silver. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, gorgeous. So yeah, if you're wondering where the the labradorite is, it's coming up in the kit in a few moments' time. But yeah, they do work beautifully. Mm -hmm. Down to the final few. Any questions? Then do text us. We are live here in the studio. Um, six zero triple seven. Make sure you start your text with JM Studio. So if you have any questions about the jewelry, the jewelry that Linda's created, um, um, if you have, I don't know, questions about featherweight head pins how to do a wrap loop i assume that you're demoing mm -hmm. these earrings so very excited to see that and little uh, little announcement jewelry makers we do actually have these earring findings we've got extra lines of silver 30 13 extra lines of sterling silver has been added to the show so they're being actually allocated right now. Chloe's literally booking them in. Um, they're going to be in the, in the 11 o'clock hour, so added to the show. But these are coming up within this hour. See, this is the thing. I am a definite gold wearer. I love, yeah, yeah. love, love yeah, gold. So yeah. if I had the choice, then obviously I would go for the gold plate. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I don't wear the rose or the or silver, because I definitely do, but I, I had a choice I would go for the uh, for the yellow gold. Likewise, some people would say about the, the, yeah. the rose. Yeah. Um, and you might go for... Yeah, I mean, I would probably... <clears throat> I used to go for the gold straight away, but then when my husband bought me a new wedding ring, mm. he bought... A white gold one. Uh huh. Um, so consequently, I home in now on, on silver. The silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this is a thing, and, and being able to mix them. Now these are coming up after the bread, literally after the kits. Okay, okay, so they are coming your way, but very, very exciting that we can bring them to you in the three different colours. Mm. Do you remember once upon a time when it was literally purely silver or base metals? Now we're bringing you sort of very on trend colours, and I understand that this year, 2020, it always goes in fashions and cycles, um, but it's the year for yellow gold. Um, yes, the popularity believe, of yeah. yellow gold has gone I mean, dramatically um, upwards. These particular earring findings, just to say something that is probably a bit ridiculous to say, but normally these earring findings will only get an appearance of a weekend, won't they, here yeah. at Jewelry Maker? They're that special. Um, That's very true. So for them to come out today on my show, Gail's show, my show, on a, on, a, on a Tuesday morning, you know, just take advantage of them because they will fly out. Oh, definitely. Most, and you're so right there. You're so right. Well, that's what's exciting about what Wayne's just said then as well. We're getting additional 13 exactly. lines. So, so yeah, exactly. they would. And they, when we say uh, they're, they're under lock and key, they literally are under yeah, lock are. and key. Yeah. Um, yeah, so contemporary. I mean, and, and this is something anybody could make. Silver is still the most popular colour um, of all your precious metals because yeah. it complements so many it different does skin everybody. tones. And it has a, um, a reasonable price tag. <coughs> Excuse me, it has a reasonable price tag. Although that in itself goes up and down on a daily basis. Excuse me, I've got a lurk. That's all right. <coughs> I'll, 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 um, yeah, it, yeah, absolutely. Go, it will always will because it's precious yes. metal, isn't yeah. it? Um, Twenty nine ninety five. Well done, Linda, my darling. Yes, so you're going to be demoing these. No, you carry on. Don't rush yourself. Um, and like I said, anybody can do this. So if you're watching right now and you're thinking, I've never made a single piece of jewellery in my entire life, get the kit. You can always watch this demo back as well on YouTube because we... Yeah, very simple to do. Even I can do it. Um, so yeah, watch it back on YouTube if you want to. So don't think that literally you have to. You have to even record. You can record if you want. Um, but this is a, a quite. A, it's, it's called a wrap loop technique, isn't it? It's a wrap it? loop technique, but um, we're using a precious metal, mm -hmm. um, as Elle says, and treat it. Um, oh, you want those? You know, with, with the respect, really, that it, yeah, that it, that it, that it, that it deserves. Um, I mean, they are so lustrous, as I say, just without any adornment, they're stunning. Yeah. Um, but you could literally wear them as they are, couldn't you? Definitely. I mean, even just a single pearl well, on the can front you there imagine? would look beautiful. I mean, you could go quite. Um, statement because 2020 is also the year of statement and if you imagine one of those nucleated or, or a fireball flameball pearl on the end oh. of that you know that is an earring that would appear let's say in bond street on its own in the window without a price tag and it would be four figures without 
a doubt. Of course it would. You get one big nucleated pearl on there. Yeah, yeah. Up, up, up Tahitian, South Sea. You can exactly. sit, you can imagine it with all of those very yeah, high end absolutely. locations. Completely. And we're not just talking about pearls. It can be any high end gemstone. Um, okay, so anyway. But from a joy maker's you. point of view, um, having this very fine, beautiful Figaro chain is really well thought out um, with Caroline, our, our sterling silver buyer, because she's noticed that that, that chain we can embellish mm -hmm. relatively easily, okay? Because we've got the tiny little links and then we have links that are slightly larger. And that really stands out to where you would put your embellishments. I, do you know, just, just a, a little bit of credit, I think Caroline is Amazing. she's brilliant yeah because she, she literally just I, i'm she, i'd love to get her on air because mm. she <clears> properly <throat> watches the trends like yep. literally if you go in ever go and chat to her in buying she's always got some kind of all the designers up onto a monitor yep. she's one of those ones that's got multiple monitors and then she's always got different design of this different designs of that and she can reference all of them so yeah she is this is this is literally what like you said in the glossy magazines anyway yeah. right Absolutely. take right. it away so we've got um our gold Gorgeous earring finding. Now it might be um, it, if you can work on a flat surface, perhaps on a, on, a, on a layer of a you know a sponge cloth or something like that, um, and lay it out nice and flat like that. You can automatically see the larger links of which there are one, two. So it's that glossy that I can't see how many links there are because it's shining so much. One, two, three, four. Five, which mm -hmm. is great. That's an odd number. That's yep. exactly in my book what we want. So I've taken one of the larger tourmalines. Obviously, on my example there, I've used um, the addition of the Labradorite uh, rondelles as well. But I've just uh, I've picked one of the the larger tourmalines again with the gemstone. Don't be over concerned about trying to get. Um, matching ones um, they'll jump out at you um, and the, the first ones that jump out at you use a gemstone by the nature of being a gemstone every one is going to be marginally different and that's the complete joy so it's more important on a strand like this to look for probably comparison of size so as you can see this is a gemstone of distinction it has a small drill hole in it and it has gone on look superbly on that um, on that sterling silver so head pin. You've got the little bobble on the end which in itself is very much a part of the design creating a little bit of texture there and the light trust me will bounce off that little bit of silver there as well. Right now I'm going to do what I'm, I call a halfway uh, wrapped loop so I'm going to take my round nose pliers. Now, because these are very delicate, as you can see, I've taken my round nose pliers and I've popped the head pin in right at the very tip. The round nose pliers are graduated. So if you look at them as a um, sort of a size guide, um, you can obviously see that this is going to give you the smallest wrap loop, this is going to give you a larger one. And it's horses for courses, it's whatever you want. But with something like this, I automatically will go for the very tip. So to, to fix it to the chain, I'm just going to do this really slowly and sort of talk it through because I'm a bit picky about loops. <laughs> Over the years I've become quite... <clears throat> and the reason being is if you attempt to get your all of your wrapped loops or your simple loops completely spherical, completely round, whatever it is, gravity will keep it dropping like that. Whereas okay. if you get what I call a bit of a kink in the wrapped loop, mm. gravity will make it like that. Okay, so I, try and try and perfect. Yeah, so don't rush it. There's no need, is there? There's no need to rush. Relax and enjoy. So, I'm going to take my index finger and I'm going to take it right onto the tip of the pliers and then push through 90 degrees. Now you can see I haven't put my finger on the end of the head pin because that would give me a horrible nasty sort of bump there and I want it to sit and mould itself around uh, the pliers. Now I'm going to slightly open the plier and then going away from me I'm going through 90 degrees keeping that plier in exactly the same place 
closing the, the pliers. Right, now what I'm going to do now is come back again, not here, but here, as close as I can get to those pliers, bring it back through 180 degrees and just give a nice little push on there to mould it, okay? Now this is the halfway stage because a wrap loop you cannot open. You cannot open the chain links, so we've got to find a way where this is going to go on and stay on. So remove your pliers, you'll have what I call my uh, long question mark stage. Okay, so if you've got that sort of question mark there, mm -hmm. that's great. Then pick up your earring finding and then the very last chain link is one of the larger ones. So pop it onto your head pin, let gravity be um, useful to you and just hold it up literally in a straight line up, upwards so that that little link of chain is sitting in the centre of that half formed wrap loop. Okay, gravity is your friend here. And then take your round nose pliers, put them back in the same place uh, where you started to form the plier. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm just putting my finger in front, I just want to balance it. So it's right there. Now I've got the chain is sandwiched, it won't slip out, so I know I'm going to trap that. Take this um, residue of your head pin down until it virtually rests again with your finger right on the plier on the sterling silver head pin until it basically it's resting on that tourmaline. Mm -hmm. Right now, get plenty of purchase on these pliers because this is now when we're going to put a little bit of pressure on it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push the head pin away from me and then keeping as close as I can. I'm going to wrap around where that little bit of the head pin is peeping out. So that's got like a little neck on it now. Now this is sterling silver. So what's the point really, unless you do things like keeping it bits of resin work and mm -hmm. things like that, use it. And it's so malleable, even for a, um, a small um, high-end gemstone like this, it's perfect because you've got that nice flat surface. So just keep turning and it will go round in a coil. I apologize, well, yeah, because it's, not... it's more of an investment of precious metal. The more totally, it... totally. It seems a shame to cut it but off. But I don't know whether you can actually pick that up, but if I just move that out the way. So you see that's got a little hat on top now. It's yes. got a little sort of um, bead cap. Oh. Okay, then, I'm sorry I've forgotten to bring my, uh, my, um, my mega cutters in, I, I've left them, I know where I've left them, I've left them on a particular piece of jewellery I'm making. Snip off that tiny bit of residue, okay, and there we go, we've got that, that very first one on. Now that in itself, on this particular type of earring finding, I think it's just so attractive. Just, just one, literally just one. one tourmaline is just really, really pretty, really, really effective. Now, you can see now the other, the larger links on that great shot there. So it's exactly the same technique that I've just done. But surprisingly, with these gorgeous featherweight head pins, you can get two in, into, in, each into each of those larger separations. You could probably get three in there to be absolutely wow. truthful, or four. But you can get two because of the fineness and the firmness, but the, the, the malleability of the sterling silver, you'll get two. So pop exactly the same method, um, a smaller tourmaline on the one side and then to the other side pop another one and just repeat that up those large links. When you get to the very top, the, the exiting link from the actual um, sort of hoop part um, is a large link. So I, on my particular specimen, I, I popped in again another uh, a Labradorite there. Uh, so it's basically a tourmaline Labradorite sandwich. They, they are so beautiful and, and literally so on trend, like well, I said The sky earlier. is totally the limit because these earrings uh, findings being s sterling silver and being fine and being so high end, any gemstone, your diamonds, your emeralds, your sapphires, your imperial topaz, whatever is going to look stunning on them. Oh, look at How that. How about Grand Digirite? 
how about I'm going to show you something else. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. How about, I mean, I'm just literally sort of placing these here. But do you see where we're coming from? Literally, you could put any of these Absolutely. strands on, on these gorgeous earring findings. Now, they are coming, they are coming your way. Um, <laughs> we're waiting for them to be literally booked in, booked into the, to the uh, warehouse so we can actually bring them to air. But they are coming your way, Jewelry Makers, and I do think they're going to be sellouts. Likewise, um, the lowest price ever of a Grand Digirite coming your way. Are we doing it now? Are we, are we really? Linda, thank you so much. They are simply stunning Absolute designs. We pleasure. will, of course, be uploading photographs of uh, Linda's creations to our Facebook, uh, our Facebook page. And again, any questions, do message us. Up next, how about one of the rarest and one of the most exotic and most expensive gemstones, Bryce Burkara, in the market today? The beauty, the rarity, the collectability of Grand Digerite. Okay, jewellery makers, um, I'm about to bring you an opportunity for, well, an opportunity for collectors and connoisseurs the world over. I know lots of our regular viewers, um, maybe own it already, I wouldn't say lots, but a few of our viewers. But those people that have never actually uh, uh, sort of heard of Grand Digirite before, let me just talk to you for one second, because I want you to really understand how marketing impacts a gemstone. So most people, my dad, once upon a time, actually said to me about Pareba tourmaline. It was just a just, just general conversation. He actually said to me, oh, well, of course, it's not the most expensive or rare of gemstones, though, is it, Al? I said, how do you mean? Because I was like, OK, well, no, technically it's not. But he said, well, you know, it's not in the, in the big five. I kind of had in my mind that that's what he was thinking. He thought the big five were the yeah. rarest and the most expensive. And it sort of puts in your mind importance. Yeah, it, no. that's not actually factually true. The big five are the big five purely because of marketing. Um, and that's not to, for me to sort of be sound derogatory to those big five gemstones. They're beautiful and they're very, very precious. But often the rarest gemstones and the most expensive gemstones are not well known. So Grand Digirite, and I can tell you, is actually number... Um, in the Guinness Book of Records, it's actually number seven of all rarest gemstones. Um, if you go to the Forbes list as in most expensive gemstone, it's number three, mm -hmm. three yeah, or three. four, yeah. number three on the Forbes list. Um, it is a gemstone which actually features some of the most beautiful teal, bluey, green like mm. colours, completely natural. You can get Grand Digirite with transparency, you can get Grand Digirite with um, sort of a, a level of opacity. Now, if you, if you ever see Grand Digirite firstly, with, with, with clarity, firstly question whether it's real, because if it is, it'll be tens of thousands of pounds. Uh, much of the sort of, um, of my research of this gemstone showed Grand Digirite, which you didn't realised was synthetic until you scrolled right down um, until the sort of the, the, the very finer details. Many of the world's collectors would love to own this gemstone but it's almost impossible to find. First discovered in 1902 in Madagascar by Alfred Lacroix, who's a French mineralogist, um, and he named the gem in honour of, uh, of a French um, explorer and naturalist, Alfred Grandidier. I mean, what a gemstone to have Ooh. named after yourself. It's found in only a few locations around the world, um, uh, Malawi, Namibia, Sri Lanka, um, and most, the most recent sort of specimens are actually coming from this location, which is Madagascar. Genuinely, £20,000 per carat is not an exaggeration of price. Uh -huh. it, it really isn't. Um, I've, it, it, I, I really encourage that you look at things like the wonderful World Wide Web. Please make sure that you're comparing genuine Grand Digerite because it is one of those gemstones that people, uh, jewelers like to imitate, like Alexandrite, like many others. Um, but if you actually, even the imitation stones can be thousands of pounds. You know, it's unusual to find Grand Digerite in triple figure prices like this. Mm -hmm. 
40 carats that you're getting here. I've bought this gemstone when I first discovered that we were we were getting it. It was it's actually down to Wayne, so we can thank Wayne for that purchase because you uh, um, he actually went to our buying team on a whim and said, is there any chance? And they just so happened to stumble across a parcel. It was literally right place, right time. Um, anyway, but we weren't imagining it to be sort of triple figure prices. I bought this gemstone because I know that quite literally this is probably once in a lifetime opportunity. It's not one of those gemstones that I've ever seen before available, um, especially not at affordable prices. So it's almost a no brainer. It's a it's a I, I, it's a responsibility. Well, it, I have to buy it. It's a um, it's a highly <coughs> collectible gemstone, isn't it? It's a recent discovery gemstone as well. So who knows how long we're going to be finding it mm -hmm. who knows nobody only mother nature probably has that knowledge but it's very much if you actually even don't make jewelry but you're watching the show today this is a specimen strand it, the colors are i think it's i think i might just about go and say and it's not just because i'm here today with this strand but i think that's the nicest strand i've seen uh, color wise <laughs> Of Grand I Dijerai. really love that they're all a hue of that gorgeous teal. It's colour. a tealy, bluey green, yeah. isn't it? Just amazing. Yeah. And it's purely natural. Do you, do you know what? I, I don't disagree with you there, but I'm going to add to that conversation and say that this is also going to be the most affordable Grand Digerite strand that you've ever seen. Which. It's a big statement. <laughs> it is a big statement. Um, under what? Sorry. Oh my goodness me. Under £100, it's an acquisition which honestly, I think you'll come back, ten, fast forward 10 years, fast forward 20 years, fast forward 30, 30 years when you look back on the fact that you've made this purchase, never in your wildest dreams would you imagine that you invested just £79.95 for 40 carats of genuine Grand Digerite. One of those I definitely suggest you get your certificate of authenticity, it will actually say the gemstone on there, it will say the location on there, it will say the carat weight, have it valued um, I mean imagine that in a pair oh of these gorgeous word. earrings like we said earlier on just like a little cluster maybe a carrot in each ear and make incredible um, on the World Wide Web um, and, and I don't actually know I was trying the reason I haven't shown it to you before but is I actually found a lady a photograph of a lady, I think she's a royal, um, not one of our royal families, obviously I'd have recognised her then, but she had this enormous platinum collar and it literally was about an inch and a half wide that went around sort of her decolletage and in the centre um, it was a, was a faceted Grand Digirite stone. It was opaque, it was much the quality like what you're looking at right now um, and it would be tens of thousands oh, yeah. of pounds oh, worth of jewellery, yeah. smothered yeah. in diamonds of course, yeah. smothered in diamonds. Um, but I mean, that, that, that's how, how this this is, opportunities like this make me immensely proud to work for Jewelry Maker because I know categorically if it wasn't for JM then there's no way that on earth that I would own this gemstone. My, I'm, I'm never too proud to admit that I wouldn't be able to afford it. I wouldn't. £79.95 makes it all pop, uh, well, possible. It's only a £220 pound discount. I mean, yes. Yes, Wayne. <laughs> Bye. The most affordable uh, strand of Grand Digirite that we brought you jewelry makers, and also, and also, quite possibly the last. We can't ever guarantee that we're going to be able to bring you a continuous supply of gemstones, particularly not Grand Digirite. So have a little look in the Guinness Book of Records. Um, I did look elsewhere. Seven uh, to seven and a half on the most scale. So ah. you've got a really durable gem so that as well. Is, I was going to ask that. So yeah, it's very wearable. Though, yeah, yeah, very wearable. Um, but I, I looked elsewhere. For the prices of Grand Digirite, um, I can't say openly where they were, but if you message me privately, I can. Um, you can see it, Linda, mm -hmm. can't you? Yeah. Uh, so one, uh, one, a competitor, I would say, a competitor, um, will offer you one and a half carats of quite opaque Grand Digirite, and it's three hundred and forty-five pounds. That's one and a half carat. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, um, a loose stone, oh. which is a 0.3 carat stone, £675, 479 These are the best prices that I've found, upwards to over $1,000, but they are actually the most affordable prices and quite yeah. similar in the quality. I mean, um, it, it's not a well-known gemstone, um, it just isn't. Um, but having said that, if, if you don't really concern yourself about making jewellery from it, just listen to Keep exactly it. what Elle has just said. You can see the enormous value in investing into that strand 
for the moment, like, I'm not sort of talking about future investments. And um, take it, as you said, take it, take it to a really reputable jeweler that knows his gemstones. Mm -hmm. And first of all, watch, it, watch his reaction before he gives you a valuation. A colour gemstone specialist, without doubt. Without like, cause, cause doubt. This, again, um, if you go to certain jewellers, I mean, I don't doubt now. If I, my boss from years ago, years ago now, um, who owned a family owned jewellers, would not have even known about Grand no, Digi, exactly. right? Wouldn't have known no, about it. And he no, was a, he was absolutely. a jeweller. You know, so. And at the end of the day, you might well find, I'm not saying that this is definite, but you might well find that a reputable jeweller who knows his coloured gemstones will say, well, there's your valuation. Let's say he values, this is an off-the-cuff thing. Let's say he values it at £500, something like that. And he says, oh, I'll give you £300 for it now. I could see that happening. Mm, definitely, definitely. Don't do it. <laughs> I would suggest don't do it. Just, think, just keep hold of it. Mm, totally. Um, okay. Are we doing these now? Yes! I want these. Tell me we've got quantity, Wayne, because I'm... Wow! 105 wow. of the rose and 88 of the yellow gold. I want to buy these. I mean, they, they're so easy to turn into that very, you know, that very high-end catwalk design. I'm going to start with the rose gold. Starting with the rose gold. I mean, the, the grand did you right? Just do little clusters, maybe or one even on the bottom of those earrings. You're talking about hundreds of pounds worth of jewellery if it was elsewhere. Okay, they go what? No. Okay, well, I'm not going to... I'm going to miss you out won't, again. You won't get any, no. So if you've no. got that strand of zircon yesterday, imagine like a cluster of zircon on the bottom of that. Oh. Can you imagine some exquisite rondelles of rose quartz? Oh. Beautiful. Well, the tourmaline. The tourmaline, absolutely. They'd be beautiful with the tourmaline. Yeah. Oh, the clusters of, of, of peridot. We've got a peridot, yeah, little mini peridot showcase. Uh, are you ready? The graphics are live. So we have just over 100 of these. Um, one of the most fashionable, cutting-edge, genius designs, but also one of the most wearable of designs that I think have ever been creating yeah, in an ear I and mean, finding. Uh, for me, they are what I uh, uh, sort of title an understated statement. Oh, I like that. You know, it's it's it can be a real statement, mm -hmm. but if you don't really do huge statement, then it, it's not, is it? You know, because no. if you can you can big it up and you can you can make it tiny gemstones. I'd love to see how the um, if you wouldn't mind, particularly with the rose gold one. I'd love to see the turquoise, the dollar, the dollar. Oh, beautiful. So they are actually, yeah, little clusters of your uh, of your turquoise so jewels. That would be so. We can't, we're actually struggling to keep up in terms of quantity, by the way, jewelry makers. We had 105. How many have gone now already? 52. Wow. 52 already. So yeah, let's bring the price onto your screen. Um, I've actually just popped one of these in the ear. Don't worry, they're studio samples. But just to show you how easy and comfortable these actually are to wear. So super super simple. I mean, look at that. I just look how it, I mean, that, that shot there makes it look as if you've got that lovely loose French pleat there. In you your could hair, wear them just it? like this, couldn't uh, you? Yeah, definitely. And just look how beautifully they're, it's almost like um, wind charms, isn't it? Mm. In, in, in a delicate breeze. And you get the movement from the one the behind movement. the ear well, as that, well. The, the, the sort of, I, I think that those have been really designed at, uh, they've taken a lot of attention to that little weight on the back mm. um, to, in order to keep them... That cascade. Yeah. I love them. I absolutely uh, love them. We're talking about the rose right now, of course. Now, oh, gosh, 20 of these are left. They are going to be an on-screen sellout. Wendy, Carol, Camilla, Eleanor, Jane, uh, Cardiff, Caroline... Anismon, um, hello to you, Jackie, Glynis, Norma, Sean, Tatiana, West Sussex, Maureen, Tracy, Mary, Helen, Teresa, Lanarkshire. I can't keep up with you. And so many multi-buyers. I mean, to be truthful, why wouldn't you multi-buy? Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I love this design. I love the fact that we've got that Figaro in there. It's not even mm, just a standard exactly, chain. Exactly, exactly. Does that yeah. make it easier, having it, the Figaro? Yes, because, I mean, if you look at the, the links of chain in between... I can see that that is totally feasible. The, the, even the small links of chain in between the larger ones, you will get one of those featherweight sterling silver head pins through. Definitely. Yeah. So you could actually load that chain. But because that Figaro chain is so elegant, as you can see, it's sort of in its, in its sort of naked form. It's just as gorgeous 
before you do anything to it. Yeah. Well, the, yeah, I mean, look, you just, so, you just, you've just seen them in my ear and they literally look you, like you, a finished piece uh, of jewellery, don't thing they? Is, um, being a bit, sort of a bit, sort of, uh, I, I can't think of the word at the minute, but if you do sell your jewellery, these are so completely and utterly on trend. Mm. And I will guarantee that if you go and sell your jewellery at any craft fair, anywhere, you won't see many of these, if any. No, I agree. You really won't. I agree. So this will bring you in your customers. They'll probably buy other stuff as well. I've got 12 of these left. So, yeah, I know our graphics aren't accurate, but you're, you're, you're ahead of us jewellery makers. Basically, you're struggling to keep up. And it's tricky because you're multi-buying. Um, it's not tricky for you, tricky for us. But So we have to kind of mathematically work it out at the same time. Um, so we're actually approaching the single figure. So Portugal... 12 in baskets, Portugal, uh, Julie, Norfolk, Helena, Gloucestershire, new customer you have to check out if you want to guarantee your success. I'm going to leave the rose gold with you because we're going to move on to the yellow gold. I'm going to miss that, am I? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you are. Oh, these with the peridot. With the grand digirite. With the pink tourmaline. Yeah, well, I will donate these f for you as, to, as you're going to be so distraught not getting them. Oh, Linda, another reason why I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I always come away with some really beautiful jewellery. And the thing about being a jewellery maker is simply the fact that you, as, as a customer as said earlier, you can ring the changes. You can take those That's gemstones true. off of that finding and put something else on them. That's so true. Or even make little charms that you can just easily put on and off. That's, do you know, in your demonstration, you popped one stone at the bottom, mm. and that looked, I mean, Claire, Director yeah. Claire, actually just said, I think that's what I would do. Yeah. Because you like simple jewellery, don't you, Claire? Um, and that, 50 of these mm. have gone already, and we didn't have the quantity of these. 88 of them. Gold-plated 925 sterling silver. Were these launched on, launched on our sterling silver weekend? I'm amazed they didn't sell out then. I'm absolutely amazed. But good for us, eh, hey, jewellery makers, because that means that you get, a, um, you get a second chance. A second chance I mean, I opportunity. Think these, the gold and the rose gold, as I said, have only just been rushed to be booked in this morning. Um, and um, I was in the uh, the kit making team and the buying room yesterday and it's it's um caroline is absolutely she's ace isn't she brilliant yeah um she buys our sterling silver and the 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 designs that she's sourcing just make me simply drool honestly i yeah i mean i'd love to bring caroline on air one day i'm sure she's i don't think she's very would she would she would you reckon Caroline would come on? Because genuinely, I don't know, because she comes across like almost like she's shy. But I'll try. I'll do, I will try. Um, but yeah, she literally watches the market so closely, and it's and, and brings you jewelry makers. I think more on trend designs than we've ever seen before, mm. ever, ever, ever seen. Yeah. Literally, you are com you know with, with with your makes using designs like this, you are competing with the big, big, big fashion jewelers. Absolutely, jewelers. absolutely. Um, and the, the the thing about our our uh, um, our, our kit making team now and our buying team is they themselves love jewellery. Absolutely. And you it know, so shows. Um, it, it really does, doesn't it? Can I just say as well, for the first time since takeover, I saw Paula yesterday. <gasps> Paula Bennett! And then she's just a... She's a dog. She's uh -huh. looking fierce. Yeah. <laughs> she looks amazing. Yeah, incredible at the moment. So hopefully we'll get Paula on our screens as well. So, so lovely to have. I bumped into her last Valentine's Day. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. Todd and I were literally having their little romantic meal and then we were... <laughs> from across the restaurant. Um, Okie dokie. Um, oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. So we have what? You've got 10 days till Valentine's Day. Um, and I'm not just talking about couples. If you're in a relationship, this could be daughters. It could well, be best like friends. It's, it's a day love, of love, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. This is one of the best deals I've ever seen on a nine carat gold chain. Wow. It's a star wow. buy. So, 
I don't know. I have 35 of these available and it's, you know, if you go into a local high street, which I've got to pop there tomorrow, pick up a few cards. Um, I know if I popped my head into any of those jewellers, even, and I'm going to say a word that is strictly a no-go on, on shopping TV, even the cheap jewellery sh jewelry shops, which there are. Let's be honest, yeah. there are. I'm not saying we're the... There are cheap jewellery shops, aren't there? Yeah, there's that one inside that where you write your order yeah. at, isn't there? There's that one. Mm. There's a few. There's a few. You wouldn't even... I don't believe, anyway, you would find a nine-carat gold of this calibre in any of those shops. That's a good length, that, isn't it's it? It's 20 inches say, yeah, isn't it? of nine-carat gold. Oh. So, what would you... Be, be, be truthful, be honest. For luxury, gold, not gold plate... Solid, solid nine carat gold if you saw this in a jewellers and you had i don't know a hundred pounds on there you wouldn't be surprised would you no no well i probably would be surprised thinking it was a bit cheap yeah for that to be truthful wait until you see this jm price tag it's an amazing it's an amazing deal this is actually a prince of wales which is actually one of the most detailed um chains <laughs> in that you know and i was describing this yesterday so a curb a, um, a belcher or a trace chain they interlock like so don't they you remember as a child how you used to make those kind of yeah. paper chains they interlock like this lovely um uh, the best way I can describe a Prince of Wales chain is imagine my fingers are individual links, but they're like this. They kind of, you have a multitude interlocking, so it's much stronger and it's much more detailed. You get this really lovely, almost like a frill, don't you? Yes. Within the gold itself. Nine carat rose gold, 20 inches. We are taking this, and it is an, an astonishing price tag. We are taking this under 50 pounds. Wow. Under £50 for rose gold. You don't need to add anything to that. That's a really beautiful necklace Absolutely as it is. Absolutely not, no. Again, you know, you could do those makeup uh, simple little charms and things and mm -hmm. just ring the changes. But I just think a little... Um, beautiful little rice pearl or something. Don't oh, lovely. That would be perfect. Are you ready for this price tag, jewelry makers? Because, I mean, it's not even a, a, a few pennies. That's You can't even get... No. I don't, in some places, you can't even get a sterling silver chain at that no. kind of price oh, tag. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, I've said this, this a few times, but uh, when I first started making jewellery years ago, um, I used to go into our very fantastic uh, jewellery quarter in, in the mm -hmm. centre of Birmingham, and I would buy my chain off reels by the inch. And at that point, a sterling silver, um, very fine trace chain was costing me, in those days, that's going back about 14 years, was costing me pound fifty an inch. Really? So, yeah, really uh, sort of hits home then just how amazing and competitive our yeah. prices are. You can see the quality of the, of, of the bolt ring class that's included <laughs> there as well. It's not just length. It is a complete and finished chain that you're looking at exactly. here. So I bought years ago an Akoya pearl, very, very, very small Japanese Akoya pearl it's set in a little heart it's a tiny little heart I haven't worn it for I don't know how long and the reason why I haven't worn it is because when uh, when I bought it um, I, I, I knotted uh, well I, I've got it home worn it a few times and I've actually knotted the chain can't I can't repair it it's beyond repair I've priced out different chains and I've never actually got round to buying it as of yet because it's always been an expenditure you know it's been yeah. quite an expense 34.95 is a crazy price tag and I've got how many left 12 12 of these left. If there is, if for actual gold, yes, Ben, actual nine carat rose gold, not, not plate, even Ben's like, what? I know, I know, I know. Um, there we go, I've replaced the chain if I manage to get well, hold of I, that. I, I can give you a little tip on that knotting, not the undoing of it, although there are, there are ways, but a little tip on avoiding getting your fine chains into a knot Please. is simply by storing them in Flat. a straw. In a straw? Yeah, just get a straw, everyday straw, pop your chain through, a little bit of sellotape or whatever around the top, and, and for, for travelling, going on holiday and things like that. It's always the simple things that are the most difficult to fathom. And somebody told me that, and trust me, it works. Oh, you're good, aren't you? <laughs> She's so good. So good. I, no, I am 100% going to do that. 100%. 
Um, I don't have Tibetan turquoise in there. I have opal. No. Number three, no. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Bear with us one second, jewelry makers. Um, and in the meantime, I can show you this coming up in the in the ten o'clock hour. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh. It's actually available for pre-order now. So big statement. Uh, Multicoloured hematite uh, faceted stones. Beautiful. Isn't it amazing? Coming up in the ten o'clock hour. I like that. In the. Wow. In the 10 o'clock hour, so coming your way, and um, you can pre order yours right now. Okay, I'm not sure, I'm not convinced that we just, uh, I'm not convinced that we take a closer look. Oh, they are, they are, they are, they are. Here we go, here we go. So they're in the wrong box, here we are. So this is Tibetan turquoise. Gosh, they're beautiful. Look at these patterns and these shapes. Isn't they gorgeous? 90 carats. Wow. Look at those in a multitude of your shapes and patterns. So um, Mark yesterday was doing bead embroidery. He was actually demoing bead embroidery. And it's so addictive, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I know you're amazing at your yeah, bead embroidery. Yeah, it is addictive. Yeah, totally. I mean, they're, there's so much colour on these turquoise. Um, and they're all unique. And they're completely unique. But just to put the tiniest, say, little Swarovski two or three mils around the edge, or your seed beads around the edge, or tiny little seed pearls around yep. the edge. Wow. Of that. Would that, would be, that would be good. I really like the fact that you've got such a contrast. You know, so norm I. normally it's the blue or the green that, dom that dominates, which it does definitely on this drop here. But I'm going to pop him down for one second. I really like the fact that this is turquoise, but not as we regularly see it. So in I. the fact that you've got more of a dominance of the matrix than you actually have of the of the blue light colours. I like it because it really yeah. makes it pop. Well, it's got to be... Location has got to have an effect on any of course. generic gemstone. So Tibet from one place mm -hmm. um you know um, uh, sleeping beauty turquoise in america or turquoise from africa or anywhere they will have differences won't they oh totally because of the minerals that they are Absolutely, uh, you, you, there is a def you can usually decipher the difference, so Tibetan turquoise, Mexican turquoise tends to be more about these kind of greeny colours, um, but even then I would actually have struggled with this one, identifying the location because mm -hmm. it is so so unique, down I to the final that, that little one yeah, it's is beautiful. divine, it's like little splashes of uh, like stylized flowers on Mother it, Mother Nature's it? sprinkled turquoise, that's what it looks really like. Beautiful. Moving on. Oh, now you know what I'm thinking, don't you, Linda? I do. I do. You d you totally know what I'm thinking, yeah. don't you? No, I can I can I can hear your brain getting overexcited. Uh. Now that would seriously be with one of those drops. So you're using two tons an eye onto the earring finding. Let's say two hundred and fifty. Ah, yeah. For that quality of tanzanite. Yeah. These are not tanzanites which are pale or insipid, lacking their vanadium content. It's got that beautiful cornflower blue. Um, I think it's probably one of our finest strands, actually. Continuity from start to finish. Yeah, I agree. Mm, look at it. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the continuity of that colour. Yeah, They're literally. Complete. from. Look at that. <gasps> Amazing, amazing. I, I mean, I, I clearly recall this strand and I clearly recall that recording because I, I remember being completely dumbfounded by the clarity. Yeah. And as, I, as we've said already, the intensity of, um, of that colour. So these are all standalone solitaires. I'm just going to count these for one second because 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. That's 22 standalone Tanzanite solitaires averaging just over a carat each. Averaging. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do what? Oh my goodness me. We're going low, 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 low. There are 30 of these left within the vault. Look at that colour. 
You can't question that's gem quality, Tamsin. Well, I was about to you? say that is it's a specimen gem quality. The colour is when um, when I went to South Africa. Obviously, um, the um, a lot of uh, um, of the jewellery establishments within the airport mm -hmm. are selling Tanzanite, aren't mm, of course. they? And the prices are absolutely astronomical because it's a captive audience. But um, I was also on a, on a cruise ship and the Tanzanite that they had on there was, though, was that colour. OK, so I appreciated, wow, you've got some really good Tanzanite here. Mm -hmm. But again, there was nothing under three figures. Oh, definitely nothing not. At De all. And you're talking about one individual gemstone here. You've yeah. got 22 I've just counted on this strand approximately. Are you ready? This has been an incredibly popular strand. And I, I tell you why, because our jewellery makers, uh, customers know their gemstones. They know the calibre of Tanzanite tonight that they should be aspiring to and they know that this is ridiculous deal we have sold this strand at the previous price tag so 149.95 um, we have done not today though everybody the gemstone of new beginnings tanzanite one are actually marketing it as the gemstone of new beginnings and also uh, for, for, for your firstborn um, so yeah I mean I mean what a lovely message that can be and if that catches on and it's as, as successful as De Beers I mean I think then tanzanite is going to the price per carat is literally going to leapfrog once again estimated mining between 10 and 15 years that stunned me when i read an article about say one location, quoting that it? yeah it? so once it once it's gone it, it's literally gone unless they by some miracle they do find it elsewhere but one in a million chance. Absolutely. That's like the statistic. More than that now. That's the yeah. statistics because yeah. of because of the actual geological event that, I mean, that formed Kilimanjaro. Is, uh, again, it, it's a it's a relatively well, it's very new gemstone, isn't it? Well, back in the sixties. Mm, late sixties. Yeah. Um, and um, it's in those few years, it's now been elevated to being number five. So we used to have the top four, didn't we? Yep. very special four and now we've got five tons of night being that it's the one. only one that's so shoved its way in there yeah, to the industry a new gemstones made headlines 24 carats so these are averaging a carat each can we just work that out that's what two pounds that's ridiculous two that's pounds ridiculous. how much each three pounds sorry three 22 on the strand three pounds 40 per tanzanite so um you know i've told you the story about when i chipped my trilogy tanzanite ring oh i was so oh, i'm so gutted about it took it into a jeweler's local to me said okay what's the likelihood of me actually buying a replacement stone and then they said you'll, you'll do it on your insurance because it's thousands of pounds for one individual solitaire and it's not a, it's not much over a carat in its actual size um look what you're doing what, what you're getting folks 74.95 you're getting some of our finest grade of tanzanite it's the final few that we actually have within the vault though um yeah and they and they're selling well why wouldn't you because like i said it's been sold comfortably at 149 at 95 previously gosh it's that time already coming up jewelry makers in the next hour we have display boxes so very 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 popular items even the cones so the foldable cones they always fly out the door mm -hmm. haven't been on your screen since last year and we have that amazing strand of hematite so oh, very gorgeous. very popular we've got linda what more could we possibly want don't go anywhere we're back after this. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button. Fill in the required fields and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Join me on the 5th of February from 10 o'clock onwards. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have loads and loads of great jewelry making products, in particularly a lot of one of my favourites, which is amethyst. And from my point of view, I couldn't think of a better way to spend my birthday. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. This coming Wednesday, it's Steve Bennett's birthday. And in celebration for that, we're going to be drawing two Wall of Fame winners and two Wall of Fame runners up. Join us this coming Wednesday on Jewelry Maker. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Welcome back, jewelry makers. How are we all? Oh, lovely Linda, luscious Linda, luscious, luscious, <laughs> luscious Linda today. Oh, it's never work when I'm with you, Linda. Oh, you got the right word. It's so you? true, though. I don't need to. I don't. I don't work. I don't work. Well, it's I, not a job anyway. Isn't no, it? exactly. Yeah. This is, and my husband quite openly says this to me on a regular. But don't even try and say no, it. No, it's not no. a job. Okay, okay. okay. Um, now coming up. In an hour, we have this beautiful deal of the day. So amazing turquoise tubes. They categorically will sell out. I can say that for oh, certain. Yeah. Oh, yes. What a gorgeous design. Yeah. So simple, beautiful. but yet 
perfection. It's coming up in just under an hour's time, jewelry makers, and I also have got some really lovely Mexican turquoise cabochons to bring you. Um, I need to give you a heads up because this is happening within this hour. You can pre-order it now. Um, you're looking at multicolored hematite, and Linda and I were just discussing the fact that we don't believe we've ever seen this quality of hematite before. No, the quality is absolutely astonishing. It's outstanding, actually. Um, <laughs> And I don't believe I've ever seen that particular style neither. That no, the shape. coin, mm -hmm. centre drilled. And I mean, for a bracelet, well, just, well you know, and, and, but for a necklace, even more wow. Well. I mean, yeah, I love uh, all of those things. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of multi buyers. You can use these colours separately if you wanted to. Like you can just you could separate the silvers, the antique bronze but ones. I love it like that. Yeah, me I, too. I it's coming up within this hour, not too long to wait. But we thought, jewellery makers, we would start the hour with storage that hasn't actually been on your screens. I say storage display. This is going to revolutionise those of you that do your craft fairs. No more have you got to worry about people handling your jewellery or your gemstones you know and let's be honest when I had my jewelry business there was always you had to allow a certain percentage of breakages um, that happened either with the transportation um, or during the actual sort of sh showing of pieces as well these are incredible in fact we bought them and this is a little bit of a story that you might not know we actually bought these for display in this it, 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 actually in the studios mm -hmm. we had no intention of selling them but you love them so much they were like, all right then, we'll order them in. Now, you get five of them. They do come apart. So, as, I, as you can see, they open, you can see, very simply. So, there you go. So you can you the see? vacuum then. Yeah, Oops. it's like a little membrane mm. there. We start with the circle ones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only downside. Is that for me? It's a nightmare to realise which ones we're doing first. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do this one first. This one first. These are the large circle ones, and so they come in bigger size, in different sizes as well. Um, I think these are the only circle ones that we actually have in white as well. Yeah, yeah, the only circular ones that we actually have in white. Um, so same applies. I'll open it again. They are you, they open like a book almost. So you push the one side separate like Linda said there's a vacuum you can put things like I've had I've had bismuth in here I've had cabochons in here we've had finished pieces of jewelry in fact I'm going to do that I'm going to borrow I'm going to borrow I don't know a necklace now obviously you would take time to display this much 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 better than what I am going to but you know you could actually have this it's going to protect the precious metal and it doesn't take, because it's so uh, taut, I suppose is the word, it, it, um, it doesn't take away from the beauty from the gemstone, does no. it? No. Absolutely. They're protected. They're I mean, not gathering yeah. dust. I can see that sort of aquamarine, chrome probably, dioxide, yeah. and tanzanite. You can the, see the colours. You can see it, can't you? Yeah. Um, they're not rubbing at all. They're not going uh, to be sort of subject to moisture or any kind of sort of chemicals no. and things. And you just seven ninety five, and that is for all five of these. I only have 100. Wow. Lots of our lovely viewers will actually buy these, and they use them like little frames, like box frames, especially if you collect sort of gemstones that aren't necessarily for your jewellery making. So, <clears throat> for example, I've got that a hematite and an amber specimen. I've got um, a couple of different sort of uh, gemstones that aren't faceted. They're the sort of, the, they are literally rough crystals that I would keep in something like this. Now, say I wanted to actually demonstrate, to, 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 to display them, mm. then you can actually take it off that. You don't have to use the stand. And because you have that lip just here. Oh, yeah. Put them on the wall, couldn't you? You could hang them on the wall. I mean, um, I have got some absolutely stunning um, slabs of druzy agate with spectacular Ooh. druzy in them, which would be gorgeous in there. They really would. And, and you can fit 
a huge you'd be surprised how much how far i mean look that membrane mm -hmm. actually does give it's so it, it really does have a flexibility to mm -hmm. it so i wasn't kidding when i said i actually had um uh, yeah bismuth actually within these as well so you get all five of them i know i'm only showing the one but you do get five of these as well you can put photographs it doesn't even have to be jewelry making related it can be it can be craft you might make um i don't know you might want to press some flowers from a bridal bouquet. Yeah, that's a really good idea, actually. Yes. Special mementos. Yes. I have still wrapped up in toilet paper Willow's first lock of hair. It's not in anything. But it's literally just wrapped up in toilet paper in a cupboard. That, how nice would it be to put in that? Definitely. You know, little Definitely. mementos. Well done. Okay. The same in black. So, like you will find here at Jewelry Maker with our busts, um, we display, for example, well, we'll use your, those two as, here we go, perfect. Mm. Sometimes we'll display certain gemstones on black, sometimes we'll display certain gemstones on white. Pearls you would put on, <clears throat> which would you choose pearls? With pearls, my preference would be black velvet. Yes. Um, uh, with pearls. But I was just thinking with these, they would be great for... Something like um, those earrings. Yeah, I mean those earrings could um, could go inside there. Lay them out. Couldn't they? Yeah. And um, do you know it, if there is a particular design that you feel is one of your most successful designs? Yeah. Perhaps. Um, but you're a bit like me, you completely forget the design you did last week because you've done several since. It might be a good idea of just storing Keep that it, particular yeah, design yeah. for a reminder. Keep them there for your just reference. For a while, yeah. and, and, and if you do craft events, you can make this mm. and then you can have the ones almost almost set up ready in the, in the presentation yeah. boxes, couldn't you? Yeah. Seven ninety five. You get five of these, though, jewellery makers. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I agree. Pearls on black, uh, on black, but you wouldn't put something like a, an onyx or a black spin then on a black background you'd use those in the white so it's creating that contrast it what really it's what really gives the uh, the gemstone the most sort of i don't know how it's like framing a picture what, what color would you use to um to frame that picture or um to match your 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 uh interior design 795 only now these have not been on your screens jewelry makers since last year so first time they've actually been on your screens they are great not just for jewelry making that's one of the things I always try and convey when I'm talking about these it's not just jewelry making if you collect I don't know rare objects money certain coins stamps um, I don't know memorabilia all of those things they need looking after don't yeah, you there's a reason um, why you collect yeah, them yeah my my uh, the twins my granddaughters are seven they went into my dining room unbeknownst to me at the uh, last weekend and they were playing at uh, cafes Right. right, so when I went in there, there was every type of cloth you could think of over my table and this, that and the other. But they'd also got out of one of the drawers all of my collectability coins, as yeah. you've just said. Yeah. And they're all in the acrylic thing. Yes, Some of I them know. are cracked, etc. And to be honest, I'd completely forgotten I'd got them. And there were quite a lot. That would be superb, putting three or four in yeah, each one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> which one next? Big? Nine by... Is that nine? I think that's more than nine. I'm just trying to decipher the size difference. So we have three sizes, Wayne. The middle one. Okay. Okay. Every single time we have this, every single time we're all like is that nine centimeters is that 17 centimeters can't quite figure it out um now i i love the plain black squares or and plain white squares we have we do have the same in the white as well now you get five of these as well i just think these are the most simple you've got the largest expanse there um to uh to display with you could do I and mean, if you do seed bead art cross stitch all of those things you can actually put in here I quite like the I quite like the black and the white together. Yeah, me too. Um, as a display, so I think I would buy the black and the white. 
Particularly if you sell your jewellery and you've got like a monochrome collection. Mm -hmm. would look lovely, wouldn't it? With the, the very much Mary Quantesque. Well, big jewellery shops will use either black or white. Yeah. They're the ones they'll actually use. Six ninety five mm -hmm. gets you all five of these. It's, in, it's incredible. All five yeah. of them. So you would expect that for one, really. You would. I've got to work. I've got to work quite quickly because we obviously got a lot of displays to get through. Um, but they're not always on your screens, folks. And you do get the five stands. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you might have, I, uh, do you know, it's pe pieces that are very sentimental to you, because I have a pair of my father's cufflinks that I bought for him, gosh, many, 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 many years ago, um, and, I, and I don't have the box anymore, so literally they're sort of in my jewellery box, but the two, I want them to be they separate. They'd look lovely, wouldn't it, as a yes. sort of, on, on, a, as a, um, on your dressing table or something, and you'd look every day, and yes, really that's the thing, I almost don't there. want them to be put away, Absolutely. I want them to be, yeah. uh, want to be the out, out and visible. Right, let's bring you the same size in the white. I love the white. Oh, I've got another idea. Anybody getting married anytime soon? You could use these to display, to display, I don't know, table numbers, menus. Um, you could actually put inside them as well your little sort of gift. The favour. The favour, that's the yeah. word. Yeah. 6.95, I really like the white. I just think the white for me, is it, it's just clean, it's beautiful. It's acrylic, so they're wipe safe. This isn't, we had the discussion before, one of my, uh, uh, my customers was saying, it's, it's like, the best way I can say is a membrane. Um, it's not cling film, obviously, no, but it, it. it's much, much, much more flexible than cling film. And the two, if I open it up, Literally, can you see this? How they literally stick. There's something weirdly mm. satisfying about that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I bet. They're almost magnetic. Do you see what I mean? They yeah. literally kind of stick. It's like a silicon, isn't it? Stick together. So, yeah, no dust particles, no mm. moisture particles will actually sit in there. I found that quite. That's quite enjoyable, that. Um, okay, let's do the big square ones. Well, thanks, Claire. <laughs> Thank you. She sorted it all out for me. Thank you, my darling. Um, yeah, I mean, I want to. Okay, every time I see these, and I haven't yet done it, I want to frame things like cabochons, certain gemstones you could literally just kind of put up and around, rather than have them in containers and, and put away where we can't admire Mother Nature. I mean, I can almost imagine, actually, getting a large, let's say, let's just get a large standard frame from mm -hmm. wherever, like a picture frame, but yep. large. Taking these off of the stands and then arranging them, you know, sort of um, weirdly. Do you know what I mean? Not yeah, just haphazard. Light, haphazard. With family photos. I've and got that in like my that. lounge. Mm. I've got that in my lounge. Literally, well, click Claire, you've seen, haven't you? Um, literally, I've got one wall. I do. I print off all my favourite photos in like a um, in a black and white, and they're all on just literally whatever. You just put it up. No, no thought to it. Nice and haphazard, and yeah. I really like that. I think yeah, it's quite I'm, a statement. I'm getting together my granddaughter's sort of um, age photographs, and uh, my eldest granddaughter Madeline, who's who's ten. I've literally got a photograph of her when she was two minutes old. Oh. So, uh, and it's it's an absolutely gorgeous photograph. So I've got all those at stages in between, and just to see the change in that child's face yeah. is astonishing. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, and you can almost put that progression, couldn't yeah. you? They'd be amazing for that for photographs. They'd be absolutely amazing. So there you go. There's that membrane. I'm. I mean, I'm literally just looking around to see what I can actually display. Uh, display in. Um, I've just literally grabbed a, your, your your one of your gorgeous peridot that's coming up a little bit later on. I mean, how perfect to show your customers. Well, I can give it to you in this gemstone. You can you can commission that piece idea. like this. Yeah. Um, so it's almost becoming <coughs> like a portfolio as well. Yeah, it might be a good idea having um, all your you know um, sort of high end gemstones like the peridot, etc., the grandidiorite, etc., mm -hmm. etc. In those, I'm um, say. And label them what that gemstone is. Yeah. So I can make that design in that if you Beautiful. like. Beautiful. So they come with little feet, these ones. This is the octagon. No, they've that. got little I love feet. That gem. That's like looking out of a submarine. It is. Yeah. Much, <laughs> much more limited. Much more limited. Again, opens exactly the same way. I haven't struggled at all no. um, to open well these. Made. Yeah. Very well made. 
Um, but yeah, we, we originally thought um, of, of these. The reason why we actually bought them was to show you cabochons, because have you ever noticed that we tend to drop cabochons? <laughs> um, because they, they're kind of balanced on our hands usually. Um, the, Look at the, that, you've created a most beautiful Valentine's heart there. That's perfect. Look. That is superb. Well done. <laughs> Super. I'd like to say it was deliberate, <laughs> but but it's just literally how it fell. <laughs> but doesn't that look beautiful to yeah. sort of show off the actual gemstones and the designs that you have? So I suppose as well, uh, sort of as, as an addition to that, you could display it to your eye's perfection and it'll stay there. Yeah. Yes. And it won't sort of drop yeah, it's not gonna, it'll, it won't, stay, it'll it, stay there. If you've got one dominant stone that's wider, then obviously there's going to be a separation, but you know if you've got a piece like this where it's all the similar ones exactly. that, 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 yeah like you said they're going to suspend they're not going to sort of all gather at the bottom no. um, now these are limited so they're the octagon cuts and I think these are the only octagons that I actually have how many left how many six left they are fab aren't they Stretchy bracelets, anything, any bracelet, earrings, necklaces, pendants, you can put them all in these designs. You know, and no more, right, okay, take it off that bus, put it in this packaging, roll it up in nice, uh, you know, a jeweler's roll and all those things, because you've got to look after your gemstones and your precious metals. If I was taking these and my jewellery was displayed in these, all I need to do is go, okay, yeah, yeah. That's literally it. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much time exactly. effective exactly. Um, will that be yeah, it might be a good idea actually making up your signature designs and doing just that and mm -hmm. saying these are my signature designs and I can make them in any gemstone that you want and as you say then the portability of them mm, and the clearing so much back better. up is so quick right we have oh the little mini white ones oh, these are cute do you know what I'd love to put in in, in this particular one I've got my grandmother's um, brooches and one of them is a hand stitched coronation brooch of the queen in silk stitching uh, and little sort of uh, tiny little diamantes in it and that and it, it would uh, again that's in my jewelry box uh, out of view in there yeah, where you don't exactly. where you don't get to sort of have yeah, that exactly. comfort when you look at it it it, it, it I, I totally think that i think the sentimental milestone sort of uh keepsakes i think this is these are brilliant for as well as your jewelry making and gemstones of course um yeah i mean news articles you know sometimes when i don't know you might as a child i've certainly yeah. got paper cuttings yeah, and, and <laughs> I just thought of something really weird, but I've, I've got I've got to say I've got both my children's little hospital yeah 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 bracelets you know that that's have lovely to, you know, that's no that's there. lovely I've got yeah, yeah you do you keep those kind of things don't you that's really nice and you know it's not going to get lost then five ninety five again you get the five of these these are the mini I say mini they're seven by seven and you have the two centimeter depth um, let's bring you the black I might have to get some of those for that reason actually because I've got willows yes. Yeah, I've got I've willows. Got mine. It would be lovely to put those. I'm going to do that. Oh, they, they're gorgeous. So same size. You can use the two together. So use the two together. So if I actually put the white, bring the white one back, they do look great, don't they? Mm, definitely. They are um, a, a, a very um, modern, contemporary design, mm -hmm. aren't they? Which is. If you, if you like minimalism, I think yeah. these are, are definitely for you. Absolutely. Love it. Absolutely love it. They're picture frames, effectively, aren't they? Definitely. You know, they're not just displays. They're actually frames. Well, I think anything that you can see that you can frame, you can use these. You can. You can. Sorry, Claire. So taking the time to separate them out for me, and I'm not grabbing from her uh, her selection. Sorry, Claire. Haven't been on your screen since uh, last year. Always very popular. I remember the first time we brought them to her, and everyone was like, "Oh my goodness, we need those!" And they are genius. It's just, I, I think actually, I think the moment that gems actually see this, they're going to love them. Yeah. Because you know, I've just had the most incredible um, picture pop into my mind with that particular one there. I'd hot fix in Swarovski crystals around it. You could put prices on it. Yeah. Imagine That's a great fix. idea. Wow. Yeah, like Swarovski bling. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Moving on to the necklace display. Here we go. Now, this. Do you want a genuine, genuine story? When I had my jewelry business some years ago. And it was it originally just me, and I used to have to travel a lot. But um, transporting jewellery and gemstones was a real issue. Um, 
So, yeah, I actually had to physically sell my car and buy a bigger one mm -hmm. because of the display busts. Well, when I come to Jewelry Maker or I leave Jewelry Maker, oh, etc., my boot in my car is rammed. Yeah. And everything there is, is completely necessary. Um, and, but it's so heavy. Yeah. Yeah, really heavy. Yeah. So these actually are, firstly, I'll turn this around. I've looped it on to, you can use that or not. You can work, work mm -hmm. it out which way do you think looks best. I think personally like this, actually, so it's suspended down. Mm -hmm. um, but showcases the pieces of jewellery. It's actually reversible. So if I just pass that there for a second, because if I actually do this and turn it around like this, That's nice. you've actually got a really lovely uh, flock. Mm. Velvet here as well, that's so pearls so, uh, would be beautiful. Looking, isn't it? Yeah, it is, pearls. and then when you're done, you know, if you're if you're actually sort of off travelling somewhere, whichever, or you've got to transport your designs to and from. There you go. It literally folds down perfectly flat. And if you're flat. having some sticky ribs or something like Perfect, that. Perfect, yeah. I mean, amazing <laughs> for that too. Amazing. It's wiped clean. This side, don't use the velvet, but this side is wiped clean. It's a good idea. Good idea. When your dog goes into the vet. No, no. <laughs> He can have a little neck. He can have a little designer coat, can't he? <laughs> Moving on. Let's do the white. Now, we use these quite frequently, and then all joking aside, it's quite an investment, actually, your displays, aren't they? They, they, are. they, they are quite a, um, quite a price, especially for this, uh, this PV leather or leatherette design, because it's so... Literally a baby wipe is all yeah, you need. Yeah, exactly. And if it was real deal leather, it, uh, real deal leather, because it's, it's a natural uh, fabric, um, it crinkles, doesn't yes, it? Yes, ages. Et and what you, what, you don't, what you want for any jewellery display is something that doesn't interfere with the jewellery. It's just got to be a backdrop. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want it to compete, do you? No. Yeah, leather actually isn't that practical for, for displays because no. they actually cr it cracks. Yes, it does. Yeah. You need to moisturise it yeah. effectively. Um, so again, I would highly recommend getting the two different colours. £4.95. I mean, they are just such a clever idea, isn't yeah, it? Totally. Such a clever idea. for your If you do bri bridal events, if you do... Um, um, craft fairs, obviously your summer fates, your winter fates. These will these will transition through all of those different events effectively. I think of no end of of, um, of things that you can display on that. I mean, the least of which, if your husband's upstairs and you're downstairs, you can use it as a loud hey. Yeah. There's that. <laughs> there is that. There is definitely that. Or, like I said, uh, I sometimes don't hear Wayne. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Selective here. <laughs> uh, moving on. The black bracelet. Oh, now. The, the fact that they're tapered as well, because we are not all the same size. Mm -mm. So these, you could almost put like a child size yeah, at the top. you could put a baby christening bracelet yeah. on the top. Yeah, and then they'll graduate yeah. out. If that, if, if that even is maybe uh, too narrow, yeah. isn't, you can position it. Yeah. You can actually position it in different ways. Plus you have that, uh, uh, the actual foldable um, part there that will hold everything into place. £3.95, so exactly the same as the, the necklace display that I brought you earlier on, but on a much, much, much smaller scale. Um, they are amazing. We use them, we have used them since Jewellery Maker mm, pretty have, much started, yeah. haven't we? Yeah, we have. It's always been photographs, you know, because sometimes... I learned over, um, um, uh, over over the years, certainly when I started in the jewellery industry, we used to spend, we spent two hours setting out the jewellery prior to the actual working day. Mm -hmm. um, but I used to learn, I took that sort of knowledge, if you like, into when I had my jewellery business and creating heights. Uh, height and depth within uh, within your your craft events and your displays is really important. It's incredibly important. If you've got like a mismatch or let's say a mess of things, it's very difficult to see what you're looking yeah. at. Or at, you know when you walk into a shop and it's there's a sale on. Yeah. And everything's oh, gone out. And you look and you think, oh I can't I can't be you doing can't that. You can't focus it, can you?
when you but can't when process. When you see something that's displayed in an organised way, you are, something that's there that's meant for you will jump out at you, won't it? Um, I, I found out as well, passing on a bit of experience from this, but I found when, with the pieces that I displayed with the, on, on, a, on, a, on a stand, not everything, I didn't put everything on a stand. Some I would actually put sort of round, mm. but most were had height, levels of height. But the ones I actually put on stands were always the ones that sold yeah, first. Yeah, that's because you have given them an element of importance. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you yeah. have. Um, it just shows, I mean, if we look at Linda's lovely jewellery now, now the only reason this is on the on the table is because I, mm -hmm. I borrowed it earlier on. But if that was on the, on, you know, if that yeah, was it, literally it, it, on it, the desk, uh, it's I not mean, showing up. Well, it, it's, it gives you, um, if it's displayed on a bust or something like that, so say a necklace in particular, it gives you an idea of what it's going to look. Although when when you put a piece of jewellery onto a living, breathing person, it changes. It, it becomes does. Completely. But that just gives you the element of how it's going it, to lie. It, it, I agree, it does. It just makes, you're showing it, you're showing that you care about yeah, your designs of course you okay are. now we're talking very much dominantly about sort of uh, you know selling and retailing those kind of things what about ph your photography jewelry makers what about that when you take your photograph and send it into the wall of fame what about when you take that piece of jewelry off at home exactly. you know do you just pop you know throw it on the uh, the bedside table um, or pop it on the kitchen counter when you're doing the dishes um, or do you do you take time to look after it if it's a particularly treasured gemstone um, or piece of jewelry or design you want want to look after it don't you certain pieces as well Definitely. don't like just to be thrown i love the idea of the straw that's clever <laughs> totally going to be using that one stealing that one hematite is coming your way within this hour in about 10 minutes time um so big star by opportunity multicolored hematite and both linda and i were saying don't believe we've seen this no, caliber well, before. well i know i haven't i don't know I, and i the cut as well it's all very mm, very yeah, exciting yeah they're big individual hematites very with that very luxurious multitude of rainbow colors mm. He's Coming fine. up in 10 minutes, but not yet. Now, ah, oh, I didn't know that these were actually, I'm just, one of these, I'll keep one of them with you. We've got three different sides. I didn't realise that these were actually on our show today. So they come in three different sizes. I'm going to keep those earrings in there just so you can see how you display with them. Um... Yeah, three sizes. So it's the layers. It comes down to those uh, creating different layers and heights within your displays. It's, um, it's a subliminal, apparently it's a subliminal sales thing. Yeah. That if something is displayed nicely, mm -hmm. particularly in graduation like that, you can't help but notice it. It's true. It is so it's true. It's pleasing, isn't it? These are better than the earring displays that used to be, we used to have in the jewellers way back when way 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 back when they put them on the lid it was actually this material but mm, in an earring stand yeah. that doesn't work i think because the balance with the the look of the i think well, they I, tip. an earring really needs to have um, what i call a dangle effect it yes i agree needs you need to, that space don't yeah, you just here um, particularly for things like gemstones that need the the because if that's in a jeweler's window there's an element of like a, a slight breeze isn't mm -hmm. there whether it's air conditioning or whatever and it's just nice again it makes you think of what they're going to look like when they're on i agree you want that area to be sort of free yeah, yeah. basically um <clears throat> i agree with you and i think this stand the fact that they're not going to tip backwards or tip forwards yeah. 195 i used to pay so much more than that and mine were literally the ones which were kind of like a cardboard a stiffened cardboard and they used to tilt back or and you'd fold them and then they'd be broken and then they'd fray these are going to last you for ages aren't they if well, not I mean, forever had, to be honest had, most of our earring stands i can tell you now are 10 years old Oh really? Oh yeah, definitely. Really, they always make. They also make really good mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's got to go on the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. They do. Just you know, just if you need to make yourself smile. No, they are amazing. And you're right. We've had these displays for such a yeah, long time. Are. Why would we need to replace them? That's the thing. It's an investment, but they they'll last. And the thing is as well is say you've got say you've got this the smaller one. Mm. The, um, but I fully endorse getting them all. But say you've got the small one and you make an up a long up for a length drop yes. or something like that. These are malleable. These you can you can tilt bring, them, tilt them up. Can you and bring them down? Oh yes. 
So, and also you could take one up and one down for those mismatched earrings. Oh, I like that. <laughs> or, but balance. So say, say, say I've got like a little dainty pair of earrings, then I would naturally gravitate towards course, the smaller ones because you don't want to overpower it. Of course, yeah. If you've got those big opera length earrings, I think these are perfect for this, yeah. the medium size, then I would go for the tall. Yeah. There's the tall ones, oh, absolutely, which are coming, up, coming up after. So this is the medium. 195. They have a stable base, so it's like a, um, an acrylic base. Wipeable clean. You can put your little prices on there if you wanted to. Um, you can actually use them for sort of mo uh, photographs as well, mm -hmm. to actually hold photographs. But I totally agree with what Linda was saying. It's about having that freedom. If they were like a piece of cut, do you see where we're coming from? Yeah, they, it's they, too clinical. They're flat. But that's quite There's organic, no isn't it, when, you, when you've got nothing around it? You've got that kind of movement, which is naturally what you want to uh, imitate almost uh, whilst wearing. 195 gosh, I didn't know these were included on the show. So this is a nice little surprise. How many do we have? Okay, we have over 200, but they are being snapped up, and I do mean by multiples as well. Again, do you, be proud of all of your creations. We genuinely love your, the Wall of Fame entries, so show them off. With a pair of earrings, they will naturally look nicer if you're actually yeah. suspending I mean, um, them. A little, going back to the, the straw idea and the chain, now, this is a fine Figaro chain on these earrings mm -hmm. here. Um, so there is a slight opportunity if you lay it in your lay these earrings in your jewelry box or a drawer or whatever that you might get that magic knot nobody knows how they happen no. but they do what is that it's all the same about? with cotton when you're sewing and that there's a magic knot and you do not know how it's mm. got there so popping earrings like this as a storage as yeah. well not just a display but as a storage because they're not going to tangle because well, they're suspended the house and you want to wear that particular earring you think, oh no there's a little catch on a knot or something oh like. it's so frustrating it's so frustrating uh, now have they not all been that price so you can get all three for six pounds yeah literally all three obviously don't include the earrings that's literally for you know to show you but look how amazing Perfect. that is so professional they can they're not just I've, lots of our designers will actually use this i'm sure you're the same linda that will actually use these in, for other designs as well so not just earrings they could be bag charms yeah uh, I've, I've been known to sort of um pop brooches brooches well. yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and obviously it's not these these also right uh, if you look at that that um design there you can use stud earrings. You see, that's why we've got that coil in there. The ah. studs all go through there with the butterfly backs on. So they don't fall through. Exactly. exactly. Uh -huh. And also, you've got this here. So you could dangle a pair of earrings there, and you can also bring some into there. So if you want to put two pairs of earrings on there, perhaps the same design, <coughs> but a different gem. I see. So you <coughs> could almost... Yeah, yeah actually, didn't <coughs> I do that? with or, or with a strand, I almost cascaded it forward, didn't yeah. I, over the front? Yes, so yeah. it's, it's a multifunctional yeah, strand. Yeah, it will take earring posts as well. Well, I'm not surprised <coughs> you're getting quantities like... I can see tens, fives, threes, twos. Keep on dialing through, jewelry makers. We had literally hundreds of those. But the first time I've actually seen right I think anyway um, on the live show who is ready for a vision of color a vision of luster and something which is quite unlike we believe anyway definitely anything that we've brought you before it's hematite <laughs> It was a day, wasn't it? It was. The typo. It was, yes. Typo of this gemstone. Um, just a few, Demons, too, yeah. too many, too yeah. many syllables in the letter, in the word rather. Now, I adore hematite. I just think it's one of the most almost a uh, cosmic gemstone. Mm. I think it has got a definite intergalactical appearance. I'm mm. not saying it is from outer space, obviously, but it just has this wonderful sci-fi modern images. But at the same time, that's also very, very Cartier. Oh, it's incredibly, it's, it's incredibly sophisticated. It's incredibly 
confident, I think. Mm -hmm. it, it, you'll create real confident jewellery. Just on, on, I mean, these are on a temporary confident. strand, so just restrand it, wear it like that as a bracelet. Um, or obviously you can put spaces in and, and extend it for a necklace or whatever, but it's a confident piece of jewellery for a confident lady. I, I like that. I like that confident. Yes, because we think of ge certain gemstones and we kind of give, I always say, um, vivacious when it comes to things like peridot, but confidence is a really good word. So what is hematite? It's a gemstone made of iron oxide, so it is an actual gemstone, this is not a metal, but like most other gemstone um, that exhibit a metallic luster, hematite is actually a very dense gemstone. Um, now this always surprises me when I kind of, when I, when I discuss it, it actually has an extremely high refractive index because in my head, and in my head is quite a basic one, <laughs> Um, it's, no, it's true. Um, but in my head, refraction I always think of as internally. Mm. Uh, you know, yeah, like, it goes in and bounces yeah, back out Yeah, that's again. what I always think yeah. of internally, like a garnet, light going in, bending, splitting, bouncing around, etc. Now, um, this is high refraction, but it's actually an opaque gemstone. So a lot of the light performance is down to that. Um, it is always opaque, um, and it typically occurs with like a blackish gray light mm. color, but it's so distinctive that it is almost impossible to conf confuse this gemstone with any other gemstone in the market. However, as I said earlier on, do be mindful where you source it because there are a great deal of imitation hematites within the market. Hematite um, uh, crystallizes in a trigonal system, so much like your corundum, um, so your sapphires and your ruby, and it, uh, it as a gemstone. Um it can actually, it's not naturally found um, to have a magnetic property, however it can be magnetised by a process of heating and cooling whilst attached to a strong magnet. Isn't that cool? Very cool. It's very, as you say, um, space age. It is. That's mm. why I said cosmic earlier on. Mm. It's got, the, it has that kind of um, extraterrestrial power that you can imagine. Found a few locations around the world, so at Minas Gerais in Brazil, Cumbria in England as well, and Elba in Italy. Um, and, but like I said, it, it is a gemstone which is also quite excitingly cosmic, 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 found actually on Mars. Mm -hmm. uh, found on Mars. The, one of the earliest <laughs> writing uh, gem instruments that was ever discovered was actually a hematite because due to its appearance um, and, its, and its polish, it, you, you see this lovely high luster, but when it's actually unearthed, it's actually got quite a reddish colour, so they used it as a writing material, and it's estimated to date back around 164,000 years. We love this gemstone. It's historical, it's fascinating, it's... It gets the brain ticking about the possibilities of where else can this gemstone be discovered. But it's beautiful, well, the most about important to say, thing. You know, the, end, at the end of that sort of statement that you just made then is it's just astonishingly it's beautiful beauty. and it's perfect for jewellery making. Are you ready? 60 seconds starts now. We have how many of them available? A hundred and. 36 of these available jewelry makers but both Linda and I both agree that we don't believe we've actually seen th this cut or this quality to I be never, honest. No I honestly haven't and I, and I mean I've been here since jewelry maker began and I can honestly tell you I've not seen hematite A Look at that. Um, of this design, B of this um, quality um, and certainly um, it's so incredibly <coughs> cherry picked and high end. I'm doing it, Linda. Good. Because you said about the quality, and I and it's almost. So you'll release just how many there are on we're there. We're looking at the narrowest mm. part of this stone. When I actually do this, you can actually see. I'll pick some of them up. You know, the widest part of the gemstone, and then obviously look at the quality of this finish and luster. I mean, look, 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 look at that. Completely smooth. Beautiful. The graphics are live, everyone. So pop some of these on your featherweight head pins. Absolutely. Here we go. Lovely. Thank you, Linda. Pop some of these on your I featherweight think that, head pins. That pin. makes a really contemporary earring, doesn't it? I love it. A uh, cufflink. Perfect cufflink. Yeah. But it makes a lovely contemporary earring. Just use the whole of that head pin. 
just do a simple loop on the end and just have that there. Amazing. I mean, you, can, you can actually obviously stack them if you wanted to. Well, let's do it. Let's but do I a think little the stack. The impact of one is is just lovely. They're gorgeous. So they literally, I mean, we're jewelry making here, aren't we? Effectively. Yeah. I this mean, is... Can you imagine putting one of those um, turquoise tubes in between? Mm. So that's four of your hematites. Yep. Little Aww. wrap loop. That just reminds me of something, and I can't think what it reminds me of. On those new earrings. Mm. Amazing. They're like sparkly macaroons. Little, oh. Very them. posh. <laughs> Very they posh. Are, yeah. Genuine hematite. This is one of the most exciting strands of hematite I think I've ever it's seen. The I, most exciting. Yeah, I love, I love them. And they're big enough to be solitaires. So 12 by 4 millimetres. With the colours, so you've got, you've got um, <coughs> excuse me, your warmer colours. You've got your lovely uh, silvers your golds and your greens, the faceting. If I had kept it on the strand, we'd have been looking solely at this, at the, you know, at, 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 at that image. Whereas when I actually uh, cut the strand, you can really see the quality um, mm. of that, that, that multicolored coating. So it is a coating that they've put over the natural gemstone itself. 164,000 years we've been appreciating hematite um, as one of the most lustrous, and it is quite almost mirror-like, isn't it, the luster oh, of hematite? incredibly lustrous. It's almost as lustrous as sterling silver that particular yeah uh, and that comes down quality. to the quality of the polish as well mm -hmm. so the quality of the actual polish in the in the gemstones do you have a favorite color because i'm really liking these blues because yeah, you they, get like a yeah. rainbow yeah that is uh, do you know what i can see it really working with beautifully for the summer if you're going on holiday with some abalone oh lovely yeah because you've almost got that mm -hmm. sort of same chromatic Oil water yeah yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Do you see that rainbow effect? Let's bring the price onto the screen because they're already being allocated. $19.95 wow. for 360 carats of this beautiful gemstone in a multitude of colours. Now, you consider this. We could have done this as gold-coated hematite, blue-coated hematite. Red coated hematite, silver coated hematite. We didn't. We put all of them together, which is technically much, much greater amounts of work for us, um, and put them all onto the strand so we can actually give you that selection. Yeah, I mean, the thing is as well, with this amount of luster <coughs> on it, not only have you got these gorgeous colours within it that have been put there anyway, but you've also got um, the refraction of the light breaking mm. up on it and then coming back, so it produces more rainbow colour. I love it. And you're looking, <clears throat> we're not looking at the narrowest area. I mean, um, that on, um, you could do a lovely charm bracelet, mm -hmm. couldn't you? Um, just using one on a head pin and wrapped onto a chain bracelet. But those, as, that, as earrings, are stunning. Can you pop one on there? Of course I can. Just so we can... Yep. So we can just show you how quick, how quick this, this piece of jewellery can actually be. That back. Rolling it back. Yeah, this is just a simple loop. So if we take that and get that Do you want in there, your eyesight is probably better than mine because it's. There you such... go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Was. Um, your um, it's no, it's the lights. It's the lights. It's so reflective on that gold chain i'm just looping Two it seconds. over yeah i'm just going to close that back up again i'm sorry linda I no put no you on no, no. i'd have done that a lot quicker and i was actually holding the earring finding but i didn't did i i took the long way around look at that so that's not quite closed that loop. but we can we can imagine yeah, can't we but it's the job done but it's not that that loop i'll close a little bit uh more we can uh, imagine i mean look up. at those yeah aren't they amazing just beautiful and you get that balance you get the lovely weight the you feel yeah. the presence of hematite I and mean, also obviously you could take that loop right down to the top of that hematite there yep. so it'd come up to there as a little sort of um it's like a little stack of burgers very <laughs> The first thing it came into I mind. mean, well done. I love them. Absolutely love those. Congratulations. So I had to cut the strand just because I wanted to show you all of that mm. gorgeous, gorgeous luster. But there really is 300, what was it, 360 carats of hematite, which you could use them as buttons, little individual buttons and things like shibori. Multiple uses. Thank you. There we go. There we go. I'll pass that there as well. Okay. Let's do, should we do some bundles? Uh, yes. Oh, 
triple trouble on these. Wow. I think I might have to buy Tell me we've got quantity. I wouldn't mind getting involved on this because I team these with Swarovski. I think they look beautiful. A naughty price, Wayne says. Coming your way. Beryl is a gemstone family. It's one of the most, um, in my opinion, um, one of the most femininely beautiful. Now you have, um, with the exception of your emerald, you have your pastels colours predominantly. So your morganites, um, which can be the peach and the pinks. Your aquamarines, your goshenite, uh, um, your, your uh, golden beryls as well. And even down to sort of heliodor-like colours. So really, really, really beautiful combination gemstone, which just works together, don't you think? It goes back to the conversation that we had earlier on this morning about, um, about another strand, which was all about pastel colours. It's 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 prolific at the moment actually the pastel palette isn't it especially Absolutely. in um, in bridal industry I love these just turn them into simple stretchy bracelets and I, t I tend to buy we don't stock them anymore but the Swarovski charms you know the Swarovski charms that they, that we used to have yeah. used to have the charm carrier I pop one of those on there twenty nine ninety five we would have paid that for one of those strands when these were first brought Absolutely, to air definitely. Uh, I mean, these aquamarines are beautiful, mm -hmm. aren't they? God, deep that one is. I know. Um, but I actually like that display, as you've got it there, as a necklace. Oh. All of it with a really nice um, sort of art deco clasp on it. Oh, that would be lovely. Mm. Really lovely. That's over 700 carats. Over 800, actually. Over 800 carats of multicolored uh, beryl in all of those selections. So this is morganite, this is goshenite, this is heliodor. Um, this uh, pure beryl, so colorless beryl is actually called is pure uh, beryl. Beautiful. We paid over £30 when these strands were originally launched to air. I know because I can remember the show quite clearly because I had two guest designers who were almost arguing over the fact who was going to work with the strand first. I remember it quite, quite vividly, and I bought some myself. You get three strands. So that's, Linda, is that effectively, what, three bracelets? And I'm talking about the most simple of bracelets as well. Definitely, and it could be, how many is on the strand? I mean, you could have one of those as a, you know, the uh, on our uh, slider bracelets mm. and that, or stackers. I mean, how many bracelets have we got there? Because you only need one. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Yeah. But uh, look, look, does anyone else notice what I'm noticing? They're actually mirror image. Yeah. So the work, the work is done for you if you wanted to literally to knot these. <gasps> Marla necklaces knotted with silk. Um, actually, your 12 o'clock kit would be beautiful with this, wouldn't it? It certainly would, yeah. Amazing alongside the 12 o'clock kit because you do actually have some silk in there as well. Naughty price. Naughty, naughty, oh. naughty deal. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Let's bring you a bundle of wire. Gosh, I can't... Long time since we've had copper uh, wire bundles. So... So this is your point, your one millimeter, your point eight, point six, and your point four. So basically, all of your essential gauges. You need these gauges if you want to venture into uh, wire work, one of our most popular mediums, because you'll use the gauges for different things. So, um, Linda, your one mil is your structural wire. Yep. Your point eight. Point eight is also structural, um, but slightly more malleable. Uh, point six is going um, towards your sort of twisting wires, or it will normally be the gauge that you go to to um, pop through uh, the higher end gemstone um, to use as some sort of a, a head pin or whatever. And then the point four, again, is is um, actually I've used point four on that one for the twisting, um, just the sort of tiara twist, basically. Um, so it's very functional, but also very delicate yeah. for sort of adding your details and things. Yeah. Um, so uh, even outside of wire work, even if you think I don't do wire work, you'll need still need your gauges of wire, won't you? Well, it's incredibly useful because the thing is, most findings, probably ninety-five percent of findings, you can make 
Yeah. But you need the wires to make it. Yes, don't absolutely. You wouldn't be able to do it without without yeah, the wire work. Yeah. Um, so that's 40 metres in total uh, of lovely copper wire. So you can, can, can I um, patina this? Can I colour this? Can I age this wire as well? I don't know. I, I think we'll, we need to ask um, Gemma or perhaps Hayley about about that so um i really don't know but it's copper so i can't imagine why it couldn't be yeah, yeah if you wanted to, if you wanted basically you can actually texture and color your precious certain precious metals um so that's a very popular uh, popular thing to do with uh, with your wires um okay now oh this is this is naughty because i wouldn't be surprised if before long there becomes sort of rulings on wire bundles. Well, there, there's rulings now. <laughs> rulings. Like rulings. Rulings. Um, because we can't keep up with the demand, especially when it is, sorry, the, uh, 100 metres, 100 metres, 100 metres of your 0.25, so you can use this effectively like a threading material, so things like your diamonds, your granted, your right, you know, your aquamarine, all of those things, your, 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 your deal of the day. How about five pounds per reel, jewellery makers? 100 metres, these are like gold dust. For your weaving, last thing you want as a jewellery maker is to be restricted creatively oh, yeah. because of your quantity what you you know what you actually have in your stash yeah when when you um indulge in in any hobby really um if you say you're standing waiting for a bus and an idea comes into your head and you're on your way home you want to do it don't you there and yeah. then um because if you're anything like me if you leave it for another couple of days you've forgotten what the idea was in the first place anyway and it never so, sees the light of day ever again exactly yeah exactly i'm the same three colors as well you've got three of your most popular colors so the copper the yellow and the uh, and the silver color as well triple treble so 300 meters of your 0.25 wire five pounds i mean that doesn't make a great deal of sense i could i think certain gauges of wires are actually that kind of price tag for 10 meters okay Okay, Wayne's looking at me. It's just got this. What are you on about? Grab it. Yeah, seize that mo uh, opportunity. Well done. Well done. Gosh, uh, time is flying this morning. Sure is. Absolutely flying by. I love this deal of the day. I've been, um, as soon as I stepped into the studio, I was like, oh, would you like me to wear that? I gladly will. This is right up my street. It's such a simplistic look. All about the gemstones. Yeah. Yeah. Framed with just yeah, a couple I think, of. I think that particular strand of turquoise is at its most beauteous displayed on that sort of jewellery. I agree. I think that's actually mind blowing. Whoever, who, one of our. Uh, Sue or Anne. Yeah. One of uh, the. I mean, that is just, it's utterly perfect. There's little gold space of beads in there. I love as well. it. Superb. I really, really, really love this so much so I really want to get involved with the deal of the day. Just copy it, literally like for like. Mm -hmm. Don't miss out. It's coming your way. It's beautifully intense, even with colour. Um, and of course, that glowing Mexican uh, turquoise shade as your deal of the day after this. Love Jewellery Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer 
and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. This coming Wednesday, it's Steve Bennett's birthday. And in celebration for that, we're going to be drawing two Wall of Fame winners and two Wall of Fame runners up. Join us this coming Wednesday on Jewelry Maker. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Okay, jewelry makers, this next opportunity. <clears throat> Do you know when you just see instantaneously uh, something and you know it's going to be a sellout? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's one of those things as well that if you saw in a, let's say, in a brochure and you got to go to the shop to get it, you just sort of go as quickly as you can thinking, oh, by the time I get there, it's going to be gone, it's going to be gone. Yeah, it, totally. A, because it's turquoise and... With little to no gemstone knowledge, we recognise, I think even as children, the, the, the huge value that it was, is within this gemstone. Thank you, Paul. Um, this is, you know, if this was photographed in Bond Street, Hatton Garden, Jewellery Court, or any, any, any sort of luxury, prestigious locations, how, think of a price tag. Be honest and realistic. What kind of price tag would you imagine this piece of jewellery, exactly as it is, to be? Because I genuinely think this would be hundreds of pounds. Mm, so do I, definitely. Um, you know, the quality of the turquoise is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Um, and just displayed in that design there, there's nothing not to like about no. that, is the Named uh, meaning Turkish stone. The reason why it was called that is because it was once upon a time imported to Europe via Turkey. And the colour itself um, owes itself to the fact it has chrome iron set within the actual gemstone itself. Um, now, this is a gemstone which has much following popularity from sort of the crystal healing world, which is massive at the moment, um, probably more so now than it ever actually has been. Oh, it it's believed to bring wearers good fortune and to he uh, help clear one's mind um, and influence only positivity. So and it's incredibly 
ancient, mm -hmm. isn't it? I mean, um, the ancient Egyptians, Greeks, Romans, all wore turquoise and revered it. Absolutely, they? they really did. Well, on that, um, for that reason, yeah, for literally thousands, six thousand years, it's actually believed to have been uh, uh, mined globally all around the world. But let's talk about, you know, the quality, whether it be from USA, whether it be from, <laughs> whether it actually be from um, Mexico, whether it be from Tibet. Uh, you'll have your favourite, it's like emeralds, for example. Some of you will think, okay, well, I like the Colombian emerald, I like the Zambian emerald, I prefer the Siberian emerald. You will, you know, that, the beauty should always be the driving factor, not the country of origin. Because this is not, in my opinion, this is more USA appearance mm. than it is actually of a Mexican appearance. Yeah. It's got an element of green, but it really does have that most desired robin egg blue, which has be been loved by jewellery we uh, wearers the world over for many, many years. It has seen that, that beautiful, they describe it as robin egg blue. In my eyes, it's always more of a duck egg blue, but you, you, that, yeah. that's what they actually yeah, label. Yeah, yeah. It's that colour which has seen big jewellery houses, powerhouses really, like Tiffany's and Co, invest millions into the mining of this gemstone. And yet, investing all of that time, and yet it is so shallow forming. Turquoise is not one of those gems that, you know, like, like Peridot that we're going to be discussing, uh, discussing in, a few more, uh, in a few moments' time, sort of in the next hour. Peridot is actually one of the gemstones that actually forms within the Earth's mantle, along with diamonds. This, turquoise, is very shallow forming. Now, the reason why I'm telling you that it's why the history tends to change quite uh, quite quickly with turquoise is because a mine will become a, uh, a deplete like your sleeping beauty and then it moves on to a different location basically the copper presence within this gemstone is what brings that beautiful intensity you're looking for even as color um, intensity and a very 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 high polish I adore this strand I cannot believe that the deal of the day is going to what it is I love this finished piece of jewelry and um, the only negative that I have to say to you and to, ha to announce to you is the quantity. I literally have 77 of these available in the world. Yeah, we'll put it into perspective. Um, it's a low quantity, but just getting that quantity is amazing, isn't it? You know, I mean, let's face it, it's not just us sourcing it. Oh, no. And, of course, like we said with your hematite, like with most of your gemstones, be mindful of imitations. Oh, Turquoise yeah. is very easy to imitate. Yeah. Um, they'll either take more plentiful gemstones like your magnesite and howlite yeah. and dye it, um, or they can almost create like a resin-like effect yeah. to imitate the gemstone. You are sourcing genuine Mexican turquoise here, um, and we're going to get that clock ticking. Are you ready? In this beautiful tubes, create a linear light design. 77 of these are available. Three, two, one, go. I would do exactly what I'm going to. I'm totally, if I'm lucky enough to get hold of this strand, I'm totally going to steal the in house designer's inspiration. Yeah, um, I'm going to steal, I'm going to be inspired by it and do an anklet. <gasps> With a charm, like a really Ooh, nice charm. Oh, I love holidays. that. That's beautiful. Actually, turquoise is lovely, actually. Uh, mm. Around a tanned ankle. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, totally. lovely! Oh, yes. And then, actually, if you get if you do that and you separate it with a few of your spaces, you might get enough to do a bracelet too. Well, I, I mean, my son would wear that as a bracelet without a shadow of a doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I think I think men will definitely wear men that. Men and it's, ladies, I totally yeah. agree. It's one of those. I, I, it's so beautiful. And of course, I've not mentioned that this is a birthstone. For so, for, so for those of you that are December babies, you're very lucky to have the beauty of ta uh, of turquoise and tanzanite as birthstones. Do you see that? One wonderful, um, beautiful robin egg blue. You can see why this gemstone has been adored for literally thousands upon thousands of years. Eight carats in these very simplistic, very beautiful linear light tubes that all you need to do, if I just show you, if I, if I sort of double the strand over, you've got a nice large yeah, drill hole. Yeah, relatively so, big drill hole. Drig hole. Drig hole. Drill yeah, one of those. Yeah, one of them, yeah. Relatively I mean, big. You need your drig holes. You need your drig holes. Um, but you can actually use yeah. that with your... <laughs> Drill holes. Um, you can use that with all of your featherweight headpins, your normal headpins, your yeah, wires, and even your beading threads. Yeah, def de oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. And what I love about it is the fact that it's very easily um, used in sort of boho chic. Oh, I love it. Boho festival. Mm hmm sort of um we'll be coming into that season soon yeah well exactly i mean that's your that's the look isn't it because it's giving you a 
totally effortless Native American look. Yeah. Because of the shape of it and the colours in there. You know, Native American is a lot of, um, with beads and that, it's a lot of weaving and things like that. But I think you've got that in shed loads, yeah. literally, just you with the gemstone alone. Well, those earring findings, those sterling silver earring findings that you had earlier yeah, on, if you just, just had one. one of those yeah. in this really lovely kind of cluster-like style, that would yeah. be gorgeous and quite Native American, as you yeah. said. Very, very boho chic. I was watching um, um, Jim last night on Gemporia, and he had he had a different location, granted, different location of, of, of turquoise jewellery flying out the door. Uh, it's such a popular gemstone, and it really, really is. It's one of those it's, gemstones. It's, but the popularity of it is, is, is right from the fact that it's a beautiful gemstone for jewellery making into the myths and the legends mm -hmm. and the history and everything else. It just sits comfortably with everybody. But be careful turquoise. where you're sourcing oh, it from. Oh, without a doubt. This Definitely. is genuine turquoise, not turquoise colour. Well, get your certificate of yeah, authenticity. Exactly. Because yeah. we do laboratory test all of our gemstones. Are you ready? Because the graphics have been there, they're already been snapped up. Let's bring your first price tag onto your screens. You could use these, treat these almost as what's the tube in sea beads called? What are they called? Oh, they bugles. Uh, bugles, yes. You can almost treat them like a bugle. I think this one, I'm, and I'm curious to know, bear with me. Is that, that's a size 11. It's just a bead thread, yeah, isn't it? A yeah, beading thread yeah, that that's yeah, threaded yeah, onto. It's a size 11 um, galvanised bead. I love that. With your seed beads at the top, so it goes, use your seed beads to come round the back. You, if you are able to multi-buy uh, multi on this, um, and this is not your price tag, Jory, because imagine like a triple graduation oh, necklace. How amazing. <laughs> I know, <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. And I'm saying it, knowing full well I'm probably going to miss out on this opportunity. Yeah, think, yeah. Are you ready? Because that is not even your star, but uh, your deal of the day price tag, Jory, because this is going to completely stun you. If you haven't already done so, start dialing through something as simple as this. Exactly. It could, something as simple as that is phenomenal. But you imagine just taking three out and putting them on your slider bracelet to sophisticate it. Whatever the word would be. Sophisticate it. Like it. Sophisticate eyes. Yeah, that's, that's a jewel maker term. I like yeah. it. I like it. I like 30 pounds. Wayne, that's not what it says on my sheet. He's ignored the sheet. I mean, everything else is right. It's just the different price tag. ST, again, I know I say this every single time, only because, do you know what? You'd be so surprised by how many people actually, uh, who actually think treatment of a gemstone is a negative. It isn't a negative. In fact, it's responsible treatment. You know, to be honest, if you have a gemstone that's been created for thousands, over thousands, millions of years within the, within the Earth's crust, not mantle, crust, because this is one of the most shallow forming gemstone. And you take it out and you want to wear it. You don't want that to be broken within, what, a couple of weeks? No, Stabilising is preserving that it's beauty. It's the same. <laughs> it's, it's exactly the same as what you do with your prized possessions. You look after it in the best possible way. Invest any, anything that can make it last longer or look more beautiful. It's not wrong. No, I agree. It's it's that it's 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 responsible treatment <coughs> basically of a exactly. gemstone which has yeah. would possibly have a little bit of vulnerability without that. So we coat it with a very clear resin that almost it's like I said, it's putting a it's like the glass, if you like, in a framed picture. It's it's preserving the beauty of Mother Nature. These are gonna sell out. Anne Anne upstairs, one of our in house designers, I want it, did you make this necklace or was it so I don't know, but I want it. I so want this. Um Okay, and, the, and you're multi-buying, so well done. Alex, well done. Lorna, well done. Caroline, well done. Barbara, well done. Sandra, Jill. Carol, Kathleen. London, Jill. Stephen, Tatiana, Juliet, Glenda. A lot of multi-buyers on this one. Uh, it's always been one of our most popular of gemstones, and I think it always, always will be. A strand like this, I, at 69 95 where we originally started from, I think is more than realistic. Yeah. I mean, to be truthful with you, I think I, I would actually use it sparingly. It's a fantastic gemstone. I'd use it sparingly, particularly in Saka bracelets. And I'd get that £30 you could charge for three of those on a Saka bracelet. What, what are you looking like that for? <laughs> you look absolutely petrified. We're running out of time. Uh, we've got training after this. We've got 30 in baskets, I've got 77 of these and I've got another turquoise opportunity to bring you. 
we are on a curfew and sometimes literally you uh, in the nicest possible possible way you'll force our hand and that's what's happening with this deal of the day. You're forcing us to go lower because it's not moving as quickly as we can, um, as, as quickly as we'd like. We've got more uh, items that we want to bring you as well throughout the course of the morning, so we are going lower. Categorically, we do not need to, but they are 77, and they're too beautiful to send back to the vault. The history, we don't often get turquoise in, in sort of your more uh, contemporary like cuts like this, fancy cuts, really. I know, I know, I know, I know. Check out though, because I want this has to be an on-screen sellout. That is an absolute giveaway deal. Genuine turquoise, not reconstituted turquoise, not an imitation turquoise, not turquoise coloured. I don't know, mm. resin or plastic. Turquoise that has formed within the ground in the Earth's crust, that literally the you know a location that the King of Mine, Sleeping Beauty Mine, I'm talking about Arizona, of course, you know, um, Sleeping Beauty Mine closed in 2012. You know, the same applies, different locations all around the world because it is so shallow forming. Get it whilst you have the chance. The evenness and the intensity and the smoothness of that polish is what drives the actual value value nothing to do with the country of origin at no point do they say about the country of origin i cannot believe we're under 20 pounds 77 of them were available if everybody checks out it's sold out surprise surprise yeah that is quite a good thing actually claire like you said good good thing because it's like the perfect crime then isn't it <laughs> oh, all evidence of that price reduction so oh. like I mean, it's not like we're on live television. Hello to you, Jill. Hi, you all got two. Well Fab. Done, so excited, mm. loving the show. Jill, well done. I would have done two. One for me, one for my stall. Thank you. Um, amazing, Alex. Oops, a third one. <laughs> I can almost imagine you going, oops. <laughs> Oh, where did that? Oh, oh I've got twitch. Oops, <laughs> drop that in my basket. Yeah. But I mean, don't you think with that particular um, strand of turquoise there, it's small and mighty. Oh, I love it. Because each one has got so much going on in it, in each tiny little uh, gemstone. Look at, just look at the detail, the colour, the interest, the matrix. There's just everything a gemstone should be. They're beautiful, but aren't they? once it's on your skin, it's completely... Yeah. It's completely... It's just enriched. The fact that they roll as well, I like that. I've just noticed it when I'm actually holding the strand up to the neckline. That literally with Every breath that you take, you're going to be sort of creating movement, mm. which means that you're not always going to be looking at that same surface area. Um, in fact, you're going to be uh, looking at a collection of different patterns um, with each of these tubes. So, because literally they roll across the decolletage um, and it'll do that whether it's in a ring whether it's in a bracelet in earrings we had the earring findings in a necklace all of the above it's going to be a sellout it's not a matter of if it's when it will be a sellout and i do mean imminently how many do we have left wayne seven but 17 in baskets and there'll be people on the phone lines too um love that love it well done well done i've got to move on i think i'd use the tassels as well you know the tassels are absolutely beautiful on it exactly Three little turquoise with a tassel dropping from it if you're oh, going to a festival or something. Oh, I love it. I must go to a festival. Do you know, I've never been to a festival. Oh, I did when I was younger, yeah. Never been to one. Never. Um, but I do fancy it. Do fancy I feel like I've missed as part, as part of my youth that I've missed. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I can accessorise perfectly. <laughs> Yeah, you can be very boho chic. Absolutely, you, yeah. I could rock that too. Yeah, turquoise. absolutely. So everybody and goes, wow, never mind the fact that whomever is up on the stage. Yeah. Look at Elle. Rock is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, are we doing... Not these? Not yet. Coming up. Mm, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Coming up, we have, in about ten minutes' time... Oh... My goodness me. So perfectly displayed in these gorgeous uh, stands that we had earlier on. I bought a turquoise, and it's almost, I'd say, about like that size. Um, you can ask guest designer Hayley Kruger, because I've gave, given it to her and asked her to sort of design yeah. a ring for me. Um, and I can tell you, I paid way more for that one stone than what you're going to pay for all three. It's coming up. Not yet, though. Who wants some sterling silver? Yes, always, always, always. 
Okay, bear with me. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, there we go. Let's do that, let's do that. So starting with the stars. Gold-plated stars. Well, these are sweet. So now, uh, we had literally your sterling silver weekend happen just previously. Very, very, very busy. Lots of items um, would have been launched on that weekend. Now, if we weren't able to physically squeeze it into our live shows, um, then we don't obviously send it back. We'll bring it to you on another occasion. I love these. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Very cheerful. Stars, hearts and flowers. And still some of the most popular Absolutely used, uh, frequently used motifs, aren't they, perfect, in jewellery? Perfect, 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 and I'll say it again, perfect size to use as a drop from um, a couple that's... of those uh, turquoises. Yes. Yeah. Oh, certainly on those, but from the, with the turquoise, perhaps, then the star. Turquoise and then star? Yeah. Oh, that, that would be gorgeous. Flash of that glorious turquoise blue and then the star. Look how perfectly the precious metal and the plating actually matches, which doesn't always happen, does it? No. Oh, no, there's, there's so many. It's like the colour black. There's like hundreds of different shades. Yeah. It's the same with uh, gold. We work very hard to make sure that all of our plated sterling silver um, and wires even will actually match perfect, one another. Um, so, yeah, gorgeous with those earrings. And if you, if you missed out on those, don't worry, I've got some more um, earring posts uh, um, coming up, coming your way. Way. So you get a selection of six of these. They come with a little jump ring. So pop it onto a bracelet, like you said, with that with with that turquoise that you had earlier on. Mm. So imagine that. Mm. Lovely, isn't it? The little... gold just sort of makes the gold in the turquoise really come to life. Oh, I love that. So simple, and I don't even have to purchase the jump rings. These include well, the jump know, if rings. If you look at commercial jewellery mm. um, in high-end jewellers, and I'm talking really high-end or um, high street jewellers, the majority of it, eighty percent of jewellery, is simple. Yeah, well, that's it. That, that's what I always say about your jewellery, though, Linda. I think your jewellery. The reason why we all love it so much is because it's. Not saying your jewelry is simple. <laughs> your jewelry, your jewelry it's, is wearable. It, that's it. I try to it's make wearable. it wearable. I think eighty percent of, of, of any any eighty percent of a crowd of people um, will go for simplicity because there's nothing not to like. And then you'll get twenty percent who who want something really, which is fine. But I make yeah, 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 yeah. That sort of yeah, I agree. It's commercial, isn't it? That's, I mean, and these are commercial like designs. I mean, one of the uh, the most I think the most should be celebrated marketing campaigns of in the jewellery sector is the charm bracelet, I think, at the moment. I think what Pandora did to charm bracelets, I think, is genius. Mm. You know, they've taken a design, let's be honest, that was getting, it was quite dated. Most of us had mm -hmm. charm bracelets, maybe through inheritance, but never used to wear them. The charms now are massive, mm. absolutely massive. And you would go into those shops, I won't name names, you would pay probably 20, 30 pounds for one, and it's not necessarily even a precious metal. Oh, gosh, no. Um, okay, well done. So they were brand new. Let's do. Oh, you could do a little cluster. So I have the yellow gold. I have the silver. Now I'm bringing you the rose. There is a. I need these. Um, if you if you sort of investigate a bit, there's a huge trend towards celestial jewellery. Yeah. Um, like creating, um, what's the word, you know, like um, Orion and things like, you know, in the... Um... Celeste means heaven. Yeah, well, you know, in the heavens, we've got all, we've got like the Ursa Minor this, and all the, you know, Capricorn and yes. all these things. There's been a huge um, push on on um, star sign jewellery. Yeah. But then that, it sort of evolved into celestial jewellery. You will get loads. I was only looking at them last night. You'll get loads of half moons, well, sorry, quarter, crescent moons mm -hmm. with a star uh, dropping. I it's mean, huge. It, 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 it's huge. Because it could, <clears throat> the connotations that come from that symbol as well, it's, it, you know, it's dreams, it's hopes, mm -hmm. it's wishes, it's, it's, it's heaven and earth, it's all of those things. So the rose gold plated 925 sterling silver, you do get the jump ring which I think is amazing because how, how many of us have bought charms and, and, and won't have the jump ring in their stash to actually a, a adorn them to I've got it it's happened to me time and time and time you know again what? you can find when you've got something like a precious metal charm as well 
Um, you might find it difficult to source a jump ring that will go through that. Well, hole. this is it. I've got I've got charms in my stash that I can't actually suspend mm. because I can't I haven't got the jump ring. Yeah. This comes with that. Um, so you'd be pay, you'd be paying a good few pounds, I think, for the jump rings, which are what do you think? There's what three millimeter yeah. internal diameter, ten ninety five. I'm getting these definitely because um, this I, I I've got instantaneously. I've got to pop from ta from here. Well, training firstly, but I. I've got to pop to the florist. I want to pop to the florist because one of my neighbours, uh, um, un unfortunately, lost a loved one. And I want to give something with it, like a little bit of sentiment, a little bit of a bit of meaning. So flowers, of course. But how nice would it be to give her a little gift like this as well? Just a little simple bracelet. Mm -hmm. Little simple bracelet. Definitely. I'd like to get them. I mean, I know I'm not going to be able to do that today, but... I always get quite sentimental when I look at sort of stars and hearts and things like that. I think as particularly when they are in this t small form, tiny form, yeah. isn't it? There's, it's just so um, pleasing, I think is the word. And, and positive too, because mm. dreams, you know, hopes but and I'm dreams. I'm with you on, on popping um, all three colours. Um, the existing jump ring into a slightly larger, you can choose silver, rose, gold or gold, popping them into that and having those um, dangling, you know, those three different colour words dangling that. from an earring. They're really very high end, isn't again, it? Very, yeah, that trio, that almost Russian um, yeah, Russian yeah. or wedding band yeah. combination. So if you do actually use the three, um, see if I can get this right. So the rose symbolises love. The yellow symbolises friendship and the white symbolises fidelity. That's lovely then, isn't, isn't it? Isn't that nice? Yeah, so you're actually nice. putting those three together. Nine ninety five. Now these are um, new. They were brought to a... I've only got five left. Oh. Did I have quantity of the other ones then, Wayne? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's selling out today, and I really wanted some of these too. I think they're beautiful. I mean, I don't blame you at all. I generally do not blame you because they're the, they're the components. A little additions like this, you know, think about the beryl strands that we had earlier on, the Grand Digirite, just one of those added to even the end of a bracelet. Would look yeah, gorgeous. I mean, if you've got things like this in your, um, in your stash, then you've got a present waiting, haven't you, yeah. the whole time? And, and anybody's going to love those And no stars. worry about buying the jump rings then. The jump no. rings are there. Can I make... I think we should make a note of that. I think we should actually ask for all of our charms to all have jump rings yeah, attached to. Yeah, I think to. you're right, definitely. That might be a jump nice. ring is just is basically a, 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 car, a, a calm, a charm carrier. Car well, it is. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Moving on to... Gold-plated earrings, textured bars. Oh, that's got to be these. Yes. Oh, they're gorgeous. Look at, I mean, they're, they're, they're almost... Oh, they're gorgeous. Aren't they? You can see Roberto Coin. You, I can see Piaget. I can see some of the biggest designers that really master texturing your precious metals. I can see wow. that. Aren't they beautiful? They're so Italian looking. Aren't yeah. They? And they have the loop at the bottom. Oh, fantastic. Can you imagine some, um, you know, the chain that's already on the sort of thread earrings just dropping from Oh, that. lovely. That gorgeous chain we had earlier. Oh, those are absolutely stunning. And again, attention to detail. You've got those four little ridges in the post. Yeah, I'll turn this one around. That will avoid your uh, butterfly from falling off. It's, a, it's, it's like a key in the door, isn't it? It's mm. a locking mechanism. It gives you that invest, yeah. extra investment and security yeah. of your jewellery because there is nothing worse, and we must have all done it, in wearing a pair of earrings and then you've gone, I know. oh, no, one's actually sort of I slid know. out. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that is... The, the, the little butterfly itself is, is really well made. Made, and it's mm -hmm. got that nice wide sort of round coin shape before the, the little butterfly thing itself it looks nice and tight it's got the little ridges in it it's exquisite completely exquisite that finish on it and if you imagine just popping on one of those little tourmaline one of the lovely uh, turquoise lovely. one of the grandidiorite whatever just that 
That is now a 60, 70, 80 pound pair of earrings. Look back, if you've just tuned in, look back at the nine o'clock hour because Linda did a demonstration on how to do a wrap loop. Simple, it's that simple. If you want to wear them as studs, we'll just remove the bottom. You don't mm -hmm. have to actually use anything mm -hmm. or glue a little stone in there if you wanted to. These are limited and you are loving them. You are multi-buying on these as well. A very, very good morning to you all. Um, so nice little treats, little additional treats that would have maybe been brought to you during the weekend, uh, the, the Stilling Silver weekend possibly they might not have even been able to launch them because they ran out of time maybe oh the peridot on mm. peridot and oh. gold is a match made in heaven oh, i love it yeah it's just opulence mm. isn't it it's incredibly opulent yeah um okay let's do the same in i don't have those i have i have another pair in yellow gold oh no so, okay, I'm just going to show you. Yeah, I, they're exactly the same as the ones I've just shown you, but imagine these in rose gold. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You have to use your imagination in this one. So it's exactly... rose gold little drop next to it, you know, at least you've got the colour there. Okay, I've got bars, so if I show yeah, you... Yeah, so it'll be these, but in the rose gold colour. Here. Okay. So yeah, it's that. That's, 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 Can yeah. you imagine? So it's these earrings, but with yeah. that colour. Sorry. They almost look like they're encrusted with diamonds, don't they? They do. And then that's all about the texturing, isn't mm -hmm. it? Like you said Italian. Mm -hmm. I mentioned Italian mm -hmm. jewellers. Mm -hmm. um, because they are masters, in my opinion, of actually sort of... of, of, of yeah, texturing um, their precious metals. So they do it with gold, 18 carat platinum, all of those, and, and your nine carats, and even sort of silver. So here we go. Thank you, Paul. Paul's just brought the image up onto um, onto my. Oh, what just happened? Oh, oh, no! <laughs> What's happening? What's occurring? <laughs> That's me. That's you. Oh no! Never mind. <laughs> You know what, um, I've just thought of something rather mixed, uh, mixed metal. That could dangle <gasps> from that. Oh, yes. Isn't it? Because you've got the two little jump rings at either end. Yeah? Oh, lovely. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. They're coming up, actually, or on those gorgeous oh, earrings. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Graphics are live. So these are, which one are we doing now? The gold plated textured bars. Okay. Okay, okay. Put that in there. Put that one in there. Yeah, I'll pick that one up. There we go. <laughs> um, well, you've, got, you've, got, you've got your necklace pendant there, haven't you? On a very nice, beautiful, fine chain and new earrings, Doctor. But also for finishing and know, chains and things like that, lariat. But you know what we were saying about um, you you will see sort of simple jewellery. Uh, and most jewellers have their own sort of named collections of, they of do. metals, yeah. don't they? Um, they all have them. <clears throat> and I can just see that as the earrings and uh, and the little pendant on a, on a gold chain for around £100. Oh, again, yeah, look at, look at designers like... Uh, um, I always pronounce it wrong. Uh, Misoma, look at Ashley Clark. They're all working with very simple, not even necessarily gem heavy designs. Okay. But yeah, it's all about layering and building up little, little sort of more intricate or uh, delicate pieces. Yeah, well, you had meters of chain over the weekend, didn't you? The five meter reels and things like that. You know, Excellent. actually finishing. Yeah. How do you finish off that chain? You don't want it just to be right, that's it, chain. Um, for me, in my opinion, you need a little je ne sais quoi. So, so something like this actually attached to the end is going to create a really beautiful cascade down the back of the neckline or at the front, whichever you wish. So it could almost become part of your um, your branding. Mm. You know, like Tiffany's and Co. use yeah, they use their logo, don't they? They stamp it onto yeah. things like their uh, yeah. their bolt rings, and their toggle yeah, clasps. So they put their little swan on everything. They do. They? So this could become yours. Seven ninety five for all three of them. Beautiful buttery yellow gold. Let me just turn it over. Uh, gold plated sterling silver, I should say. And there's the 925 stamp. Well done. Well, I don't think those are absolutely exquisite. I love I them. Really do. Love them. Love them. Love them. Right. Let's do. Let's do the rose. So we have the. 
again, I love the fact that we're doing all of these collections. Mm -hmm. So this is down to Caroline again, isn't it? I mean, the expertise in, in the, uh, the actual making of them is second to none, isn't it? Just, I mean, even the depth of them is significant. How many do we have of these then, Wayne? So, wow, 73. They have been proven to be very, very, very popular. I love them. Um, yeah, I mean, we're bringing you the rose gold now. I wonder if I can actually find some of the pieces that that Carolyn and I were, um, I'm so mature, that, that, that we were actually sort of discussing yesterday, only yesterday. So, so here you go. Look, just watch this. I don't know if you can. It's literally their advert. But you'll notice that, can you see it? It's all about texturing, layering. See that? Patterns of the precious metal. There wasn't a single gemstone. I know it's quite tricky to actually see. Um, and each of these gorgeous designs, here we go. I'll go down a little bit. Um, so here we are. Let's just look at this one. The, the Twisted Lookbook Shop now. So like a, um, a, a pattern design much like this across the surface of the actual chain itself. I mean, I know they're not identical, but very similar. It's all actually about the texturing of the precious metal. It's not just the gemstones. It's not just the actual design itself. Big links, uh, twisting classic, the double, the ovate as well. So you can see it's all about the patterns and how the, the precious mesh metal is actually sort of worked into the designs. Um, we're going to do, by the way, on Sunday, I'm going to be bringing you a very exciting collection um, um, you know, on the back of that. So a little sneaky peek there. Um, OK, well done, everybody. Oh, Linda. <laughs> Are we doing these as a star buy? I love the, the fact that you've got all that gorgeous texture. Look at them. Oh, they've sold out already. Oh, no. They are amazing. So oh. is it time for... Ah, oh, the turquoise cabochons. How could we possibly forget? I love these. Imagine how much one of these cabochons would be already set into a precious... It's going to be silver or even a nine-carat gold or maybe even beyond that. Imagine how much that piece of jewellery would actually cost if you were to buy it ready-made. The beauty is, though, you don't have to buy it ready-made. You can put your own inspiration and source from us the same high-caliber, high-quality turquoise in a cabochon times three. Start by. <laughs> Beautiful, a delicate, delicate mottling across the surface of these amazing, genuine turquoise stones. This, to me, is what most of us would, or certainly collectors and connoisseurs would go, okay, that, I know that that smooth, evenness, uninterrupted colour is actually what commands the higher prices than that which actually has the, the, the matrix. Now, don't get me wrong, I love matrix in turquoise. It's, it's kind of one of the characteristics that we automatically expect. But a, a more uninterrupted uh, colour and evenness of colour, they describe it as, is, is what commands the highest of price tags. Now, um, your robin egg blue, I think this is the perfect robin egg blue. Yeah, it's so dreamy-like, isn't it? And gentle and it makes you go, oh. It does, it makes you sigh, I agree. So, so cast my mind back and it was literally, I brought it, I showed it to you on air actually. Um, when we first started bringing you cabochons of turquoise like this, I bought one um, and it was, it doesn't really matter what location, but I bought one and it was about that size. So this one here is about that size. Um, and yeah, if ever you see guest designer Hayley Kruger, ask her and she'll tell you that it is about that colour quality as well. Um, you know, I love, I love that dreamy tropical mm. light blue that you're seeing within each of these cabochons. I'm going to take them out of there in a few moments. Um, but, and I'll tell you, I paid more. Let me just double check that state before I say this statement. I paid more. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, than uh, what you're going to pay for all three of these. For sure. Definitely. 
I have 17 of these available. Now I've given it to Haley because I want Haley to create like a really simple halo design all the way around um, in nine karat gold. I just think the quality of this turquoise definitely deserves it. That would be hundreds of pounds if I was to buy it direct from a jewellery shop, mm -hmm. um, if not more than hundreds of pounds actually. But look at how perfect, look how beautiful that is. I love the rounded corners. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's a real sort of cushion, isn't it? It's gorgeous. No, instantaneously, Linda, you and I have both softened mm, I know I whilst, did. whilst, mm. whilst just like talking about yeah. these. And you don't just get the one you get, you're guaranteed three, so you know exactly what quantity you're getting. And you're guaranteed, oh my goodness me, you are guaranteed um, 20 carats as well. We're going to remove a digit off that screen. <laughs> And you won't believe which, you won't believe which one it's going to actually be. You won't believe. Incorporate them into your seed beading. Incorporate them into your um, argentium. Incorpor oh, yeah. oh, gallery be wire. Gallery as well. wire. Yeah, because of the beautiful. Um, you could use it with all of your sterling silver finest. There's nothing wrong with glue or a beading foundation. Yeah. Use that too. Yeah. We're removing a digit. Which digit do you think it's going to be? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh. Three. Genuine turquoise. Genuine turquoise coming your way all the way from. Do we know the location? I, yeah, I, I'm not surprised. So, USA Turquoise. So, it may well be Sleeping Beauty. It may well be Kingman. I don't know. There are other mines as well in that location as well. We haven't stipulated that. But you can kind of decide, you, well, you can see, can't you, that it's USA because it has that uninterrupted evenness of colour that I was describing earlier on. Um, with very little veining, the demand dramatically escalates. And for this reason, um, it's that reason, uh, sorry, for this reason, the uh, Sleeping Beauty mine actually sort of. Uh, ran out in 2012, probably the most popular location um, of turquoise. This might be from there, I don't know, and maybe it's just not mentioned or, 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 or popped onto our graphics. If it were, you wouldn't be looking at 49.95. 20 carats that you're getting here, such a beautiful, recognised and intrinsically valuable gemstone. That's working out at how much each? Per turquoise. Do you own turquoise in like any in, in like a, a large solitaire? The only turquoise I've got are um, I've got a few chips and nuggets strands. Yeah. And um, I've got the most beautiful four mil strand of Sleeping Beauty, <clears throat> which is absolutely gorgeous. I, I intend to put it with pearls at some point. <gasps> this particular one, though, I keep looking and I keep on seeing a pendant. Whereby that one is set as sort of as the diamond, the other one underneath on the, or above, it sort of depends which way you want, whichever is the... Uh, and have them dropping on top of one another in that sort of diamond shape. But in case then, in like um, Tracy Spurgeon could encase them in just oh, a silver bezel. Oh, that's gorgeous. All the way down. I love that idea. Yeah, so actually sort of create almost like a graduation. Mm. Um, quite, yeah, quite historical actually that look. And I think the shape as well. So these yeah. really gentle cushions, like plump cushions if you like. Natural well, colour. They've actually had to be. They wouldn't have come out of the ground like, oh, those three work together. They've been cherry picked, haven't they? They have. And polished and that accordingly. And the colour, you can <coughs> see that quality literally on the reverse too. Amazing. Well done. Okay, I'm going to. Oh my goodness me, I love this strand. I launched this strand. It's absolutely fascinating. One of our. You don't just get. I, I want to say, oh look, this is graduated wheels. You, you're not, you're getting two strands in one because can you see the microfaceted turquoise in oh, between? That's beautiful. That just needs to be re-stranded. It does. All. We've done we've done Nothing the design else. for you. Nothing else at all. You've got two strands. Two strands of genuine turquoise. Mexican turquoise because the little faceted mic micro faceted turquoise in between wow. are turquoise also. That's lovely. I, I can see that on yourself, a dude sort of guy. Um, you know, again, I don't know why, but I just automatically go to festival jewelry, yeah, jewelry um, with turquoise, particularly when it's that that 
particular shade of blue? Well, it's uh, festival or boho design is layering, it's tassels, it's, and I think, you know, the fact that you've got that alt alternate uh, sort of it's cut the, between. Oh, it's that vivid yeah, colour as well. Is, there isn't yeah. anything else that's quite got that. No. I mean, let's face it, turquoise has a colour named mm -hmm. after it. Yes. So, um, you know, say no more really, because um, it is definitely the colour that initially is attractive. And then you look at how it's been cut or presented or whatever. And this is yeah. this is genuine turquoise. It's not you can get a lot of imitation turquoise even on sort of the high street with your big fashion brands. They'll imitate this very gemstone, but they don't quite get it right. Um, I, I, one of my friends actually, she lives over in West Wales, and she uh, she messaged me said, "Oh, I'll look at the bracelets that I've just bought from a uh, from from a crystal healing shop." And she said, and one of them, sure enough, was clear quartz. One of them, sure enough, was. Uh, sort of was rose quartz the third one she was like look at the turquoise and I was like I didn't have the heart to tell her that it definitely was not turquoise mm -hmm. but she'd actually paid way in excess of what's on your screens right now um, with us you know that it is the real deal very contemporary like I said quite um, um, well, the design is done. It's done for you. You mm -hmm. are getting two strands though so on that basis we're working that's 25 pounds per strand 25 pounds love it Moving on, oh, oh, I don't know if I want to show you this one because it's too beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if you want it. Oh my goodness. I think I might keep it for my health. I'll thank you for it. Oh. oh my goodness, that is so, that's the definition of perfection. You've just literally taken the words out of my mouth. I was lit in my head the exact same words. The oh. definition of perfection that could not be more perfect if you spent a lifetime. For topaz. To oh, it's beautiful. It topaz, is. the second most popular blue gemstone on the planet. Oh, it's gorgeous, El. Gorgeous. Oh gorgeous. my goodness, that's got to be an admin error. It's I have to say, if Steve Bennett is in the that. building, I'm, he I'll, would be I'll like, what is that all. price? I'll buy it all. I price. would. Yeah. I would. Oh. Can you bring in the little th the thread earrings again? This is why I said, I mean, I didn't know it was going that low, but oh I genuinely... God. Yeah. Look, clusters of those. Oh Go back and have a little look and see if any of these earrings, we had them in the three different colours, are still available. Oh. They've sold out. Have they all sold out? Okay, well, don't worry. There's, there's an alternative. We've got these earrings that we've just brought you oh, within yeah. this hour. Yes. Clusters of these would be absolutely beautiful, wouldn't they? I mean, something blue or... Oh. It's stunning, isn't it? Of course they've it's sold like out. It's completely and utterly perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that. No. Oh, it's beautiful. I'd have do for that. Oh. I mean, I'm not strong, but I think I might have been able to muster some. <laughs> but I'd have found, I'd have found some somewhere a hidden strength. <gasps> oh, these are your lovely little yeah, faceted pips. These are beautiful. Again, conversations that I've had with our buying team is like, we need more of these. They've been mm -hmm. very, very popular. Uh, four mil size in particular. This is so, Caroline. If you're watching, do you remember that conversation? These are the ones I was describing. Um, I think guest designer Mark calls them pips. It's lovely, actually, isn't it? It's a nice description. Yeah, I, I, um, I just think that it, with such a delicate coloured gemstone, um, presenting it like that with is, it's all the same, isn't it? It's not uh, graduated. No. Nope. It's it's just again perfect. perfect it is aquamarine. I'd use those. Well. Rose gold and those lovely little stars. Yeah. Wouldn't that be pretty? How about if I told you for genuine and natural aquamarine? Gorgeous. It's going under ten pounds. What? It is. It shouldn't. Oh, it's natural that's aquamarine. That's amazing. I mean, that's the perfect size for a gorgeous tennis bracelet, isn't it? I'd even ch I'd channel sit that, yeah. Oh, that, I love it. You pointed out the fact that it's not graduated. I love, I love your graduated strands, don't get me wrong. But sometimes it's easier when they're the same size. Okay, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, um, it, Look at that. I, I'd, be a t I'd 
attempted to do what I call a gemstone charm bracelet and by that I mean using a small gemstone, mm -hmm. say a birthstone and dangling your charm from it on the on the chain of the um, well, that March Mother's Day? Yeah. Yeah. March babies. And it's March's birthstone, yeah. It? So, I mean, if you know somebody that celebrates a March uh, a birthday, a birthday rather, then that is, and less than £20, that's going to cost you. Less than £20. Amazing. And you've got a full aquamarine 15 carat tennis bracelet. Look, of course this is popular. That is beautiful. Just, this is why I need these charms. Just pop one of those. It's just this, the, this, the tiniest little addition. Mm. But look what it does to the aquamarine and vice versa. Nine ninety five, yeah. amazing! I love it. I think that's pr so oh, pretty. No, uh, that price, it's that it's, it's an insult to the aquamarine. I'm well, it is actually. It's at that point that you, I should say these words: no reflection of the true value or worth. Of course, you know that this is not a ten pound strand. Absolutely. It's worth considerably more than that. Amazing. Okay. Uh, oh, lovely. Very Chanel. We haven't spoken about Chanel today, Linda, no, and that's unlike you and I. It is. Chanel, darling. I hope we will now. Yeah. 15. Yes, incredibly. Incredibly Chanel esque, isn't it? Yes. A long necklace. Um, one of those, then a pearl. Oh, lovely. And if you can, if you want to, why not fashion a little cross C and C? Nobody would know the difference. Nobody would know the difference, absolutely. <laughs> totally agree. Do you know, it's, it's really strange. I probably shouldn't mention this, but I will. A friend of mine, she's actually, she's quite a well-to-do lady. Um, she has two daughters and a son, and her youngest daughter has a long Chanel necklace. Mm -hmm. right? And it broke. <gasps> And um, she asked if I could repair it, yeah, that's absolutely no problem, and I did that. But when I actually looked up close, they weren't gemstones. <coughs> You're telling me they were um, resin? Yeah, and they weren't real pearls. So they pay... I know Chanel use a lot of shell pearl. Yes, they do, they yeah. like shell pearl. I mean, Coco pearl. Chanel herself said, where faux or where the real deal, it's up to you what you do, because it has more or less the same impact. But, uh, yeah, I thought, ooh, Well, it's, it's, the, it's the brand you're paying for. Well, these are the real deal. It's beautiful black, black onyx. You get this lovely liquid luck luster with black onyx. It's much more um, reflective, in my opinion. If I was to show you alongside spinel, which spinel, is, it gives you a flash. Whereas black onyx, I think, I think it travels the luster across the surface. It's quite hard to describe because you might be thinking black gemstone, black gemstone. Actually, you'll see the difference if you place them um, side by side. Love the fact Faceting, literally, poppy spaces in between. Sorry, yeah, I mean, sorry, I, I actually think we should be inspired by the likes of Chanel and that. I mean, it's designed that they're mega at, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, when did this arrive? Oh. Wow. Did we? Wayne's just said we launched this out. Did we? Did we bump our heads? <laughs> <laughs> we have the final few. That's a natural aquamarine. Nine carat. Look at that. Look how it's pooling the light. It's beautiful, isn't it? That's what an aquamarine does, and it's one of my favourite traits that aquamarine does, is it pools light, even on sort of your, your strands. It gets almost sort of transitions from that, um, almost like a cloud has rolled by within the gemstone itself, sort of gently, a crystal clear white cloud. Um, so, it, of course, a member of the Beryl family, the popularity of aquamarine has skyrocketed since Meghan Markle was pictured wearing a big statement aquamarine um, uh, solitaire to her evening due of her wedding reception now nine carats so it's on the nose it's that milestone carrot weight well it's way above a milestone carrot weight and we're not even stopping at 44.95 i generally can't have to, i can't remember i can't remember doing this but apparently we did we've got the final 17 we'd have how many have gone how many did we buy 
yeah, of course we had a big quantity and they've, fl they've flown out. So we've got the final few. $29.95. Okay. Specimen colour, isn't it? It really is beautiful. It, it's almost Santa Maria blue, that. Mm. Yes, okay, it's got some mm. internal inclusions and characteristics. Yeah, that's the charm of it, I agree. isn't it? You know, that's when you know unmistakably it's a gem. Most gemologists actually would prefer a, a coloured gemstone to have those characteristics. Well, at the end of the day, it tells the story, doesn't it? Absolutely, it does. And, and um, I think um, I've, I've heard you say it before. I've heard lots of presenters, including and Steve as well, saying the fact that with coloured gemstones, number one is colour. Yes, it's beyond sort of clarity mm. and yeah, the colour is that driving factor. Totally genuine aquamarine. It's you know, it's it's moments like this when I I, I kind of appreciate that we might have new people die, uh, well, you're watching for the very first time that be thinking, well, that can't be a genuine aquamarine at that kind of price tag. Oh, it is. This is not an aquamarine coloured crystal or um, imitation stone. This is a genuine aquamarine. Um, yeah, if it was set into something like nine carat gold or silver or rose gold any of those things platinum then of course you'd be talking about a much higher price tag the beauty is here at jewelry maker we have our guest designers that will give you the inspiration and the knowledge um, and we also bring you the amazing sa uh, savings too so silver clay beautiful argentium amazing just as a collector's piece yeah definitely a bezel of a nice silver bezel on that would be perfect yeah just just keep it Keep it plain so that the beauty of the stone oh, shines wow, that's, out. Yeah, incredible. The colour is, yeah, on the verge of selling out, by the way. Okay, moving on. Oh, 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 I'm excited. <sighs> you love Ethiopian I apple, do. don't you? Wait until you oh, see these then. Goodness. Oh, that. It's. Oh, my goodness me. Linda, look what. Oh. Now. It's difficult for me to actually to show you four individual standalone gem quality Ethiopian opals. Um, anything over 80% play of colour is regarded as exceptional. Are we all in agreement that they, they are all over 80% play of colour? That's the surface area of the gemstone. One of the traits that Ethiopian opal actually... Uh, um, carries um, above other locations is a prominence of reds. Now, um, the, diff the different colour that you see uh, equates to the distance that the light has actually travels between the gemstone and the observer, aka you and I. But with Ethiopian opal, A, you get that lovely jelly appearance, which means you get play of colour, not just on the surface, but throughout the heart of the gemstone as well. But you see that prominence of red as well. It's my favourite location, Barn, and I love Ethiopian opal. Oh, I do. It's my favourite gemstone. Is it? Completely and utterly, I can say that. Absolutely, it is my my favourite gemstone by now. And as voted by yourselves, your uh, your favourite gemstone of 2019 should absolutely 94.95. You've got eight carats. In this assortment of different, I mean, I've got here, um, I've got three ovals and one pair. Can you see? I know it's that you've got to bear in mind that you're looking at this through a container. This is what it's going to look like. You've got, th oh no, you have got four. There we are. Um, four examples. I'll try my best. I'll try my best to open this. Um, we're going to a crazy low price tag. Gosh. I've bought Ethiopian opal in, 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 I've got a pair of earrings in Ethiopian opal, I can tell you. They are not that quality. It's superb, isn't it? I mean, the northern lights would be jealous. Mm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's the silica spheres inside um, that give you that beautiful patterning, almost like a, um, a firework display. But like I said, I love Australian opal. Um, and we had Andamuka yesterday. Black opal, boulder opals, matrix opal. I love them all, but they do tend to be quite, they're more opaque, aren't they, they that location? Mm -hmm. Still pretty, don't get me wrong. But with Ethiopian opal, I think one of the things that pulls massively on my heartstring is the fact that you can see literally into its soul. Completely and utterly. It's just a gemstone that's completely and utterly magical. Yeah. Um, I mean, there, there's nothing quite like an Ethiopian opal. Ethiopian opal. For performance and every time that's moving around as well on screen the performance changes yeah it does um and that's uh, that's a natural stone it's 
just there's a there's a series started on uh, yes. TV. Yes. Um, Uncut Gems or something yes. it's called, and that was actually set at the Wellow Mine in um, Ethiopia. And when oh, obviously it's just a fictional thing, but um, based on reality. And when they discovered this, in this sort of came out of the the rock face, and then you saw this blinking of the opal like that, just oh, blinking. Through. Incredible. It, it's just it's it's. Just a miracle. Um, of course, thousands of pounds per uh, per carat ordinarily, um, and only discovered in the 1990s as well. So Amazing, the newest location. Jewelry makers, check out those baskets if you want to guarantee your success. Coming up in the next hour, we have got an amazing uh, little mini showcase of your Peridot Plus. Beautiful kits, beautiful jewelry, and demonstrations by the wonderful Linda. We shall return after this. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration, and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Join me on the 5th of February from 10 o'clock onwards. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have loads and loads of great jewelry making products in particularly a lot of one of my favourites, which is Amethyst. And from my point of view, I couldn't think of a better way to spend my birthday. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. 
Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. Welcome back, jewelry makers. Lovely to have you on. <laughs> it's a good job for all friends, isn't it? <laughs> uh, oh, um, my goodness me, we've got some. I mean, did all of this jewelry from these two kits? Yeah. Absolutely. Linda. Yeah. These are beautiful. Um, Labradorite kits first, <laughs> and then we're going to bring you the pearl kit. Yeah. I love it, yes. I love it, I love how, it. How gemstones will travel, basically. You well, can they get a lot out of, <clears> not <throat> a lot. And, that, and that's the thing, you know, we bring you a kit for multiple reasons. A, we, obviously we want to encourage mm -hmm. people to, to, you know, to, to get involved in jewellery making. Um, but it's quite hard, and certainly I found this quite hard when I, when I joined Jewellery Maker, was actually how to sort of make that transition. Okay, so these are components. What do I do with all of those? Um, so Linda and our, and our talented guest designer team will, will create these pieces so that you can actually go, I can do that. I can actually do it. Then, even more than that, we'll give you a save. So we give you a saving on top. So this is, you, you've been raving about the quality of this Labradorite strand. It's, it's a long time since I've been given any Labradorite in, in a kit. Um, and I didn't realise how much, quite how much I'd missed it. Yeah. Um, and when I opened the kit, this is my sort of second sample, it's... Again, it's quality. Every single one has that phenomenal effect, that beautiful yeah, labradorite. E the, I mean, the rondelles are astonishing. Yeah, look at that. Just astonishing, they are. Really, really astonishing. You've got copper colours, blues. You've got flashes of greens. They're all top drilled, so they're ready-made waiting pendants, effectively. And you have an entire parcel. Um, I will continue to keep saying that word. But we've got qualities like this, um, quality of gemstones like this. They're not a strand. They're a parcel. It just, they just so happen to be brought to you, 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 you know, um, on, a, on a thread, if you like. Um, I agree. These rondelles are are beautiful and they were so beautiful that they almost prompted you Linda to put them in the, your first kit as well. Completely. I mean have you ever seen, you know I said how uh, earlier on that aquamarine in my opinion it, 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 it pools light and it almost makes it travel. Labrad essence is almost traveling from facet to facet from rondelle to rondelle across the, in that beautiful graduation. Yes, they, are glorious. they are glorious. I'm Still thinking. not done because this kit is also offering you seed beads. Seed beads are not just exclusive to seed beaders. Seed beads look amazing with genuine gemstones. In fact, that's why we actually encourage them. That's why we actually started stocking seed beads, was literally to be as uh, an accent or an accentuation. Um, this is also included. So you have, look at these. Linda, these, are, these are sterling silver. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. So these are sterling silver. Yeah. Is this a brand new sterling silver yeah, findings pack? Basically, it's a new sterling silver findings pack. Um, 
and it is absolutely stunning. I mean, you have got uh, two shepherd hook, two pairs. You've got so, those glorious hoops. You've got two of these hoops. And then you've got these very contemporary ones, plus your jump rings and plus your um, head pins. So, hang on, I'm just going to place the gemstones down. So, these are sterling silver, yeah. these hoops. 925 sterling silver. These catwalk yeah. earring, pendant, whichever you wish, yeah. are sterling silver, and you get two. Mm -hmm. Two pairs of your shepherd hooks, mm -hmm. your jump rings, and also your head pins. Yeah. All, All 925 sterling yeah. silver. Hang on a minute, because. That's a brand, wow, that's a brand new findings pack with the quality of the Labradite S, plural, mm. because it's not just, I'm not just talking about one individual strand, they're both amazing quality. Mm -hmm. And the seed beads, sorry, I've just had to double check the price tag because it almost didn't, didn't sink in. Start dialing, so one of our newest finding packs. Am I right in saying that this is one that is only going to be exclusive to kits? Yeah, you're not going to see these finding packs anywhere outside of kits. So we've bought a few different selections that are mm -hmm. exclusive to our kit team um, and kit uh, composition, if you like. I love them. And they work. That, I mean, it's these that have made you, uh, uh, enabled you to make all of those designs. Oh, gosh, yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's, it's really lovely to see um, the findings have now grown into mm. the sort of 2020 era, isn't it? You know, the hoops are back massively. Yeah. The contemporaries, the catwalk findings are back massively. So it's a fantastic opportunity um, to have them put in just into kits. Yeah. I agree. Let's bring that price onto your screen. So 925, that's a whole lot of 925 sterling silver, plus, uh, plus your galvanised beads as well, plus the two strands of labradorite, and we're at 29.95. Oh I mean, is it just me that's thinking that sterling silver findings pack, because of the content, the exactly, gram weight, the gram should weight. be probably £17. And that's definitely, the JM price. Definitely. The, the both labradorite strands should be more than 29.95. That's both of them, the rondelles and the teardrops. I, I, I agree. How many do we have of this kit? 55. Look, I mean, look at this that here. That's a full that, spectrum almost of colour within, across the surface of one of those drops. And, you know, if I was to move my hand, just influence each of those so that, that you know, each of the Labradorites catch the light in their, in, their, in their own unique way, you see a different colour, a different experience. I'm so stunned, to be mm. truthful, by, by, by the price of this kit. And I didn't realise that this finding pack was 925. No, I mean, actually the maths, it's not worth trying to work the maths out. Because well, it's illogical. They won't equate at all. It's going to be so, like me trying know, to work just, out Pythagoras' just theorem. Think, right, that's a steal. I'm having it quick. It gets, it gets that reaction. Yeah. You know? Well, definitely, because it is. I mean, just looking at these Labradorite rondelles, I mean, these, that's £30 worth of, of gemstone, if ever I saw it. And that's like £50 worth of gemstone, if not more. Then, as you say, the sterling silver findings on top, it's... And this, well, the seed reads, it's just a buy and buy, isn't it? I mean, basically, I think you've got your sterling silver findings, you've got at least one strand of Labrador, right? You've got your seed reads, completely free. Mm hmm I agree. I agree, because I do think those those new finding packs, I mean, they, they look to me, first appearance, I don't know, actually, but 16, 17 pounds, because mm -hmm. you have got such a big investment of the precious metal. I had, how many of this? 55, but they're getting snapped up. How many left? 20. Okay, yeah, they've been snapped up, so please don't leave them in your baskets. Now, we'll be um, talking through all of Linda's designs, but I have got one other kit to bring you to squeeze in before the demonstration. Now, this is called Snow Moon. There's Snow Moon out tonight. Uh, and actually, was it, was it? I'm no astrologer. <laughs> Neither am I. Um, but did anyone actually notice how bright oh. the moon is over the past few days? Yeah, it's been yeah, glowing, it, it must, isn't it, in the sky? There must be a reason for it. I think, I the, think, I think there is. it's cold as well. It looks so beautiful. It's just clear. Clear skies, brightest of stars. I can see the inspiration in this kit. Now, you adore your button pearls, don't I do. you? I do. I adore pearls, full stop. Um, I love a round pearl, don't get me wrong, I adore a round pearl, but I love quirky shapes more. 
Yeah. You know, it's just, just, just the way I am. I can't help it. Um, so anything that's a little bit different. I mean, we've had coin pearls before. We've had button pearls before. But this is like a button and a coin have got together and they centre drilled. Which, can you imagine with that hematite we had earlier? Oh, lovely. Just one of those. Just alternating the two. The, one pearl in the hematite. Mm, beautiful. beautiful. Um, I, I mean, I don't, I won't, I don't want to go, because we haven't got a huge amount of time within this hour. I don't want to be get, get too gemmy, but we know that a cultured pearl is basically, they're farmed, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And 99.9%, .9 if not more, <laughs> of the world's pearls these days are actually cultured. So mm -hmm. you, you, it's highly unlikely that you're going to free dive and find a pearl at the bottom of the ocean. Um, now, within that process, technologies have developed and, and, you know, it's no longer just a little tiny nucleated bead that they insert to the mollusk, that they pro progressively over years will coat um, will coat a nacre co uh, 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 coating over that um, bead that produces this beautiful, the pearl ultimately. The more nacre, the more lustrous the actual pearl is. Mm -hmm. But there's technology recent technologies have meant that we can actually cultivate shape so we can almost dictate the shape that will actually be yeah. produced so we've had we've brought you some amazing crosses we've brought you some amazing stars fishy shapes even and that's down to the fact that we'll have inserted it's much more delicate much 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 more uh, um, sort of skillful we'll have inserted an actual shape of a, of a larger size. So that's not going to be pure nacre, obviously. They'll have that disc, almost a disc in the center there, that's been coated by the mollusk. Now, contrary to popular belief, a pearl will not just, you know, a mollusk won't produce one pearl. A mollusk will produce multiple pearls. However, because of the size of these, it's probably much less. So they mm. generally are more expensive. Yeah, well, basically, the pearl producers um, obviously keep an eye out for a uh, mega mollusk if you see what I mean. A mega mollusk. Right, so you think oh wow that mollusk there has produced that gorgeous pearl so keep it and, and then you put more in etc etc so you will they will keep these um, mega mollusks. What, mega mollusks absolutely and then then the lesser so is are just you know Aww. sort of occasionally. It's like being in, the, in the, a premiership sort of thing football. Okay. You, know, you see all those poor people sitting on the bench there thinking yeah, oh, yeah. am I going to get a kick or not? No probably not. And I can just see that happening. With these and, and, they, and they will reproduce as well absolutely won't they? They'll actually reproduce, they reproduce your pearls. Yeah and I mean they, to be honest it's mother nature making them do it. They just see that that little insert is a complete irritant. It makes the, the mollusk feel unwell, so it tries to get rid of it. The way it tries to get rid of it is by producing all this nacre. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously this little parasite is, is sitting in there, it's not going anywhere, and it just keeps getting more and more nacre and produces these phenomenal pearls. It depends on the temperature per water, but it's estimated one millimetre of nacre per year. Um, but the larger pearls like this, because of the, de the scale that goes into inserting not just a teeny weeny two millimeter bead a much larger oh. size you pay a higher premium now snow moon includes your Montana seed beads it includes the strand of these beautiful genuine cultured pearl coins it includes um, a pearl uh, silk card mm -hmm. so this is pre-threaded I'll turn it this way natural silk in this beautiful lavender color um, uh, which you can literally knot these yeah, with can't I, you yeah I've done it on the I've knotted that that bracelet there with the oh, little CBs stunning as well. I love it I love it there. and then a finding pack of 925 precious metal as well now we're running out of time so for those of you that gosh these are they're already being allocated I mean, I, I, I read something the other day which really brought a picture into my mind about pearls. And it was a little paragraph from Pearl, Pearl Essence or Pearl, some Pearl Paradise or one of these fantastic sites who are so knowledgeable, the GIA support them. And um, it said that this little, um, this little parasite goes inside the mollusk and it sits there for X amount of years in the silence, in the dark, growing and growing into this beauteous... I thought it was just so... Was a poetic written, and and that's exactly what happens. Yeah, well, absolutely. Yeah, sits there perfectly growing, and yeah, and then and then all of a sudden this this amazing reveal. It's incredible. It, it is, incre yeah. and and even then, when you know when they open the mollusk, you don't 
quite know no, how that never, pearl. You, you never know. Yeah, is is, is going to be. You so they know. still invest all of those yeah. years looking after the mollusk, looking after yeah. hopefully with finger, uh, fingers crossed the pearl inside yeah. or pearls inside. I can inside. imagine that somebody who's been doing it for forty or fifty years. Every time they open a mollusk, they are so excited. Oh, Linda, so. you've done you've uh, you've done it again. Those earrings are amazing. That necklace is fabulous. <laughs> I love I love that what you've done with the chain just here as well. Um, $27.95 for this beautiful kit. It's oh an gosh, amazing it's an kit. amazing price, that is. Uh, did, did you make this? Did you? Yeah. No, no. Uh, I'm, 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 Caroline told me about the pearls. You pay that um, price more than that for the pearls. Oh, absolutely. And they are 95 oh, sterling silver any, findings. Any day of any week in any retail outlet you pay. And your toggle. More. So you've yeah. got... I mean, let's 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 break it down. Two pearls on a shepherd hook, few sea beads, pair of earrings. You've got enough to make a full pearl bracelet well, necklace. I mean, honestly, uh, okay, I might have added some chain and I might have added some wire, wire which I have obviously. But every pearl um, and obviously sea beads and and the thread, every single pearl is off that one strand i have not <coughs> i was not Excuse sent me. two kits this time i was only sent one well that's probably so, because they're limited yeah mm -hmm. so consequently all the pearls there all that jewelry that's that's got a pearl or two or three or four in it is off of that one strand that necklace and those earrings just below it and that bracelet actually that those three wow four i can't choose <laughs> I can't choose. Linda, just gorgeous. Um, which one? Uh, which ones are you going to demonstrate? Well, um, actually, the um, earrings. You see those? They're clear, the ones that are. I wonder if you could. Lucy, would oh, you? Oh, the mind very linear ones. The linear ones. The ones that are just. Do you mind? I'm sorry, I can't stretch over because I might just. Send That's it okay. We'll fly. grab it. We'll grab it now. Those there. The very simple ones. Okay. That one. Thank you very much. I love that. that. I mean, they're, they're so really, elegant. Really, really simple. Uh, I've never done this before, and I, I, I'll tell you when I work through it now, um, Ooh, which is going to be quick. Um, how it happened. So I'm going to have to use that strand of pearls. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's all right. It's okay. Oops, I've broken into the strand. Oops, oops, oops. Did you slip? <laughs> it means that you can actually make more of these amazing designs then. You um, do love your pearls, Linda. They're very Absolutely. you, actually. I do. I, do. I love them. Classy. Yeah, I'm really, oh, gosh, no, I just love, I love quirky pearls. I must admit, anything that's, that's not the norm. But don't you think this design, I look at this design, and, I, and, I, and I'll stop talking in a minute, but this design, I totally see you taking pearls and bringing it into the modern day. Because mm -hmm. most people, or younger people in particular, I mean, the fashion of pearls has really caught on across yeah, all generations. Well, this is it. But this is quite, this is quite dynamic, yeah, modern I mean, going, in their design. Going back um, with pearls, if you go back as, as really as close, I'm saying that because I was born in the 50s, but in the 50s, it was very much twin set and pearls mm -hmm. sort of thing, you know. Um, but now, with the advent of all these beautiful pearls that we can get now, everybody and anybody can wear them and should wear them. Because if you're a bit frightened and think, oh, pearls are for older ladies and that, they're not. No, and they like being <coughs> They're not. Too. I mean, I've got four, my brother's got four girls aged from um, 15 to 25. And all of them will wear a pearl. In, in a sort of a more of a contemporary design. They'd certainly wear those. Oh, definitely. I, I, when I mm. went down to London a couple of weekends ago, uh, you, you, I was um, literally pearls, 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 yeah. pearls everywhere. Um, but how lovely to see genuine pearls being worn. Exactly. They enjoy it. Don't, don't store pearls in plastic bags. They don't like that. So as soon as you get yours home, take them out of the plastic bags. They like to breathe. And they don't put hairspray or perfume on top of a pearl. Think of it that they are an organic gemstone. Um, but they love the oils of your skin. They do. So, so, so do yeah. wear them. They do. do wear them as, uh, as all jewellery really should be worn. Okay. Right. If, sorry, one second. Oh, because on, yeah. can I just on. mention this is coming up as a star by and I think it would be beautiful oh, with the pearls. Stunning. Can you imagine those, those peridot on that? on that upright wire there, and then again oh. down there. Love it, love it. Coming up, but not yet. Okay, over right, to Right, this is a really quick demo. As I say, I, I, what I did was I, I just cut myself a length of, um, I've got some 0.4, I've only got silver here, I'm afraid, not gold. Um, so I cut a length of wire, basically to see if 0.6 would go through the pearl, and it does. 
So I threaded it on, simple as that, and looked at it and I thought, hmm, I wonder. Um, if you make the design, take time in straightening uh, your wire. If I were you and you are lucky enough to have any sterling wire, 0.4 sterling wire or 0.6, use that. Now all you have to do, simple as this, is this wire that's exiting there, if you hold onto the pearl quite tightly, right, and use your fingers as, as a cushion, it's not quite so critical at, at this side of the pearl, take your flat nose pliers and just um, sort of make a slight kink in that wire and then use your finger to go through the 90 degrees. Then turn it the other way so that the pearl is sitting in the 90 degree angle. Okay, there's the 90 degree angle it's sitting in. And all you've got to do now is go the opposite way. So pop your flat nose pliers, give it, just manipulate it a little and do the same the other way. So basically now, there's your design. So all you have to do is trim off the one end, okay? And now what we're going to do now is do a simple loop. Now a simple loop, my go-to is to turn a simple loop with about a centimeter of wire. So I'm taking my flat nose pliers, that's um, a rough centimeter, really get some purchase there and again put that through 90 degrees. Now if you're doing this magic centimeter simple loop, then when you pick up your round nose pliers, go down the pliers, they're, they're obviously, um, um, as I said earlier, they're a uh, former as well, so about that magic centimeter down the plier, okay? Mm -hmm. And then that will give you, nine times out of ten, your perfect simple loop. Pop it back and it will return with absolutely no excess. If you've got a centimetre of wire residue going into your um, right angle and you go down your uh, round nose pliers a centimetre as well, you should get a nice neat loop. So you have now got your attachment. So have a, have a look and see what actually when you, when you look at that design now, the, it's, it's how it pleases your brain, as it were, your creative part of your brain, as to where you trim it. Mm -hmm. So I'm more than happy with that, because I like a nice long drop, but you might just want a shorter drop there, or the same length, but I'm asymmetric, so I'm just going to sort of chip it off about there, which is slightly shorter than that one, and then all I've got to do is take my gorgeous sterling silver shepherd hook, open it, and pop on my earring, and job done. Look at that. You can hammer those as well. Yeah, can't you? I mean it's incredibly simplistic. I love that though. Design. It's inc incredibly um, not any hardly any technique whatsoever. But it works, and as you say, you could add to the drop the little peridot micro oh, You yes. could, you could, uh, like John Dwyer could put a little diamante in there or in the pearl and mm -hmm. things like that. We've got some of those coming up in the future, some gorgeous little things that can go into uh, pearls. Linda, literally beautiful. I mean, every, I love those earrings with the clusters on the top. I think they're absolutely amazing. Yeah, they're, nice and they're signature. They are, I was going to say that, they're classic, you. Yeah. I've still got a pair of pearl earrings that you made me years ago with little, a little I, I can't help myself. I always have to make that if I have got components that will do that. No, oh, look at those. They are stunning. Oh, I love it. So get the kit, jewellery makers. You could make so much out of it included. The sterling silver, your toggle, the finings, the silk, the Montanas, and also those amazing button pearls. I love it. Thank you, Linda, That's so, so much. Any questions? And you have still got time to <laughs> message in. Um, but I need to mention um, that we have got the most awesome strand of Peridot coming up. Now, we've got a triple figure quantity of this Peridot. Those of you that were with me yesterday and managed to get hold of the Zircon, oh, I have lovely, I have one of our viewers, Glenda, to thank for that. So, Glenda, thank you so much. Um, yeah, do get in touch again. 
So, uh, but yeah, that, that strand sold out. And I, I'm, I'm bringing you this one because I think it is now an identical, obviously a different gemstone, but the quality is unbelievable. Micro faceted, coming up at quarter two. Yeah, micro faceted peridot, a long strand too, that would go beautifully with all kits that we've offered you today. So um, yeah, about 20 minutes time. In the meantime, should we do a showcase of peridot? Let's. Wonderful. Fascinating gemstone. Starting with, uh, uh, yeah, I'm glad you said that. Look at this, this, oh my goodness me. Oh, <gasps> whoa. That was involuntary though. Look at that, Linda. They are huge. Oh, they're beautiful. That's gem quality. Uh, yeah, without question. Mm. Now here's something that um, in my research we always talk, most of us know Peridot it's, uh, because it is a, uh, it's a birthstone, August birthstone of course. But you know I've always said that, you are, he's up on his feet, oh my goodness me, oh, he's up on his feet. It's a Steve's Super oh Saver. Oh my goodness. Did, he, did, did Steve look, look at the quality? No way. Oh my goodness me. I mean you've got a lot to thank Steve for right now. I've got 34. I'll, I mean, listen, this is a, a probably one of my favourite strands. This is probably one of my favourite strands of peridot that we've Whoa. ever actually brought to air because they are, anything over half a carat is, is very, 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 very rare. How many have we got? Um, we've got how many? 34 of them. Start dialing through. Because be just... I'll have all 34, I promise you. That's a crazy price. What, 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 the, of what I've just heard, I'll have them all. So this is... A Steve Super Saver deal. Now, now uh, you'd pay that for one of those stones, let alone $59.95. Well done for those of you that are already dialing through. It's my favourite strand of Peridot, I think, um, that we've actually, or certainly one of my favourite strands of Peridot that we have within our entire vault. Entire, entire vault. Oh, it's, it's just, it's just mind-blowingly beautiful. This is even beyond a deal, a deal of the day. So our biggest it's auction... Natural. Gorgeous. Natural, genuine, oh, Chinese peridot. One of the most legendary locations. <gasps> oh. Can we even buy it at that price? <laughs> no chance. That's why you can see now why I said I'd have them all. Man, those earrings that I've just demonstrated oh. with some sterling silver or, or, or gold plated sterling silver wire. Oh, oh. Both earrings, actually. Yeah, yeah, both earrings. You know, yeah, the definitely. ones we had earlier yeah. on. Look at that. Natural, a natural gemstone. Peridot um, is, is, is what we call idiochromatic, which means it gets its colour from the chemical composition. The fascination of this beautiful green gemstone stretches over 4,000 years. Um, it's a type of olivine. Now, you know we always say that, that, that zircon is the oldest gemstone on the planet. Do you know what? Technically, that's wrong. Technically, because yeah. this gemstone so... dates back 4.5 billion years. Mm -hmm. And you might think, well, hang on a minute, that's, like, that's older than the planet. I'm confused, I'm really confused. It's because it was actually found in meteorites um, that were part of our solar system's birth. So technically, technically mm -hmm. you could argue that Peridot is the yeah, oldest yeah, gemstone yeah, on this planet. Again, that was something I read uh, a while ago. Oh, just fascinating. And it is totally natural. I've got four of these left. Oh, what an awesome deal. Congra 16 of you mm -hmm. have in your baskets. Barry, Gail, Cumbria, Jan, Amanda, Gabby, Kevin, Carol, Lynn, Louisa, Janice, Jane. Okay, on screen sellout. Well done. Thank um, you very much for leaving me one. Oh, <laughs> yes. I feel quite bitter. You got no <laughs> chance. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> But that's what I was like yesterday with the oh, zircon. No. Oh, man, yeah. that was just... that was Literally. <sniffs> sobbing in my tea. <laughs> okay. What I have... Oh, yeah, now this is the one that I've been teasing you with throughout the course of the show. It's beautiful. So, with Peridot, it's the only gem... Mm. Oh, not the only, or one of the very few gemstones that only comes in a green. You can't get uh, peridot um, in any other colour. Now there's different shades, of course, um, but the most electric, zesty, uh, an intense green, so pure grass green is how they describe it, is the highest in value. So would we all agree that this is a pure grass green? Definitely. I mean, um, having seen peridot now for, you know, a long time, 
I can tell in a heartbeat that without looking at the graphics that that's Chinese. Mm -hmm. It just has that crisp It really does, yeah. Colour. Often found next to diamond uh, um, mines as well um, because they are two of the gemstones. You know we discussed earlier on with uh, turquoise as being a, a very shallow forming gemstone. It forms within the earth, uh, crust, uh, the crusts the crust of the earth. Um, this is one of a few gemstones, so peridot and diamonds actually form within the earth's mantle. Mm -hmm. So that really, really hot bit just before the core itself. Fascinating. How many pressures and heats and yeah, well, it, intensities. It's basically a gemstone as well. I mentioned it the other day on air when um, a volcano in Hawaii erupted two or three years ago. It was literally raining peridot. Oh, can you imagine? Yeah, that's one of my bucket lists. Peridot. I'd like to go to see the Peridot Sands. Well, I went to Mauna Kea, the volcano in Hawaii, which I'm not sure that was the one that erupted. This is a live one. But you can, I mean, it's vast. So you can imagine that erupting. When we say Peridot Sands, it's, I'm not talking about Peridot like this, folks. These are gem quality examples. How on earth are you under £30? Exactly. Oh, God, yes. I feel, I feel like... He's up on his feet. He's up on his feet. What are you doing? Another Steve Super Saver. Oh, this is my favourite. I, I love... It's got nowhere to hide, does it? No. You know, you know... Think of a facet as a form of makeup. You know, like, and there's nothing wrong with that. So if you were to, in the mornings we get, well I certainly do, get up in the morning, put a little bit of mascara on, put a little bit of foundation on, you try and make the most of what you've yeah. got. So imagine a facet is like that for a gemstone. These, on this strand, don't need a single yeah. trace. Nope. They are naturally flawless. Naturally mm. beautiful. Naturally that amazing grass green. And guess what? It's a Steve Super Saver. Gosh, I'm, I'm just about getting my... <laughs> it's an SSS. Yes, that's what we need. It's USA, so it may well come from that destination that you were talking about. Well, so China within Hawaii, and the USA apparently before the you know the Earth crust it all moved. Like apparently China and America, USA. the USA, the West Coast were annexed. We're not messing around. We've only got a few of these available. And we've got 25 minutes to squeeze in as many. I, I adore Peridot. It's one of I'm the... Like, <gasps> wow. It's one of my favourite of colour gemstones. Under whatever lighting conditions, this is... And I'm, this is not scientific. It's one of those gemstones that if you are wearing it under candlelight, if you are wearing it in incandescent or daylighting, it always just radiates and it's natural you almost look at this gemstone and think nah that's got to have gone undergone the same treatment yeah, maybe exactly. a swiss blue topaz it hasn't mm. this is all mother nature's doing i tell so, you what are you sure that's a steve super saver, saver? or is it just wayne's world it's i mean uh, who knows i think it's wayne's world he's it, well steve's probably in the building now Oh yeah, he probably is, yeah. Probably in the building now. Um, so the ultimate extreme gemstone. So technically, are we all agreeing that this could actually be the oldest gemstone? Well, I know we always say that zircon is. That's, that's as old as the planet. It's been proven to be as old as our planet. This is as old as our solar system. It's been found on? It's been found in palisite meteorites, which are remnants of our solar system's birth. There you go. There. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So this peridot was actually in existence before our solar system. Yeah. Wow. I know. <laughs> that, just, I, that messes with my brain. Though. It does me. It's like, you know, try and listen to a podcast from Brian Cox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know what he's saying. Moving on. Oh, so nowhere to hide, you say, Linda. Oh, my goodness. Do you know what I'd put this with? I love Peridot. Um, this with the, the microfaceted. Why not contrast it? Mm. Layer it together. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. How about put something... Mix these up. It's one of those gemstones you just, <gasps> the more the better. That's, that's, can I have that as a gift, do you think? I think, I think it, 
anything is possible and anything for you. <laughs> Coming up um, in about 10 minutes time, this beautiful micro faceted strand, 28 carats of natural peridot. Gorgeous. When we say plain, it means they're not faceted. Um, it's a chartreuse colour, so it can only be green, but that doesn't mean it's uh, only the gem quality green. So uh, a peridot can be quite pale, a little bit yellow, um, and it can also be quite brown. So you're mm. looking for that perfect chartreuse, sort of fresh cut grass yeah. colour. That's I what mean, you're looking about, for. I think probably about four years ago, five years ago, and I think Steve will will uh, we'll, we'll say the same, that um, when Steve went out to China to buy Peridot, he came back, it's actually a little VT of it, I think, mm -hmm. he came back with none because it was very included, little black inclusions. Yeah, it in often it. is included. So we haven't had uh, any um, lovely Peridot for a long time, so this is phenomenal isn't it i mean this is just so consistent um the little black inclusions can sometimes be diamonds oh well, I, 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 I'll because that. they almost yeah. link arms of course whilst they do. They're, yeah. Uh, yeah making their way to the surface um oh but yes of course eye clean is the best what number sorry oh I, I literally these caught my attention for this this is going to be a popular strand tell me talk to me talk to me prepare me Wow, another saver. It's a double strand, really, as well. It, it is. They're absolutely jam-packed, tessellated beautifully on there. Um, I look at this cut, and I don't want... I, they're round brilliant cuts to me. I'm not saying they technically are, as in the number of facets, but you have a pavilion, mm, you have a crown, um, you've got a table. Look at that, my goodness me. Jam packed onto the strand as well. Solitaires. Oh, Linda, you know what I'm going to do right now, don't you? Where are those gorgeous earrings, those cascade earrings that we had earlier on? You could pop these. Have they been have they yeah. been whisked away? But yeah. yeah, you could literally pop those on that cascade like design. Yeah, on the on the thread earrings. The drill hole is at the at, you know, the, almost at the, the coolie the of the flat. gemstone. Yeah. So you you get that whole beauty of the gemstone oh, shape. That's then. gorgeous. And it is gonna be a drop. But if you wanted to sort of put have them elevated, then just, you know, influence it with, 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 with whatever component you're working with. Absolutely. Thirty-four ninety-five. Now, it's not just me that's thinking this is a strand which should be, what, 70, 80 pounds? Easily. The quality of the cut, the consistency Easily. of that natural colour, you're lapping it up. Of course you can. Um, so here we go. Here's another really cool cosmic sci-fi fact. Uh, found in lava, meteorites, and also deep within the Earth's mantle. I've told you that. The ultimate extreme gemstone. In 2005, Peridot was found in comet dust. Brought, uh, brought back from Stardust robotic space probe. Wow. <laughs> that was an expensive trip. <laughs> yeah. Probably, probably quicker to go to China. They're probably quicker to go to China. <laughs> China. That's a long way. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Um, moving on. Oh, now a briolette. So you had there. Your more round. Our, our interpretation of a round brilliant cut. This is more. This is a briolette. We call them faceted drops, but a briolette, uh, in my opinion, is more of an accurate des description because you have a 360 facet all the way around. This is one of the most challenging cuts that's oh. out there because 360 mm. degrees. No, 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 no. Look at the quality. Up close and personal. Beautiful. These are beautiful, those waterfall earrings. Oh my goodness. I'm 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 really nervous about going into training and like can you see that the image that we were just showing you there, our director was just showing you, is under magnification. So I'm going to ask you something which not every single, I don't know, um, uh, jewellery shop assistant would ask or, or, or anybody that might have asked you on our TV screens before here at Jewellery Maker. Can you find a flaw? No. Can you find an imperfection? No, you can see straight through them completely and the clarity is 100%. Because I literally can't, exactly. No, absolutely. And yet we're under £20. It's ridiculous. It doesn't equate at all, does it? <sighs> My goodness me. Can you imagine that on um, a, um, a little bridesmaid coronet for a wedding or something like that. I mean, just... And then the bride can wear the earrings. Can you pass those earrings that I was... I'm, I'm loving, loving... This one's No, the, the cl your oh, classic these. design. Because, Linda, this has just got to happen. 
Yes, I mean, you could, as I say, you could retain the pearl. I'd make them slightly longer, and then I would ram it in as many per chain link of those peridots oh. that I could get in. That would be beautiful because uh, don't be th don't think that that cut won't work because no, it no, does, no. doesn't it? it? Absolutely, because it comes to the point. The point of which is closer to the chain link. So you, I mean, I have got ten of those in each link. There's there's ten beads per link there. So I know I could get at least five of the pair of those. Per link. Love them, love them. Well done. Congratulations. Um, now I gave you a little sneaky peek of this one. Oh, there's only four. I must, I must find out, actually, because I know that gemstones like Tanzanite prefer a longer axis, so they like one side of their gemstone to be longer because it's, uh, because it's crystal structure. So Tanzanite likes a longer C axis. That's why they're not tend to be ovals or trillions. Wait, why don't we see many peridots in rounds? Mm -hmm. That's very true. Yeah, you get more fancy cuts in Peridot. Yeah, around, I'll you? ask the question. Yeah. I shall find out. There's only four of these. Oh my goodness me. But the, the, the showcases are always the best occasion for you to get the best possible prices of that specific gemstone. A Peridot showcase is literally a dream come true for me. I love talking about this gemstone because it's cool, it's exciting, it is, it is the ultimate extreme gemstone. It's completely natural. I've got one left and you get prices like this. I mean, it, that, this is why I adore doing showcases, everybody. Um, but you have to be quite quick off the mark. It's gone. Well done. Well done. Well done. Don't worry. I'll squeeze in as many as I can. If you love your round, stay where you are. Because I have one other strand. If you missed out on that one previously, I've got one other. Now, slight difference in size. Is that right? Mm, yeah, yeah, slight four. difference. Can you imagine a beady bead in that? Or oh, a beady bead. Oh, I love a beady bead. <laughs> and so does Chanel, it seems. Yes, exactly. They're using yeah. them a lot at the moment. Um, faceted gemstones, faceted rounds they're using a lot of. Oh. I think, um, uh, yeah, a friend of mine actually sent me a picture of a faceted round emerald necklace that was tens of thousands oh. of pounds. 1995, oh. with the pearls that we brought you, with the turquoise that we brought you, with your big star by that is moments away. Micro fast. Look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, you have the, the, the four males nestling in with some pearls around your neck, and then you have these for the earrings with a pearl drop. Mm. Drop them. Rejuvenating. It is. It, it's mouth-watering, peridot is. Uh, good peridot makes your mouth water. It, it does. It's zesty lime colour. It totally does. Yeah. I don't... I, I, I 100% agree with you. It's one of those th those gemstones, and it's natural colour. This is not this is not influence. The colour comes from Mother Nature. So, um, <clears throat> it it it's one of those gemstones. It's like you know, sort of the first few days of springs. You just feel energised. Absolutely. Immediately energised. Absolutely. Because uh, because yes, it's like freshness, vivacity, energy, all in, it, all in one gemstone. You're more energetic now, uh, and you've been on air for nearly five hours. Do you know you're so nice? You're energetic because you've got your Peridot. Because I love Peridot, mm. and it has got that influence to it. You're so right. I, I, you know, I didn't even realise that, mm. but yeah. Moving on uh, to uh, your briolettes. So, Do you know, pretty. to be honest, um, up, even with that first strand you showed, I, c I couldn't. If you gave me a hundred thousand pounds, pick out a favourite. That would not even stop in there. Oh, you're joking. Steve Super Saver. Yes, no. Nice. Admin error. I mean, let's be, list. <clears throat> Our team have done, uh, they've had a lot of plates to spin, haven't they, with the whole takeover. What on earth? I'm just going to say that this one slipped under the radar because that should be, at the very least, 47.95. Do we agree? I'm not rendered speechless very often. Not an That's the price of a I nugget have. strand. It is. Completely, yeah. And nugget strands are Less more than expensive a than that. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> How many? Angela, London, Louisa, Jeff, uh, London, multibind, Tatiana, multibind. How many have I got left? Annette. 
Angela, Lorna, Mary, Rosemary, Gemma, Charlotte, Renvusha, Cheryl, you're the, oh gosh, my goodness, Tracy. If you're shopping on the phone lines, just a, um, just a word to the wise, I would definitely suggest giving us a try on the app or the web because it is busy today. There's never any queues there. And with these Steve's super savers. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to think of an acronym for it's, that. It's a, it's a real mouthful. It is, yeah. So I have to say right. it slowly. Bennett Bargains. Bennett Bargains. I like that. That's good too. Steve Super Savers. <laughs> Steve Super Savers. <Yeah. laughs> Moving on. Ooh. Oh no, is that our, our star by? No. Oh, yes, yes, yes. How many of these Peridot strands have already sold out? Are you feeling energised, jewellery makers? Are, you've, are you ready for spring? I love that moment when you can just literally open all the windows, open all the doors and, you know, just let That's, the outside in. I see it in the gemstone. Yeah, that, I, now you've mentioned the flower, I can see the inside of the snowdrop flower. Isn't it that colour? Yeah. Oh, gosh, that's gorgeous. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're not really rondelles, they're more like a fat bicone. Oh, Actually, okay. yeah, 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 I get where you're coming from. Mm. I get where you're coming from. They've got more um, mm, they've got volume. More, exactly. Volume. Yeah, volu Seven voluptuous. voluptuous. £7.95. I wouldn't be surprised. I adore Peridot and I buy a lot of Peridot from Jewelry Maker as well because the consistency of the quality, and I know I, 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 I totally was listening when you said about it's hard to choose Definitely. a favourite yeah, out of all of these I don't strands. Think I, I don't think I can. I mean, uh, I, no, I can't anyway, so I'm not going to say I can I can't. This is up there for me. Oh, yes. It's coming up. What time are we doing our star by? Oh, five minutes time. Not too, <laughs> not too long, not too long. Um, okay. Stick with the rondelles. Oh, gosh, it's gorgeous. So, team it with your citrines and you've got something perfectly spring-like or summer-like, to be truthful. Um, have I mentioned the fact that it is actually a birthstone as well? Well, I was about I to say, um, I d didn't know whether you had or not, but it's August birthstone, isn't it? it? Is. So it's recognised up there as a birthstone. Specially connected with ancient Egypt and historians believe that the famous emeralds of Cleopatra were actually Peridot as a gemstone. Lots of history behind it. Who wants another Steve Super Saver? No, 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 you're at the Steve Super Saver, mm. right? Seven ninety-five. Two oh two more yeah, two more coming up between now and the top of the show. Seven ninety-five for rondelles. Of course it's gonna be a setup. Well done. 18. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. I might have one of my favourites. You need your sunglasses on to look at that one. Oh my goodness, look at that clarity. Oh my goodness. No. Look at that uninterrupted clarity. Look at the light. Do you see how it's almost... I, I always say the word pool, pool's light. With, with the quality of a briolette cut, that's why the Victorians loved it so much. It's, uh, you've got eight of these. Oh. I, oh. <laughs> I, I'm making lots of involuntary noises. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think we're going up the pub. We'll bother about the training. We'll go straight to the pub. We need to recover. 16.95. No. Wow. Oh, clusters. Again, those earrings with the, with the kit. If you didn't get the kit, then you need to, you need to right now. I've got to move quick because it's sold out. Right, what? Oh, my goodness me. And this one, we haven't brought you yet. Mm. So I've brought you a few rondelles. I've brought you a few briolette drops. These are flat drops. Gorgeous. I almost wish we would decipher between the two because a faceted drop isn't the same thing as what I've just brought you previously. Drop, uh, previously. Oh, look at these, that. These actually provide texture. If you look at that, um, when it comes back onto your, when you come back onto your hand, 
Um, this particular cut will provide texture within the gem gemstone because you see the different greens mm. that aren't really there, but it's the way the light's playing on them. Oh, um, this, if you, I make the most of this showcase because, and please, I did say, mm. Wayne and I discussed prior to the, uh, uh, to the live show, I actually said, I need to remind me, I said, uh, remind me to say that customers, this is not a usual price of Peridot. These are down to the fact that we've had that transition, of course. Um, weekend we've got some mega, mega, mega deals, so you do need to be with you. If you had any plans whatsoever, cancel them. <laughs> yeah, put a line in those, um, or at the very least take us with you on the app, because yeah, we can't, we won't be able to always bring you Peridot at these kind of prices, so make the most well, of it. I'd be surprised if you could ever do it again. Oh, I love this trip. That's if we've still got a job. I hope not. They've only just been up and become our buses. <laughs> well, I don't know, but they've gone a bit bonkers. We have rather. Yeah, bit, bit, bit Wayne mad. How many do I have? Not enough. So yesterday, I don't know if you saw, but we had the most beautiful strand of zircon that I think I, that I have ever seen. Literally, high, big statement. Big, yeah. Hand on heart, believe mm -hmm. that. This had to be the finale of the show because it's the Peridot version. Look at, look how breathtaking that I know is. It is. It, 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 actually, it makes you want to hold your breath. That's... I don't think I, I, don't think I breathe until you mention the word breath. It's, isn't... Again, definition of perfection. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, it's difficult to understand unless you're up close and personal to this, just how beautiful it is. Oh, you see, that destroys my eloquence in one go. I, I, I start dialing, because I've got just over 100 of these. 110, start dialing. I, I want multiples of these. Mm -hmm. you, know your, you know the image where we're up close that we were just looking at? Now, look at the fire. So look to, to the distance of the screen, look at that spectrum of fire. Mm -hmm. Then understand also that Peridot is incredibly, what they call bifringent. Now what that means is it will literally bend light. So it's very challenging to, gut, uh, to cut and to actually get that, that display. Because these are on, on a two millimeter scale, Imagine the difficulty. Uh, well, totally. But the thing is, I mean, jewelry makers don't look at this and think, oh, they're tiny, they might be difficult to use. You will want literally gallons. Oh, I'm going to get, I'm going to get probably three or four. Gallons of them. Up. What? That's what? 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 I'll be honest. I'm amazed these haven't sold out already. I think this is. You said it's hard to choose a favourite. I think this is mine. I love it. I absolutely love it. 110, the finale strand of what has been a truly amazing show. I've loved every single minute of it, minute of it, makers. Oh, my oh. goodness. Oh. <laughs> you, you know what? If you were shopping elsewhere, you would not be able to buy the glass copy for 7 95 no. would you? No, 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 no. Not that quality. I almost want to say, quick, 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 jewellery makers, because we had 110. Don't rest, don't dilly down. Look at that fire. They are sheer perfection, and we're at £7.95. You can use them as seed beads. You could use them to frame things, uh, frame, you know, cabochons. You could use them in little clusters, uh, you know, uh, to accent gemstones, like Linda did with those earrings I showed you a few moments ago. But you get, again, you know, this is definitely the definition. I know I've said that a lot today, but the definition of um, small and mighty, isn't yeah. it? It's got superlative effect. It's really incredibly noticeable, and it's what every jewellery maker should have in their the stash, fire, without a doubt. The, I 100% I, I agree with you, and it's a 30 centimetre strand. I mean, my goodness. We're running out of time, jewellery makers. We might just about manage to get hold of this strand if we're really speedy. If we're really, really quick. Every time I get out there, the work is up oh, there. Linda, you've been truly amazing, as you always are. Oh, um, I've loved every minute of today. I've so. loved it too. It's oh, been you lush. Loved it too. She's the queen of JM, is our <laughs> Linda. Now, um, do, uh, do stay with us though, because I know the mid show's got an amazing show as well with luscious Jenny. I'll be back with you now on Thursday, but don't forget you've got a very exciting birthday show with Steve tomorrow as well. Um, the deals continue. The deals continue. Make sure you check out those baskets. We shall see you soon.
love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account, you can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. This coming Wednesday, it's Steve Bennett's birthday. And in celebration for that, we're going to be drawing two Wall of Fame winners and two Wall of Fame runners-up. 